And we are live with the third session of the Black Clover campaign. This one does have a title, but it is a spoiler, so it will be told to you at the end of the session. Threatened by a ruthless demon, humanity was on the brink of we're not destruction. Doing that this time, sir. Oh, we're not? Wait, oh. We're not. Oh. Oops, sorry. Oh, okay then. <laughs> Back in your hole! <laughs> Back in your hole, narrator man. Yeah, I, I guess the, I guess they just are doing things this episode. My bad. Yep. Back in the Pokeball. <laughs> Get back in the Pokeball, narrator. Yep. They're back in the demon skull. <laughs> Speaking of demon skull, last we left off. Oh, right. So, uh, last session on Black Clover. The existing squad of the Bronze Owl Stars had went to interact with Galadra Burkhouse, the leader of a research team that was researching the Demon Skull. You went with two members of her team, Diego Perez and Bello Boge, known as Bo for short. You found a bunch of strange plant monsters that seemed to be remarkably stronger and more wild than anything you would expect to find in a Forsaken Realm. You ended up fighting against them, and managed to find the artifact you were searching for, what appeared to be some kind of stone. It was quickly stolen by a man in a cloak, one that you suspect to be from the Diamond Kingdom. You went back to the church and are now waking up there, awaiting the return of your allies. If I remember correctly, Fumi and Ashlyn managed to find their own little corner to hide in, away from the rest of their squad. Yes. No, Fumi no. and Ashlyn are sleeping in their own corner. Because Fumi, Fumi because... bribed Sister Lily, and by bribed I mean gave her a wad of cash and just said, I'll give you this much to give us our own place to sleep. And by our own place to sleep, it turned out to just be a partitioned off corner, but who cares? We'll take it. Yeah. We'll take it if it means personal space. Ashlyn probably had her personal space slightly violated by Fumi, but considering it was Fumi and unintentional, she was probably fine with it. <laughs> she's not okay with anyone getting in her personal space. But she's uh, slightly more okay with Fumi than she is with everyone else. Because Fumi tries to not at every opportunity. <laughs> so I guess uh, Lynn and Artemis each also ended up in their own corner, or possibly piled up near the orphans. We don't That's know. Where were they there? Yeah, Artemis. Artemis wouldn't care. There. So yes, piled up with the orphans. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, Glenn would probably be in his own corner. He's kind of like, hmm, I wonder if I get more potatoes, where I could probably have the other children. Yeah, that could work. Harakon decided to sleep on the roof. <laughs> yeah, that's fair <laughs> enough. He did not care. He can always dry out his clothes in the morning with his wind magic. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go. So, first thing in the morning, you hear a knock on the door. Excuse me. Hello? Is anyone at the Hello, door? Hey, what's up? Hello? Hello? <laughs> you Are you going to open the door? Yes. You will recognize the person facing you as Bo. Though she seems to look a bit more resigned. Oh, Bo, uh, uh, you're right. Something I, else? I came to apologize about yesterday. I. <sighs> I didn't mean to put you in the kind of danger that you ended up in. And. Well, I didn't realize that my help was providing any kind of meaningful assistance. I'm sorry that the plant monsters were so challenging. I wouldn't have taken you there if they were. If I'd known, rather. I'm sorry. And she'll just bow her head. Look, it, it's all good. When magic dies, it, it kind of runs along with the job. Mm. Look, it's fine. You don't have to be worried about that. Still, though, I took you into what was essentially an ambush. I knew that there would be monsters there, but not 
how strong they were. I ran before I ended up interacting with them last. And I put you all in unnecessary danger. I wanted to... Oh, look. Oh, look, it's, it's all good. I mean, I forgive you. I'm sure they would too, where, wherever they are. I guess Gordon's just going to turn around and look for the others. Mm. I, I imagine Artemis is still in with the... Uh, Artemis would still be in with the uh, kids and stuff. I imagine it's decently early morning, but Ashlyn would probably be waking up. Probably just blurry-eyed. Hey. Hmm. What are you doing up so early, Glenn? Oh, it's just, uh, Bart. She just, Bart hmm? just paying us a visit. But, oh, morning. What are you doing? What are you? Yeah, sorry. I, I just woke up two seconds ago. Hi, nice to see you. What are you here for? Do you need our help with anything? I... I came to apologize. For yesterday. Right. Uh, should I... Should I get some of the others? Uh, how many people need to be here for this? Uh, we... You probably wanted to apologize to all of them, right? I'll go grab Fumi. And she'll just walk off. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll be here before long. Yes. And after a minute, Ashlyn will come back with uh, Fumi and also presumably Artemis. Uh, I don't want to be <sighs> awake. I want to be in sleep land. What the hell's going on that Rhea? They had to wake me up at freaking... <sighs> what time is it? Uh, like 8 a.m. <laughs> we'll say. 8 in the morning. That would be a normal time for a nun to have woken up at. Actually, yeah, maybe 7. Still in the quite normal. morning. Uh, quite, normal for, quite normal for a nun. At least a normal nun. You forget. Right, what's it? And, uh, right, but we'll just do a little bow before all of them. I'm sorry about the danger I put you in yesterday. I knew there were plant monsters there, but there were a lot more than I expected. And when I was talking about leaving, I didn't realize I was providing any kind of meaningful aid to you. I'm sorry. Huh? Hold up, I'm confused. Did she do something wrong? And yeah, oh, I'm just gonna look over at the rest of the group. You're not a magic knight, it's not your responsibility. Yeah, we were fully aware there was gonna be dangerous monsters and stuff in there. <sighs> I just... I have willingly went into danger quite a lot of the time myself. It came with the job of journalism. I've went into some pretty bad places, but I have never asked anyone to go with me because of that. I, I regret to bring anyone into any form of investigation. I am... I'm not explaining this well. If you... If you do not believe I have done anything wrong, then I am glad. But I still wanted to apologize. Uh... Apology accepted, I guess? It is within the nun's duties to be forgiving. Also, 
if I might also ask something. May I go with you to attempt to track down this man? Well, I don't think we have the authority to say yes or no on that. Our vice captain's here now, so he'd be the one to say that. Uh, where is the where is the VC? Cousin Karak mm. uh. decided he'd rather sleep on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> And you will just hear a bunch of gusts of wind as you will just see him slowly descend right behind where Bo is from the roof. Good morning! I'm honestly impressed he didn't fall off the roof by accident. <laughs> of course I didn't fall off the roof. I'm a vice captain. I would look rather stupid if I did that, would it not? To be fair, VC, you do kind of look stupid regardless. Is it my hair? Hmm. And I'll just start trying to slick it into a shape that looks not like he just woke up from the top of a roof. Alright, so he has natural hair gel? That just smells my enemy. <laughs> no, he does not. He is just trying to finger comb it. He's trying to oh, finger comb okay. it. He is finger combing it. I think it might be the finger it. it. It might be the sunburn on the one half of your face. Hmm. Oh dear. Uh, you have a... Man, you really seem to harbor a lot of. Man, I really have to research the components of your head. I mean, you just seem to capture everything. Hmm. I see. There's a bird here. Ah, it flew away. Guess it wasn't particularly attached to my mana. Hmm. Now. What was it I was needed for? Oh. Ah. You. I see. I... I, I wish to ask to... Oh. I wish to ask to go with you. To search down the person that stole the stone. That... Hmm. I mean... You are a civilian. I would hate to put you in any kind of danger, especially not the kind that magic knights would have to deal with. But... I am not the leader of this mission. Glenn? Oh... Well, yeah, that, that actually... I will be here. I can... I can serve as a protector if need be. But it is your mission, after all. Yeah, that is true. Well, in that case, if you if you really want to join us, you can. Thank you. I'll be. It's I... temporarily, though, right? Yeah. Of course. Well, if you want to get into the magic knights, you'll have to do it your own way. I am, I am rather attached to my to my goals here, with Galadra. I just, I want to help how I can, and I want to see this through, so, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, all good. And, By the way, apologies for waking you up at this hour. What time is it? Seven uh, o'clock. Oh. We're just yeah. not morning people. I'll, I'll get freshen up in the, um, there's no extra rooms here, are there? Is there a bathroom? Miss, is there a bathroom here, Sister Lily? Eli, that's you. Oh, um, I, we have several outhouses. Yeah, those don't sound like they'll do. Uh, just down, if you go outside and take a left, it should be just down the hill, near where the trees are. Wonderful. Uh, I was... Uh, thank you. Yeah, that's not gonna work for freshening up. I'll just use my steam magic here. Just... Now. Oh, is it... We will not be leaving here until the rest of our squad arrives. You should be able to see it quite clearly. So for now, it may be worth waiting. Oh. I know, I'm just gonna go freshen up. If you want to... If, if you want a little bit of privacy, there's a 
the back room area that we used to store all sorts of equipment that we used to for as like a broom closet. That'll be no, that should be enough. That should be enough space to turn into a mini sauna. I normally turn. I normally use it in. I normally use it to uh, get myself dressed and everything in the morning. And she'll just go inside there and just start, and just a little bit of steam starts coming out of the door as she turns into a small sauna to clean up. Thank you. I will meet you when the rest of your squad comes by. And she will just head off. You'll hear from around, you'll hear from around the uh, corner of the outside of the church, just, Hey, is, is the heavy talking stuff? Is the heavy conversation stuff done? Yeah, guess so. Yeah, I guess my camera's on. Oh, okay, a few. Uh, and you'll see Hillary walk around the <laughs> walk around the corner. Hello. Sorry to bother you guys so early, but it seemed like she really wanted to say something, and I'm really not good with that kind of conversation, so I just decided to stay over here. Okay. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> oh, oh wait, is she? Is, is she still here? Did she run off? She ran off. Yeah. Oh. She apologized okay. about something or other yesterday, and then asked to join on the mission. And because the vice captain's here to keep an eye on things, she's, oh. I guess, joining in. Yeah. She felt bad about us being, you know, well, not that it was her fault, but going into an ambush and the cloak man uh, and all that stuff. Yeah, a lot of things. She comes across as very prickly, but deep down, she's a really nice lady. It's just quite a ways deep down, unfortunately. She doesn't want to, she definitely never wanted to hurt any of you. I heard about what happened. Sorry to hear. Sorry to hear about the wolves. Man, chickens, chickens are. <laughs> man, roosters are real pro in these days, huh? Yeah, I. I must really be uh, bugging the truck down with potatoes. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the that's the death pros of a rooster that try to pop potato. Okay, uh, rolling a constitution yeah. save for the rooster. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, Rooster succeeds nice. at con save. It manages to, uh, as you watch survive. it, uh, eat the entire pot potato in one go and survive. Damn. Wow. Don't. Oh yeah. Don't. Uh, don't piss off the roosters around here. <laughs> I can yeah, still hear them screaming. Battle cry. Man, they have a really intimidating battle cry. Mm. Man, are these potatoes full of steroids? <laughs> I'm just gonna lay down and pick one up. Listen, I'm sorry if I'm sorry if any of us have caused you any trouble over the over the past couple of days. We really are just trying to make sure we get to the bottom of whatever's hap of whatever secrets lie within this demon skull. Hmm. Well, of course. I mean, you could leave that as a mystery. Hmm. Of course you get it. Of course you get it, Glenn. Oh yeah, I. Oh, I'm addicted to discovering new things. So yeah, I sympathize. <laughs> well, well, glad you guys could. Glad you guys can understand. Uh, anyone else understand? <laughs> sort of. Um, she... <laughs> I don't get her deal, but. I I don't get her deal, but sure. Who, mine or Bose? Bose. Yeah. N not even in an actively suspicious way. I just do not get her deal. Yeah, she's a bit of. She's not exactly a people person, but she is good people. Well, uh, anyway. Yeah. Were you here for anything in particular, or just to keep an eye on her? Mostly just, to, mostly just to supervise her and make sure that 
she actually managed to succeed at apologizing properly. You'd be surprised. A couple times when she's tried to apologize to people, we've been kicked out of towns. You know, I can see why she was that bad. I want the sauna claws. Does anyone else want to use it? Oh, yes, please. I should probably, uh, I should probably use it to freshen up as well. Okay, well, best of luck with the best of luck with the bandits, I guess. They are bandits, aren't they? So we're here to find out. Fingers crossed. That is incredibly concerning. I hope you realize. Bandits are usually weak and easy to deal with. Look, we should be fine. Nothing to worry about. Fine, we've got, like, what? Four new members coming? Yeah, like I said, we'll be fine. I still can't actually believe that we've got, like, actual... That we've actually got that many new members. Yeah, I can't believe we finally hit double digits. Yeah, we did. Wow. How has this squad been around for, what, five years and it's only just hit double digits? Yeah, now we have more members than we do stars. That's so concerning. Which Maybe. is great. We're, we're as good as the Black Bulls now. No, no, the Black Bulls earn more than double stars each year. I'm and they just lose them. They just lose way more than that. Have we actually reached double digits in five years? Um. We're at nine right now, right? I've been here. Well, I've been with this. Well, I've been with this uh, squad for the for the entire time that it's been around. So I can safely say, no, no, we have not. Are you the reason why we were negative stars those years? I only got us. I only lost us like one or two stars, or three, or five, or seven. One year uh -huh. got me negative eight. Yeah, that was a bad year, Artemis. I'm, the look, I'm sorry, but the look, I'm sorry, but the people of that town were just being really annoying about where to put the about where to put that little orphanage. <laughs> so you decided you would <laughs> throw a entire church pew through every single one of their windows. Well, it helped get well, it helped get them off their ass and start actually building, didn't it? It helped us lose 14 stars. And there, and there is an orphanage now, so you're welcome. Yeah, an orphanage that probably doesn't have any windows, but there, but you're throwing more in. Yeah. Yeah, last I checked, it didn't. I ported to that place a few times on my day off. It does not have windows. It looks bleak. We kind of, whenever Ashlyn and me go there, we kind of have to go in disguise. The kids have a place to stay. They could have had a place with no windows. I have no idea what you guys are talking about, so I'm just going to leave now. Bye. Bye. Oh. Bye. I'll see ya. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, know know we're, we're I don't know if we're better or worse than the Black Bulls still. Ah, uh, we can't be. Ah, uh, we can't be that much worse. We've got so many more stars than them. And yes, we haven't lost as many. This year, Artemis, we haven't lost as many this year. No, I'm pretty we sure the Black Bulls are pretty significantly at negative fifty, like all the time. Yeah, no, we're, they've we're barely good. varied from that year to year. Be fine, you know. It's we we they're not a problem, right? Right. The Black Bulls? The Negative Stars? I, mm, I don't know. I just got a bad feeling this year. Mm. Like, I had a bad feeling that one year, you know? Where we got negative 14 stars in one mission because of Artemis. Well. Look. Even if they... Even if there is a bit of a problem with some of the new members, I'm sure Sonata will be able to sort them out. I mean, he helped with all of us. Yeah, that, that is true. It takes a lot of patience. And we're a good team, aren't we? We are. Mm, nope. <laughs> well, most of the time. Ruby says clearly just looking at Ashley. 
Yeah, we're a good team. And actually, we'll just try to prove you as well. Oh, so we're not here. We're not standing here right with you. Oh, so we're invisible now, aren't we? No, we would rather be. I should Actually, probably I'm save my portals. Speaking of which, Cousin Harakan, how much longer till the rest are supposed to get here? <laughs> and it'll just be moaning. Three, two, one. You guys, you're all flying in on brooms. With Sanan at the head. Roll broom handling. <laughs> it's basically just dexterity. This will be fun. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this yes! I got what I wanted! Yes! Wanted. Yeah! Okay. Oh. Alright. You alt- Okay. Everyone, except for Giovanni, you try to land, but you end up just kind of face planting when you try to land your brooms. Oh, Giovanni, you manage to just super elegantly get off your broom, and you look like you've been doing it all your life. And obviously Sanan is great at it because, well, he's the captain. Well, Alex, well, but not yet, can but... I ask you something really quickly? Yeah? Is it fine if instead of Tesla faceplating, he just smashes through the ch part of the church? Sure. <laughs> he smashes <laughs> headfirst into the church and uh, ends up uh, dislodging a roof tile. He somehow he seems fine off. after this. <laughs> yeah, he smashes through the roof a bit, r like slides off of the roof tile and smacks on the floor outside and gets up. Oh, wow. Sweet gorilla! <laughs> no, 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 will you stop no, saying no. that? No, no, Tesla, you're not supposed to destroy the buildings. The buildings are our friends. <sighs> but you should have said that the building was a cave, evidently enough. <coughs> it, was a, it was a cave, but, that's why I flew into it. Well, no, that's not. Meant, uh, <sighs> it's, it's like a cave, but with a front. That's not a cave. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, we have so much so, to give you. This is our new yeah. squad? Hi guys. Uh, are you sure we? Everyone roll. Everyone roll perception. <laughs> well, all the new members roll. Sorry, all the old members roll perception. Oh right. Sorry. Let me get my mouse. What did you do with it? Oh, mouse pad. Awesome. Twelve. Anyway. That's fair. Twelve. Mm -hmm. Twelve. <laughs> I'll roll for Artemis as well, I guess. <laughs> She's probably just pissed up she had the thunk on the roof. Fair. Oh god, what are the kids up to this time? Uh, the rest of you will see that one of the new members is lying face first on the ground after crash landing and does not appear to be moving. Is that Rote? They look. It is Rote. I think we Roadhead is dead. Eh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Yeah, Wait, I'll what? Oh, God, did he die already? <laughs> this is the Tesla's day gonna... after we got into the squad. Rote, how are you Tesla's... already dead? Tesla's gonna flip him over and start shaking. Roadhead! Roadhead! <laughs> <laughs> I cured him! I suppose I shouldn't have expected much out of this delegation, but still I find myself massively disappointed. I guess Giovanni's just gonna <laughs> fly down. Oh! Guys, oh, weren't we supposed to make a good I first impression? Uh, whatever. <laughs> I saw the- I saw the light beyond. Hmm. Is they I nice? Saw... What? Oh. Oh, righty. Um. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I want all of you guys to meet the brand new members of the of the Bronze Owl Stars. Uh, everybody, would you like to introduce yourselves, or shall I? Uh. Hi there. I am Marcel Bacarol, a Prism Magic user. Nice to meet you all. I will get better with a broom soon. <laughs> I hope, I sincerely hope you do. Uh, anyway, I'm Giovanni Specuo. Uh, I guess it's a pleasure to meet you all in this humble village, of all things. 
Hey, who's the, who's the bastard with the who's the bastard with the attitude, huh? Hmm. And Jr. Rolled per per perception. <laughs> sure. To see if he hears that. To see if he hears the insult. Oh. Yeah, of course the guy with observation yeah. magic rolls well on that. Hmm. Like for someone that served the Lord would have. Much more refined way of speaking. Clearly, I am greatly mistaken. I thought someone with such a pretentious name as Giovanni would be less of a cunt. <laughs> come on, come on. They just arrived here. Religiously, of course. Uh, Artemis. Artemis, they oh, just okay. arrived. Let's try and at least no. try and be friendly. Oh, right, right, yes. Uh, sorry. Um, uh, pra praise the Lord. Blessed be with you. They're the, the, the kids, Artemis. I like you. What? <laughs> Artemis will slowly turn around. Yep. You'll just see a mischievous look. And then he'll immediately try and cover it the second that Artemis turns around. Mm. I suppose you do such an elegant job of training future generations. And training the youths, of course. I'm sure that they will. The Lord, the Lord shall give us all what they are due. The Lord shall give us all what they are due. Sweep gorilla, and this is Roadhead. <laughs> Hello, my name is Rote Hapshas from the Hapshas family. You might have heard of my, you might have heard of my brother Selim. Mm, I know that ass. I mean, um, has he done yes, anything? I'm aware of your brother. <laughs> <laughs> well. I'm sure. Anyway, I apologize for my apologize for my clumsy entrance. I think I should be all right now. And he'll like shakily start getting to his feet using Tesla as a fucking uh, as a fucking standing tool. <laughs> he puts his hand on Tesla's head and stands up on it. So, you said your name was Sweep Gorilla. Oh, no. his name's Tesla. Can you let the sweet gorilla thing go? Just because you beat me in a fight doesn't mean that you get to call yourself sweet gorilla for eternity. Do not you know this my title, coward man. It took you a long time to get through my shield, bucko. Tesla will be glad to do a rematch right now, right here. Hmm. Okay, before not in front of a church. Right. Okay. Okay, before we start committing a before we start committing a mutiny in our literal first mission, could we please finish off the introductions? Ah. <laughs> uh, anyway, Tesla this has is... plasma magic. Uh, charge magic. It's like lightning magic, but worse. All right, I suppose I'll go next. Observation magic helps with perceiving gonna... a lot of things. Really doesn't help you sweep a scene when you're. But it sounds like we... a very blessed and wonderful magic. Ashley, I think we ended up with three black balls and one actual member. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I assure you, none of these guys are none of these guys are black balls. Though two of them were suggest. Though two of them, one of them did have Yami raise his hand. Let me guess. The one that smashed in the roof and fell off it. <laughs> yeah. You'd be correct. <laughs> one of them had one of them had go one of them had one of them had Golden Boy raise his hand as well. Then why are you here? Uh because I thought that it would be better for me if I was with a group that I could grow alongside rather than just standing at the top. <laughs> Ashlyn will just whisper to Familiar, he definitely isn't the actual member. <laughs> My guess is probably still with the lightning child. <laughs> Him or the... I guess the lightning child is maybe the... or maybe the Carol? Maybe. I, 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 uh, roll, I roll history. Mind. Roll history, um... You two. 
I don't remember shit. Royal privilege, motherfuckers. Imperial privilege. <laughs> I guess you could say. Uh, uh, Ashlyn, you know, uh, Ashlyn, you're apparently not that well versed in uh, this area, but familiar. You would remember the name Vicarol from one of the biggest incidents in uh, recent Clover history. Yep, that's why I suggested him as the one who would be picked for the Golden Dawn. <laughs> I mean, it would be make sense for Clover to join his sister. Hmm. But my money, some super mother is either on him or the plasma magic child. It seems wild, but he definitely seems powerful. Definitely also seems like the type Yami would raise his hand for. Yeah. Can you sense his mana too? Can I? Uh, probably. You'd probably be able to sense that. Probably. Uh, you'd probably be able to sense that it's a, yeah. You'd be able to sense that it's a lot, uh, a lot stronger than you'd expect from a commoner. Similar to my level. I wonder how that's possible. Hmm. Oh, anyway, um. As, as they're doing that, he'll start scratching the back of his head with his foot. Mm, couldn't have done that before. No, very well. Anyway. Uh, now for the new now for the new members, uh, let's go by order of uh, let's go by um, descending order of uh, descending order of rank. Up the back over there, the lady desperately trying to convince the kids not to repeat anything that she just said uh, is Artemis. That would be Artemis Capulone. She's a stained glass magic user, which allows her to essentially store items inside of murals. It's really interesting, actually. However, you might not want to get on her bad side. She used to be a member of the she used to be a member of the Green Praying Mantises, and apparently she and apparently she was enough to make apparently she was enough to make even Jack want to fight her, or even get Jack angry. Uh, moving swiftly along, next up would be uh, next up is. Next up is this uh, lovely man right here. Actually, familiar is the next highest rank. Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, is. familiar is uh, uh, oh. junior magic knight first class, and um, Glynn is uh, second class, I believe. I'll double check. Mm. What's Glynn's rank? Class. Let me see. Uh, okay, where's Ashlyn is second class. Yeah. It should be in your social right, slash personal. Uh, second class. Yep. Yep. Okay. So second yeah, class. uh, Ashlyn and uh, Lynn are the same rank at uh, second. Uh, Junior Magic Knight second class. So uh, Familio is higher ranked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, next up would be okay. Next up then would be uh, up the back, up the back there, the late uh, the lady that's trying to hide. That would be Familio. And that's. You want to introduce yourself? Okay, I'm uh, Familio Vermilion, and I'm a Steam Magic user. Excellent oh, for healing. And I always love, a, I always love a good Steam buff. Anyway, next up would be these two. Take it away, whichever one. I'm. Ashlyn Finlay, I'm a spatial magic user. I can I can both teleport people and also deal damage. So I have a bit of a variety. I've been in squads for two years. Lovely to meet all of you. Well, I, yeah, I guess I'll be up next. I'm Glenn Burgess, passionate researcher, also use a bit of obsidian magic. Really nice stuff. Also, do you guys happen to know anything about... No, you just got it. You wouldn't know anything about Demon Skulls. Never mind. It's nice to meet you all. Uh, actually, would Rotate know anything? Doubt it. Maybe? Maybe. He is a very, he is very well versed in lit, in, like, what... Is this thing? close to a strong magic region? Uh, Harsh Village is... 
somewhat. It's on the outskirts, from what I understand. Yeah, it's on the outskirts of the Forsaken Realm. That would probably be decently close to a, a for uh, Tesla. Roll with disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that does make sense. Yeah. All right, let's have Tesla roll history. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You mean Big Rock? Uh, I mean... Uh, uh, if you're preferring to the demon skull here, I believe this is the this is said to be the legendary location of the final of the great battle the first wizard king waged against a ruthless demon that was terrorizing the kingdom. <coughs> hey, someone other than me has a passion for this. Oh, it's just a big rock. Well, I I've done a lot of reading in the past. It's all that I really could do cooped up inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. I guess Glenn's just gonna walk right up. It's like, well, I definitely want this to be heavily beneficial to the two of us, so yeah, put it there. I guess Glenn's just gonna extend his hand. Just know uh, that any research that we conduct in the future, I'll be putting your name right at the top. Oh, whatever uh, book I put forward. Oh, uh, thank you. You're so kind. It's Hapshas with three S's. <laughs> He'll put his hand. And he'll put his hand forward as well. Oh, one in, one in nice. the middle, two at the end. One in the middle, two at the end. Hmm. Yeah, we'll we'll start writing that down immediately. Yes, and observation made by oh yeah, no Tesla. So just a rock, a big rock. So I did have thank a, you for your I contributions. I did have a couple of theories. Perhaps it's actually a naturally occurring. A naturally occurring formation that just happens to look like a giant demon skull. The legend would then obviously extend from there. <coughs> You'd be able to determine it based on the mana. The mana would feel quite different from the surrounding area if it was not a naturally occurring phenomenon. And Ashlyn will just pop up. It would be something like negative mana. It feels wrong and evil. You'd probably expect something like that from a devil. True. That is true. So yeah, if there's any remnants of that, you could prove it's unnatural. What's that counts? Yeah. I'm just gonna have to head off a little bit. Will's out front. He just wants to get his headphones back. I'll be Fair, enough. Fair, Fair enough. enough. See you in a sec. <laughs> I guess while that little I guess while that little click is forming, uh Sanan's gonna go over uh, is gonna go over to the rest of the guys and just be like Uh you guys are seeing this, right? Yeah. Okay. Looks like they're making friends. <laughs> well, like the... at least they're not trying to fight each other. Yeah. Looks like this might be easier than I... It looks like it might be easier to make some roommates than I thought. <laughs> I'll be interested to see what you end up deciding. Well, I have some. Well, I have some ideas. Yeah. First, first thing, first, first thing that I want to check, though. Um. Hmm. Oh, uh, Tesla. Hmm. Where are you? Sitting in dirt patch. <laughs> that is a farm. Oh. <laughs> that is meant to indicate a farm on the map. I know it's uh, fun, yeah. Tesla doesn't uh, know what a farm is. I understand. Uh, Sedan's just going to like, kneel down next to him and just, Hey, you see those plants over there in the dirt patch on the other side? Mm hmm You see the big brown lumps that are coming off of them? Yeah, uh, pot potatoes. Yeah, exactly. Huh. Maybe you should go try and, maybe you should go try and, uh, nab a couple. Could be good to keep them in your, in your backpack. For later. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely does seem to have a lot of hair too. Hmm. They taste fine. You I'll try. Hmm. This is gonna go over to the other patch and just start burrowing through it. Marcel will go up to. Oh, yep. Yeah. Robbie isn't okay, here. Never mind. Dude. Never mind. Robbie isn't here. Ignore me. He literally just talked. <laughs> You're back. Yeah, I'm back. Astri, welcome back. Cool. Yep, no worries. You finish off your section, Eli. 
Oh, uh, anyway, yeah. As Tess is doing that, uh, Artemis is going to look over and he's like, Huh? Hey! Hey! Those aren't rope yet! Oh, God damn it! Get out of there, Tess! Get out of there, you little sh... Tight! Yep. You know what? <laughs> Nash will just be staring up at her innocently. <laughs> Really do have a way to stand you. I was just gonna rush yes, over just... and try and get and try and uh, grab Tesla to get him out of the <laughs> get him out of the farm. Hmm. <laughs> says, Grapple contest. <laughs> <laughs> He's a slippery bastard. <laughs> oh, God. Hey! Yeah, no, not this oh, shit little... again. Barrier. God damn it, you little. God damn it, you little punk! Give those back! <laughs> He's gonna jump in That's front fun. of the tree. Uh, yeah. Oh, you wanna punk? Oh, you wanna play like that, wise guy, huh? My rock. Stained glass magic. <laughs> Holy shit, it's back! <laughs> <laughs> and Artemis is going to try and bat down the tree. Artemis, to... <laughs> Artemis, this is their tree. They meant to. It's got a swing on it and everything. Leave it be. Right. He's gonna, he's oh, gonna come back down eventually. I'll use the swing as a projectile weapon. <laughs> <laughs> That's going in the courts. She's gonna try and she's gonna try and whack the swing to get it to swing around and hit him in the back of the head, or to hit him off the, or to hit him off the tree or something. Oh. <laughs> Damn it! Yes. Wow, truly a composed uh, image, but you could try. Tesla will climb Ooh, higher but... and become the. You can never defeat Sleep Gorilla because Sleep Gorilla is higher than you in tree. Oh hell no, Sleep Gorilla! And uh, Marcel's just gonna grab a broom and start flying up. He is going to attempt to whack him out of the tree with a shield or the broom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get whacked! Get swept, Gorilla! And Marcel's just gonna whack him out of the tree. It's just like land and just roll off in like a ball. Hmm. Uh, Did Coward use getting... Coward Magic again? No, Marcel actually just hit you with the broom he was flying I'm, on. I'm aware, Alex. Hey, little, hey, little bastard. Better be giving out those top potatoes right about now. You see her cracking her knuckles as she starts slowly approaching. But Tetra said I should take them. I don't care if, I don't care if the king himself said that, you, said that you should take them. But what about the king's great nephew? Well, <laughs> not that guy. <laughs> Cut back. back over to Sanan. Well, it kind of worked. <sighs> oh, a fairly good tactic. I am willing to offer trade of resources. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Yeah. How about a trade your how about a trade your punk ass life for those pot potatoes, huh? Mm. But this is for Artemis will grab him <laughs> Artemis will grab him by like the uh Does he have he has a scruff of the neck. Does he have like a shirt or anything on? He has a giant. He has Madara hair, Eli. Yeah, you will get grabbed by the Madara hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, uh, Tesla was gonna trade this, and he just goes into his hair and pulls out like a full chunk of ham. I mean... uh... Well, oh, you're lucky that. You can... You're lucky this place is so poor. <clears throat> and uh, she'll and she'll uh, drop te she'll just drop Tesla and immediately just Nash. We have we have a friend here wanting to give some wanting to give some donations to the church. Ham. Hmm. Yes. Ah! This ham from board Tesla killed with bare hands. Like Asta. Now, Nash, remember, you're not supposed. Now, Nash, remember, don't kill boars with your bare hands. If you must, 
If you must take the life of an animal, you should do it humanely as possible. Humane? Tesla punched you in the throat and it died. This is not a humane way to do it. It died quickly. Wait. Punch. Did you use magic to kill it? Mm, use magic to make fast, then use fist to make hurt. Huh. And you're... you're a magic knight, right? <laughs> Let's all just start nodding. That's what the person that kidnapped me said. He's very... he seems to be very new to the magic knights. Come I now, little... Forest. <clears throat> Come now, little Nash. We shouldn't... we shouldn't annoy the man for too long. Tesla Go tell the child. others the good news. Go tell the others the good news. Okay. And he'll just take the ham and rush in. Sister Lily! We got ham! What? We got ham? We got ham! I'll just turn to Tesla and just... You are not to corrupt that... You are not to corrupt that child. Do you understand me, you little shit? How Tesla do corruption? <laughs> Just don't talk. Just don't talk to that kid again. But why? He seemed nice. Yeah, and you don't. <laughs> that Tesla not nice. I will pick him up by the hair again. <clears throat> and just walk back over to the rest of the, <laughs> the rest of the group. <laughs> How Tesla not nice? Oh. Tesla not Tesla nice. He literally gave you a hand. We would consider that a gift from the Lord. Are you seriously comparing the- are you seriously comparing the one true god to this little thing? Holds up Tesla like a fucking ba like a fucking purse. The true he'll just, not he'll just wave. How the, that's hello Tesla, how are you? You're just gonna be the Lord Tesla can good. take many- the Lord can take many forms and- and appears as- and appears as he wishes to all of us. However, this is not one of those forms. <sighs> Haven't you also considered the perspective that gifts arrive that you don't... Well, gifts arrive how you often don't expect them to arrive. Doesn't that occur to you in the books that you read or whatever you do? Did you seriously try to use the Lord works in mysterious ways argument on me? Yes, entirely. Because I think this village like where Tesla told to get book. In which case this been in which case this in which case this rat is probably put probably put here to test my faith. Yes, I suppose it would be quite revealing and quite illuminating. Quite testing, I'll say that much. Uh, Artemis? Hmm? I don't I think he's a wild child, maybe. Wild child? Oh so I get it. That's just oh I get it. That's your street name, eh? Uh, no, I mean, I think he literally. Wild child, the forest. Wild child Tesla. Yeah, I suppose I've heard. I suppose I've heard worse names back down down the street. <laughs> and she'll, oh. uh, and she'll uh, like uh, place Tesla back on the ground. I go by big. I go by big sis Capulon. Tesla don't have nickname on. Though, on a, Tesla don't have nickname from hard rocky surface. Tesla just grew up in forest. Were we here for a mission? Oh. <laughs> yeah, this... here for a mission. <laughs> yeah, because you got three people nerding out of the corner, and then this fucking scenario over here. Mm. <laughs> it was like this... I thought we were meant to be here for a mission. I know that this squad spends a lot of the time, a lot of time in the Forsaken Realm, but it seems like they almost enjoy it here. <sighs> hey, and he's talking to Giovanni at this point. Yeah. Yeah, that would be true. I kind of can't, I suppose, arguments do seem quite plentiful here. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah. Maybe it's my, maybe it's my faith in Tasman. Hang on. <laughs> Your faith in what? Oh, I don't know, my faith in people. <laughs> 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 Understandable. 
My faith in the intelligence of this squad just went down a lot. And somehow, this has nothing to do with Tesla. <sighs> yes. Can't wait to get out of this place. Yeah, we should do it as swiftly as possible. I can only feel my intelligence melting away. <sighs> God, I'm not the only one. Hey guys, weren't we here for a mission? I think the captain and cousin Tarek Khan are working on it. Huh. Working on something over here. Hmm. Now, oh, what do you think? Well, you yes? Think the... Oh, come on. What do you think of the new members and how they're working with the... and how they're connecting with the old group? Some of them seem to be doing it better than others. Ashlyn seems to be engaged in a good conversation. Familiar seems to be off by herself. Marcel is actively avoiding all the old members, and I'm pretty sure Artemis has started... It looks like she's about to start a gang war with Tesla. <laughs> she's either decided to start a gang war with Tesla or adopt Tesla. My money's on the gang war. My money's on, like... My, my money's on, like, less adoption, more... In... Well, that adoption more like hazing. Hmm. That would make sense. But, rega but regardless, uh, what's the situation? What's the situation with the actual mission? Well, based on the briefing I got, they ran into some magical beasts that appear to have wild. Ma Wait, I have a theory. We're going to need Tesla. Alright then. They said the beasts had some sort of wild mana surrounding them, the ones that they fought. And spatial magic was also used. I believe that we might be able to find something else out about the bandit that was able to abduct abduct the artifact from out from under them. It's also suspicious that the bandit was able to arrive and leave so quickly. Especially considering that this is on the border of the kingdom. I believe we could learn something more from going back to the Demon Skull and investigating further. Especially with the addition of observation magic. I believe Giovanni may be a great asset in that. So, I believe the mission at this stage is to discover the bandit recover the artifact, and return the bandits to justice. Would you agree on that front? That seems to be- that certainly seems to be the case. So you're saying we should- so you're saying we should try and do a little bit more research at the skull before we track down these bandits? Well, that is where the bandit disappeared. And it was allegedly not spatial magic, according to a test that Ashland did. Though I believe the test was just throwing spatial magic at it. Still, okay. effective enough. All right, then. We should be able to retrace the steps of the bandit from there. All right, then. All right, squad. Everyone? Oh, okay. You go. <laughs> the captain is what? speaking. Um. Thank you, Hurricane. I think. Uh, all right. So, I've just been briefed on. I've just been briefed on the details of the mission. Based off everything, Harkon has suggested that we go search for traces back at the, back at the demon skull, and I am inclined to agree with him. Also. Sorry. Yeah, Marcel? we're still listening. We're just typing. Marcel, Giovanni, you two have something to say to add to the class? No, sir. My side, not this moment. Hmm. I'm gonna tell you two are going to be troublemakers. <laughs> yeah, more than the cat man. Take this as. Try to take this as a learning opportunity. As in, learning about where the where this bandit base is.
Now, well, that can be done. Now, I was also informed that we would be joined by an extra member, by an extra person. Yes, she should be here. Apologies, I'm late. Thank you for letting me join you. And you will see that the bar will appear. Huh. Della Bow. Well, isn't this a well, isn't this a surprise? <laughs> I read some of your old I read some of your old articles. Is, is she on the on the map or? Oh, uh, I don't think we even have a character token for her. You did on the last map. I did. In the demon skull, yeah. yeah. Well, let me go back to the demon skull and copy it then. <laughs> Yeah, this is why I had Ira dumped in a fireball in the fucking uh, lab so I could just copy paste her token. We have all the Magic Knight captains, all the people that were at the uh, at the first thing, but we don't have Bo. I'm sorry, I forgot to add her. Uh, to fair, give me a have, sec. To, to be fair, we don't have any for Diego or Galadra either. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost as if the people that we expect to show up in uh, several arcs are definitely there. Let's see. It's almost like it's almost like the Magic Knight captains are a little more important than uh She has hit points now. I need I should have given her hit points last battle. I did not. Oh no, she can die now. Fuck. Spatial mages okay. are decent at not dying. It's fine. <laughs> Bella Boge. You know, you're quite, you know, you're quite famous around some of the circles I used to frequent. Perhaps my earlier workings were. Though it has been a while since the journal has published anything I wrote. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I was sorry to see your absence. Mm. Anyway, you're a spatial mage, right? Correct. Okay. Try to stay out of the try, try to stay out of any fights we end up getting into. Of course. I'm sure you're already aware of the limits and of your own abilities. Yes. My my abilities can only teleport between two points I can see. And I cannot do it particularly quickly. Still. Beth, still? I'm sure that we can fix. I'm sure we can find out a way to make it a great help to us. Everyone, please make please make Bo feel as welcome as you can, while also making sure that she doesn't run off into the front lines. We're bringing a civilian with us. Think of her. Well, I would prefer to think of her as a professional consult, or a substitute teacher. Is Look, everyone in agreement? Yeah. Look, she was a great help in yesterday's fight. It was challenging, and it was nice to have another spatial mage around. I wouldn't have been able to take anywhere near as many enemies down without her help. Are you seriously relying on civilians? All right, then. Wrap it up. Now. We're going back to the Demon Skull. We believe we can investigate something further there. And then? Well, it depends on what we find. Is everyone ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Boss Person. Yeah, I suppose that's fair. Alright, then. Oh. Okay, Robbie is grabbing food. Alright, so we'll move back over to the Demon Skull battle map. And uh, delete Diego because he is not here. Bye, Pardon? Diego. Bye, Diego. Bye, Diego. So we should probably move in the more peoples. Probably a good idea. <sighs> Da <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Why'd you just start singing Overtaken? I don't know. I felt like it. Hold on. Hold on a second. Uh... What, oh, what's the song? Good question. It. What what song would you be implying? Like this, the, like like the filler song of Naruto. Every time a filler episode starts, it always starts playing. Oh, yeah. I don't know if Alex knows that one. He avoided most of the filler. I watched like One Piece of filler and then uh, didn't particularly want to watch more filler. The One Piece is in Naruto! Well, there is a filler arc where we have to fight a bunch of pirates. So. Okay, just for the sake of ease, I have added her as a character. Fair enough. She is now a character. <laughs> With... Which means she can die. With stats. She barely even has a stat block. You should probably have given her a stat block. Oh well, whatever. Congra <laughs> congratulations, you now have the anxious mess on your on your team. <laughs> and now she can die. <laughs> yes, Before. congratulations. <laughs> now, she has a character. She barely even has a proper character design. Uh, that is probably just going to be the most generic character design in existence. It's not true. Okay, for a character who had intentionally got a generic character design. I'm pretty sure that guy wins it. True. Yeah, true. <laughs> he looked like he was made in a factory to be generic, and somehow he stands out because of how generic he is. Like, he basically put in the AI generation for white guy, and that's what came out. I put in uh, most ordinary man or most normal man, and that was what came out of the AI. That is what that is what the AI deems to be normal. Because it's a racist. You know who else is a racist? You. <laughs> I've heard the things you've said. I have said many things. You should stop saying those things. Yes, yeah, stop being racist, Eli. Don't be racist. I am a building. <laughs> Man, what a what a great way to convince people. You know, just just say don't be racist, and all of a sudden, poof, racism gone. Wow, it was it was so easy. Why did no one ever think of that? Yeah, it turns out nobody ever just asked people to stop being racist. <laughs> <laughs> Black people can't marry white people. Hey, got it from Steven Universe. Don't be racist. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew that was all that you had to do to have it work? Just ask you back? once. I, I think he's back just eating. Ah, I see. So he's here. He's just, you know, shoveling food down Garlet. Shoveling food down his pipes. Puzzler. Dozzler. Puzzler. <laughs> That's his, uh, that, that, that's his gang name. Tuzzler. Tuzzler. Wait, no, uh, no, isn't it, isn't it Slippery Gorilla or Wild Man? It's Sweep Gorilla! Sweep Gorilla, not Slippery Gorilla. <laughs> yeah, slippery, slippery Gorilla. gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> just love the grapple uh, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, yeah. this, this is big, <laughs> this is Big Tooth Tony, this is Big Sis Capulo, this is, <laughs> this is Oiled Up Gorilla Tesla. <laughs> Is this, this is oiled up Tesla. This is naked oiled up man. <laughs> anyway. Tesla. Name. His fucking name is just Whoa. naked oiled up person. <laughs> That's his fucking street cred. His street cred is that he's naked and oiled up. <laughs> Street cred. Big hair. Hairbag Tesla. Not to be confused with hairball Tesla. That's, That's the cat. cat. Which is also Tesla. <laughs> yeah, they don't realize that Tesla is also sometimes a cat. Because when you brush his hair and uh, get a bit of it out. 
<laughs> that's like saying if you watched Arcane, but, uh, you know, go with the theory. Uh, then you'll end up with a whole cat. Like, literally just a whole cat. You know, hypothetically. Not even, like a, not even like a cat's worth of hair. Just like, if you do it, it all cl clumps together and turns into a living, breathing animal. Yeah, but it, it's his lesser- This is our fate, cat! Yeah, it's his lesser known form of plasma magic. Plasma magic. <laughs> life creation. <laughs> The, the creation of all things jutsu, and of all the things yeah. you could create, you decided to create a cat. I approve. That is, I mean, that is brilliant. Fair, stage of six pass literally did make a cat with that jutsu. And he's instantly my favorite character now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not as fast as cats. No. Speaking of, hi, Obi. No. Hi. hi. <laughs> well, stop being stupid now that you're back. Oh, don't right. worry. Like Sylvester, I should have gone Sylvester to meow. I, oh, I he did meow we did a lot. Oh, we, did. we did that. Did you not hear the meowing from the blackjack table? No, we <laughs> we were all so just meowing, meowing compulsively at some point. Not we were all doing it. It was me, Eli, and Sylvester doing it specifically to mess with you. I also started joining in on the meowing crowd. Didn't you notice? I was meowing for a while there too. Yeah, we I was notice. doing it too. But we did notice that there, okay? Hmm. Anyway, we figured that we should wait until you're back because. All right. All right. Glenn, if not if nothing else, both Glenn and uh, Giovanni are probably going to be important for this section. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So, you will be shown by the existing members where the uh, plant monsters that they defeated were. They're all still there. It looks like whatever uh, thing warped them in isn't active at the moment, if it's still there. Ashlyn is going to try and hit the place where the plant monster came from. Why was that as Marcel? Uh, she's going to miss. Uh, so she's going to keep trying until she hits. Eventually she hits one of them. No special effect. What investigation would you guys like to do on the plant monsters and whatever's left? I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> okay, um... You are the only person that does not need to roll a constitution saving throw. You just get to eat it. <laughs> it tastes... Uh, actually, roll... Investigation. Or history. <laughs> does their investigates in a very interesting way. <laughs> or nature, actually. This could be a nature check. Uh, I have nature. I mean, it doesn't matter. I rolled a six, so... Okay. Uh, it tastes plenty. Would anyone else hey. like to investigate? Hey, yeah, stop uh, eating the evidence! Yeah, uh, gee, I will. Before it gets in, I call okay. it. Alright. So, I guess that'd be the investigation, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be like yes. insight or perception. Or... Yeah, alright, fair enough. No? Okay, I guess I'll go to Glenn. Okay, alright. What are you looking for? What are you trying to figure out with this? I guess with Giovanni, I was trying to figure out if... Hmm. I was trying to figure out why the... Because I guess that way you were using, like, spatial magic to try and tell if the barrier was still there. Not a barrier. I was trying to see if there was spatial magic active. When spatial magic interacts with spatial magic, it ends up in a large explosion. It doesn't happen often because it, there are rarely two users of spatial magic in the same place. Or two spatial magic spells. Yeah. Okay. What I was trying was if it ended up in a large explosion, there would still be spatial magic active. There isn't. Yeah, that, that is true. Mm. I guess he was trying to examine, like, the magical signatures, like, if there was any of the plants, or... Alright, uh, roll Arcana check. Yep, I will. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, the plants are all very dead. <laughs> nice. And it doesn't seem like any of the wild mana that you noticed the other day is active for the most part. But one of the corpses does seem to have a little bit of mana left. Your guess is it just took a little while longer to die than everything else. You can still sense a bit of that wild mana. 
it seems yes Okay. Please Oh, thank you. You're, you're actually quite dignified. You're very dignified, fellow. Anyway, I guess Glenn's just gonna turn around and just take it to the others. Okay, so there's still a little bit of magic left in this one. It hasn't died off like the other ones. Quite yet. <laughs> Tesla. I had a theory. Would you be able to have a look at the mana of that thing? Okay. I guess Tessa's gonna walk over and start looking at the mana of it. Yep. Arcana, please. Rolling Arcana. I'm rolling like shit. This thing would likely have advantage. Okay, roll with advantage. Yeah. Oh, well, that's gonna make it above 10 at least. Alright. This mana seems very familiar to you. You can't quite place it. I've seen mana like this. Hmm. So where else did we find mana like this? Back in the forest. Hmm. I wonder where that forest is. You know? No, he was at the no. end. Wasn't he the wind magic kid? Back at the, you recognize this from back at the orc forest? Yeah. You said, considering who the Considering who it was that handed you over to me when you tried to run off, that probably means... Mm. Arakan, you can know what I'm thinking? What kind of spatial mage would have a teleporting spell from there? Well, it could be a fuck. Well, it could be really useful. Teleporting Clearly. stuff from there in the middle of the enemy camp. Hmm. We'll need to be careful. First off, we should probably make sure that we're able to find the bond bandit and keep an eye out for something up with this mana. I'm also thinking I'm also thinking there's something else going on. Hmm? Ashlyn. Yeah. Spatial magic normally has a direction, right? You can tell where it comes from and where it goes. Uh sometimes. Did you notice any of that with this one? Yeah, it was definitely coming from somewhere, and that somewhere definitely had the same kind of wild mana that these plants do. Couldn't really pinpoint much beyond that. So the spatial magic itself came from a place... Hmm. It came from a place with the same wild mana that Glenn is detecting on that plant. I do have an idea. Harakon. What, if what are you thinking? What if we're not dealing with a spatial magic? What if we're not dealing with a spatial mage? Huh? Well, there was that gem, right? A lot of mana, a lot of mana was coming out of it. You... Hmm. That would be an incredibly powerful artifact if that is the case. Like some sort of diamond will want to get their hands on it. A spell that's capable of teleporting in creatures from that kind of realm to pretty much anywhere. Imagine the kind of uproar it would cause if it was brought into the Clover Capital. Look hmm. at the Clover Capital. Imagine the kind of chaos it could cause in the middle of any battle. Hmm. Yes. Those plant creatures, did they seem to prioritize attacking any of you? They didn't attack Ashlyn much at all. 
Yeah, that that is true. I wonder if their beings made of spatial magic somehow, or if spatial magic was still on them. Maybe it was a self-preservation instinct. They don't sound like they were directed at you. Because they would have realistically went for me. Unless they somehow knew that it would cause them to explode. They didn't really go for Bo either. Hmm. And yet, and yet, they also didn't go for Diego, but that could have just been due to not being able to differentiate his magic from theirs. After all, they are vines. That was meant to be an Artemis's voice. I did it in Sanans. Whoops. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh. So. I, I also have something to add, if that would be okay. If this person wasn't using spatial magic, they couldn't have been. Then they must have used some other... Then they must have concealed themselves and walked out of here. If that's so, Giovanni, was it? You said you had some kind of observation magic. Would that help you detect tracks? I definitely think it would. Because if they didn't use spatial magic, they could not have teleported out of here. They would have had to walk or move on a broomstick. Traces would still be around here. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Perception or investigation check with advantage. I will go. Probably, per- yeah, I'll, I'll do perception. Uh, okay, 18 plus. The advantage. Yeah. okay. Yeah. With your observation magic enhancing your perception checks, we are going to add that as a spell at some point because you really should have that. Oh, you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, a message. Sorry. Sorry, just sending a message to. Yep. Yep, I agree with that. Um, yeah. You are able to see what look like footsteps from where the guy was standing. He walked around the house, around this way, and then waited for you guys to clear out of the center. And then walked out of this way. Because by the looks of it, the footprints here were a lot heavier than they were everywhere else. Which could have only happened if he'd lingered in the place or had had some extra weight on him. And then you see the user's footprints walk out the door. And then you can see a trail to follow. I guess Gio will just have his calculation of calculus magic out. He's like, well, in any calculus case, magic. <laughs> well, that's essentially what it is. Pretty sure it's a calculator, so, pal. Anyway, <laughs> that Gio's just uh, going to be on his way. It seems uh, to lead to the road, but once you get to the road, it becomes a little bit more muddled. There's a lot of footprints that seem to be glowing. And you can't tell which ones were from the original user. By the time you get a bit further along the road, you'll see forests with cliffs either side. And there are several, there are four separate paths leading into the forest in different areas. Each one of them could potentially be that of your target. Well, we did say this was a scouting mission, didn't we? Oh, that we did. That and you said there were four paths, right? Yeah, there are four different paths we could have taken. Unfortunately, it gets muddled because there's a lot of people that walk down the road. 
Well, right. pop quiz, everybody. What's pop quiz, everybody? How many times can we split up our group so that so that we can go four separate ways? Hmm. Four separate uh, ways. That would be. How many people will be in each group? Uh, first two. person to get this. First person to get this right gets a gets two. a cookie. Well, if so there's. The fact that yeah, there'd, so it'd be two of us, and then there'd be, if we included you, your cousin Har Khan, and Bo, that's, if you go to three. Yeah. So one group of two, three groups of three. Yes. That's, that's if exactly we right. split it up in that way, yeah. Well, so. that's true, however, that's true, although for a scouting mission, it would be best for me to stay behind. Act as a center, act as a center base so that you can all still communicate with each other. In that case, we would have two groups of three and two groups of two. True. Thing is, bandits always operate in the same way. They look for a cave to hide in, and then, once they have found that cave, they generally stay in there. It's got- it's out of the elements, it's typically somewhere people won't walk from the road, and it allows them to get above- to get about their business. Because of that, investigate for a particular cave that looks livable, you'll have a good chance of finding him. I think I should- but, if they're a big enough group, they could have reinforcements. With that being said, I'd prefer to stay in the center, so whichever group of you ends up running into trouble, I can keep an eye on. Also, we're going to be keeping Bo with us, just in case of any serious danger your group runs into. Also because, you know, she's a civilian. Yeah, that does make sense. So, right. Harakon and I are going to be staying in the center, me to act as the me to act as a communication base, and him for the sake of reinforcements. So two groups, so it's just four groups of two then? Yes. Congratulations! Congratulations, Familio, you've answered the pop quiz! Link magic, cookie summoning! <laughs> pop quiz, that was a mad question. He pulls out a cookie and hands it over to you. Thanks. I guess she'll just sort of eat it a little confused. All right, all right. Now everyone, now everyone, remember, first person to answer these questions gets a cookie. But that'll be the only, that'll probably be the only one for today. I hope. All right. Now, in terms of who should go which, in terms of who should go which direction, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we should use this as an opportunity to get you guys. To help you guys get to know each other. A new mage, a new member with an existing member. Also because I don't want to send two existing, I don't want to send two brand new members off on their own for the sake of a scouting mission. Hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. So who are we with? Alright. Okay. Glenn? Yes. Lynn, you and Marcel seem to be hitting it off a bit earlier. We, we didn't. Yeah. Was Giovanni and Marcel? We we didn't oh, yeah, talk, Giovanni. but that was Giovanni oh, and Marcel, right. which you oh, would right. sure. <laughs> All right. Well, Marcel. Well, either way, Marcel, I'll be expecting you to keep Lynn on track and not to go exploring into these cave into these caves too far. Okay. Strange yep, thing I'm in your group. All right. Let's. I promise I'll remain on task. And Glyn, you are the and Glyn, you are the el you are the elder member. So, I trust you to be keeping Marcel safe. Oh. The two of you can. Yeah, the two of you have got some of, some of the best defensive magic on the squad. If anything happens to you, you'll be able to hold out until you'll be able to hold out easily until we get there. Hey. Right. No worries. We'll get it done. Ashlyn. Yep. 
You're with the you're with the gremlin. Ah. Uh, okay. Tesla. Uh, Tesla? Uh, am I qualified to handle the gremlin? Uh, probably not. But the gremlin. But if the gremlin decides to try and run off, you're the only one that can make that can make absolutely sure he gets out easily. Fair enough. All right. Well. Uh. Nice to meet you, Tesla. Hello. Hi. I prefer my distance. Lovely to meet you, though. Okay. Yeah, Tesla, try not to... Yes, Tesla, do try not to touch Ashlyn, ever. Okay. Why? She's like one of those... She's like one of those uh, poisonous mushrooms. Mushrooms can be poisonous? Okay. Um, How are you alive? Life? You ever met a you ever met a hedgehog? Yes. If she's like one of those. They are, so she likes to be scratched on belly. Uh, no, 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 no! I don't like to be touched anywhere, at any time, for any reason, unless you I am actively dying and you can do something about it. Please do not touch me. Oh. Just kind of touch her. So. You're like Dragon Monster. Ah, uh, huh? Rotate? Does that work? Um, I, I think I think it does. Okay. Am I like yeah. Dragon Monster? What's Dragon Monster like? Okay. Ah, okay. uh, cool. Artemis. Yeah. You're with Gi you're with Giovanni. Oh, come on, what? Why I gotta be paired up with that Pontus? Artemis, you're the most senior member in the squad, and he's got the best, and he's got the best scouting abilities. We want to make sure that, we want to make sure that we can have this person with the best scouting teamed up with the person that's the most, with the person that's the most qualified, so you're gonna have to suck this one up. Uh... I do suppose we'll go on swimming in a while, won't we? Control I expect... I expect as much. You guys may enter and function together. Wait, what? And that means that the two that are left are Humilio and Rote. Okay, um... Um, try to stay out of danger and... Try to stay out of danger and do your best to find the... Do your best to find what you can. Did you stick me with him because I'm the only person with healing magic? <laughs> I stuck you with him because you two were the only ones left after all the actual clever decisions. But, yeah, yes! Yes! Thanks. thanks. Yes, the captain was incredibly clever. Yeah, thanks, captain. Thanks, cousin. I'm so, thanks, cousin Harakan. I'm so glad you were thinking of me. Sure he, I'm sure he'll be no. happy to work with the members of the Million household. <laughs> All right then. Is everyone ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. All right. Yes, I gotta be. <laughs> Roll initiative. Not for fighting, just for the purposes of which scene goes first. Sure. I'll roll for. Oh. I guess that's Tesla's initiative. Okay. All right. Uh, I will roll for uh, Blin and Marcel. Okay. Uh, I'll roll for. Ro I'll roll for Ro Rotate and Familiar and Robbie. You roll for Gio and. Anonymous. Anonymous. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, best for last. So first up, uh, Tesla plus. Ashlyn. Second up is, uh, what was the 9 for? Rotate L plus familiar? Four. Yeah, rotate and familiar. Okay, uh, oh, fourth. Okay, uh, then Glyn hey, well an plus initiative. Marcel, and lastly, Giovanni plus Artemis. Uh. Alright, uh, Tesla and Ashlyn first. Uh, we didn't make a map for this, so we're just going to theater of the mind it. So. Hold on, let's get you guys onto the uh, world map, because that'll make it easier to theater of the mind. That is true. 
World map or Clover Kingdom map? Uh, Clover Kingdom map. <laughs> sure, let's go to the world map. Let's take us in fucking Spade or something. Uh, yes, we are actually in the Spade Kingdom right now. <laughs> you can oh, tell with all the magic knights with Clover Grimoires. Alright, so, you are here. Well, you are here, actually. Okay, so, first up, Tesla and Ashlyn. You've both been told that, uh, well, you already know. Okay. So, I've got to keep an eye on you to make sure you don't run off, right? We're just looking for any signs of people. Are you good at tracking? Uh, I'm better at tracking animals than humans. Well, humans are a type of animal. They still leave tracks. They break things. Yeah, yeah but I don't track people because they... I don't want to eat people. Well, that that is a very noble thing. Uh, actually, just a very normal thing. Well, let's have a look. See what we can find. Uh, Tez... Tesla, I believe you would have higher uh, perception or nature, so you roll with advantage. Yep, okay, I'll do that thing. Take your advantage. Alright, sweet. Alright. You find a lot of animal tracks. Not a lot of people tracks. Mm. It looks like pe the people that come here don't tend to destroy the environment that much. You can see a couple of snap twigs here and there, but it looks like if there are people walking through here, they typically walk through here pretty carefully. Hmm. Best guess is people like you. Hunters. I don't smell the mana of anything. Just people... Actually, that's stuff. a good point. I'll do an arcana check. Oh, okay. Natural mana all around. Not any people mana. Yeah. I'm thinking this place is a bust. Should we? We should probably head back to the captain then. Awesome, Blood. Unless you're something anything? Mm, that's it's not hungry, so probably not. Don't you have a lot of food in your hair? Tesla. That's for, that's in case Tesla can't hunt fresh food. Huh. So you hunt things like someone does in the wild, then? Yes. That's... Is that not how you hunt? I don't normally hunt. There is normally food for me nearby. Hot one sec. My headphones are being weird. I'll just pop the other off. Alright. Fixed up. Food is normally easy for me to find. It is in the pantry. Or on the table. Or I can go to the shops and pay money for it. I don't need to hunt food. Let Tesla grow up, Tesla hunts, or Tesla starve. Hmm. Do you prefer it now? That you don't have to hunt food? This is new. Can't say it's bad or good, but it feels familiar. Hmm. Fair enough. Could say it feels familiar. Shut up. Well, you get to head back? Hmm. Alright. Rote like and... Hmm? Uh... How do you not like to be touched? You know feeling when bug crawl up you? Yes, they'll always have that feeling. It's because bugs live in hair. Okay. Does that feeling feel bad to you? Not really. They clean off the dead skin. Okay. Maybe not a good example then. It feels threatening. Like a person trying to hurt me. Even if they aren't. Ah, uh, makes sense. Even if I like people, I don't like people that close. It 
feels a little painful. Hmm. Okay. I, uh, I hope I'll be able to figure out how to communicate with you better soon. You seem nice. Gary Nunn woman said I wasn't nice. Don't get why. <sighs> Scary Nunn woman says that about a lot of people. She seemed like the not nice one. She's the not nice one. Don't tell her I said that. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. Next group, Rote and Familiar. Both my characters are first. <laughs> well, <clears throat> um, like I said, it's a great honor and privilege to work alongside a member of the Vermilion household, ma'am. Okay. You brought that up like six times now. It's getting a little uncomfortable. Uh, I'm, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I guess I just never thought I'd get the chance to do something like this. Are you... Please let me know if I'm being of any discomfort. We're both magic knights and we're comrades. And I'm not... Well, I'm antisocial, I'm not as bad as Ashlyn. Ashlyn did seem to be a little bit... She doesn't uh, like touching her. It's fine, I get it. So, <clears throat> that, really, you can always get along with like with Lynn and Artemis, who are extreme personalities. Yeah, they seem to be a little bit strange. Though, it's, uh, though with everyone here, I don't know. I feel like they're all nice people. Deep down, some deeper down than others. <laughs> do you? What do you think of the other ones? Well, Ashlyn's probably my best friend on the squad, so I got nothing but nice things to say about her. Lynn's intense and easily distracted, but he's a good guy. It's not even hard to see that. Artemis is a thug at heart, but I think we think she means well. I'm honestly not too sure sometimes with her. I see. Well, I haven't known them for too long, but... Based off their, based off how they were in the, in the entrance exam, all of us new members. I think we're all. I think we've all got a lot of potential. Tesla's a. Tesla's difficult, but once you get to know him, he's. He clearly means well. Giovanni, I, Giovanni, I feel he has a, he has some troubles in his past, but he doesn't let a lot of things get to him. It's wonderful to see. And Marcel, I feel that he's angry a lot. I don't know. I just, but his magic is strong and he's got a noble heart. I hope that we can all be of use to the Thronsal stars. 
I heard you passed up the Golden Dawn. Well, I didn't want to be amongst the. I didn't want to be among a bunch of people like that. You know, uh, all just people at the top. Use it. They've got all the power. They use it for whatever they want. Barely have to work or try. I want to be more amongst people like this. People who aren't who aren't that strong, but who can put in the effort. Who can? I guess this might be a little naive of me, but. I think it's, I think you're only really strong if you're willing to put in the effort for what you want. You know, my mother's a silver and my dad's obviously a vermilion. So when I went to do my test, I only got, I had got offers from both the Crimson Lion Kings and the Silver Eagles. I chose here because I wanted to feel like I'd actually earned place I went to. I think we'll get along fine, I say. I think so as well, Familia. I... Oh, and, um... I do... I do apologize if... But... He... You brought it up earlier, jokingly, but... Perhaps at some point... Do you think you might be able to... Try and help me with my commission? What do you mean, joking? I genuinely meant it. You, I'm pretty sure I was giving it you because I have really good healing magic. I, I do hope it doesn't become any sort of burden. I am interested in commissions, so I will have to work out how you secure it at some point. I'm not sure what it is. We've had some of the best doctors in the kingdom look at me and... It has something to do with my lungs. At least my steam magic can help clear those out. Now then. So. Yeah, we should get on to actually looking around. Let's see, uh, I'll roll. Let's see, which of my perception for one place? of you, Arcana for the other. Getting a thunderous knock on my door. I have one of those. Okay. I only have perception. Well, I guess uh, Rute is doing the perception check, Familiar is doing the Arcana check. <laughs> Once Liam gets back. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's going to be funny when we get to Artemis and Geo. <laughs> 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 I'll just be a sec. If he's gone, I'm going to go to the loo real quick. You know whether this is the one that actually has the stuff, so you can run it. I'll be a sec. Hold on one second. Uh. <laughs> well, I guess the fun is the air would have along swimmingly well. That is gonna be fun. Hey, you can't have a good. Hey, you can't have a good crew without some solid rivalries, eh? I, I yeah, sorry about that. Going. My dad was checking on. I, I wanted for dinner. Ah, um, fair, fair. Fair, fair. Uh, Alex has gone. Uh, Alex has gone off to the loo, so I'll be running for the next little bit. Fair enough. Well, I need to roll, so I've got. Uh, I, I've, I've got only. Billion. I've only got perception. So you well, I, I have a twenty wisdom. Every one of my bloody skills is novice at minimum. Oh, I should. Yep, okay, I've only got perception, so I'll roll. I um, think we got perception it. Perception, and you go arcana. Yeah, doesn't matter, I rolled oh, good. good. Yeah, I think oh, we're dang. good. <laughs> okay, luckily for you. So, uh, Familio immediately works it out by the sounds of it, and Rote has a coughing attack. Yeah, uh, Rote has to uh, hit. Uh, Rote has to sit down by a nearby tree. Well, Rote has to sit down by a nearby tree in order to, like, catch his breath. Rue just closes her eyes and just senses the entire area. 
Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm familiar. back from Canada, that's good. Uh, familiar. You can sense the... Uh, you can sense latent... Uh, a little bit of latent magical energy in the area. Um, it seems like there was definitely people here at one point. Uh, however, you'll note that... However, you'll note that it seems to be even older than, uh, than, than what you sent back at the, uh, back at the skull. Most likely, this is the direction they came from, not the direction they went. Oh, well, we're on the wrong path for now, but the right path overall. I've at least got a sense of their mana. They're not. They came from here, not to here. Maybe we can. Which direction does this come from? Would I be able to tell that? I did roll a 21, technically. Uh, yeah, you'll be able to tell. Uh, this seems to be coming from... Uh, this seems to be coming from inside of... Uh, coming from inside of the massive, strong magic region area. Um, however, you know that... However, you know that this path also comes also splits off and heads uh, also splits off further up and heads back towards the uh, left hand side of the royal capital yes. making its way towards saucy and uh, where the Yulton volcano is path also leads towards saucy hmm. we should relay that back to the captain Good idea. Okay, uh, I should be good to go now. Sorry for sorry for not being of more use. It's fine. I'm royalty after all. I've got to I've got to be better than everyone else. She said the thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the only royal that isn't a captain or vice captain. I have to say the lines. <laughs> well. I promise, Amelia. I'll try my best to. I'll try my best to be of more use. Uh, next up. Next up, Lynn is going and Marcel. Next up, I'm going to spend the next twenty minutes doing nothing but farming on FGO. Well, Robbie spent the last twenty minutes, so uh, go with it. <laughs> I love the fucking split. <laughs> It was entirely randomized and definitely not uh, intentional. It was entirely randomized. We rolled dice. Yeah, no, I don't know why you're acting like that. It flat out was <laughs> intentional. <laughs> it was entirely randomized and totally not intentional. I don't know why I'm being sarcastic. That's actually the objective truth. I don't know why I'm being sarcastic. That's actually what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I. Uh, Sir, you're Glenn, right? You're, yeah. you're the newest member aside from us. Yeah, I'm a uh, well, second class junior magic knight. I have been in for a, for a little bit. How'd you end up in the Gorm Dow Stars? I I kind of just blended in because well, content, research heavy, plus I've seen magic and. Did you get offered any other squads? Uh, hmm. I'm actually having a look. <laughs> fair, fair. Doesn't oh, it doesn't say. I think that might have been the only one that offered. Let me see. Um, yeah, I think we forgot to write it down for Glenn. Oh well. Alright, I think it was just the Brontau stars. I think they were the only ones that offered. At least the only ones I paid attention to. Fair. Well, same with me. The Brontau stars were the ones that offered. Guess my magic didn't look particularly helpful to any of the other squads. I can only defend myself or others. I can't really deal any meaningful damage. They probably just thought I wouldn't be 
able to deal with any kind of serious threat. Um, stopping damage is just as important as putting it out, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. well, at least that's what I'd think. But then again, I wouldn't be a magic night captain. I'd be the worst one ever. Hmm. What do you think of the captain? Oh, well, I think he's... Oh, I think it's a really good fellow. Like, he asks me to be focused, which I try to be. He understands my intensity, which is nice of him. And he's willing to always listen to what I have to say. And he always gives cookies. But I'm not ignoring them. But as a captain... All of that sounds like what you think of him as a person. Well, I guess as a captain, there's no one else that I would be with. No one else that I would stand beside. It's... I suppose there always has to be someone patrolling a place like this, but... Is this group really able to do it? I mean, do people not remember the kind of threats that used to face this, the Forsaken Realm? Those kind of threats killed far more capable magic knights than us. Hmm. That is true. That is true. But even so, well, the future generation will eventually have to take up the call when it arrives, and... We need people who are willing to protect life. Mm. And I'd say that we'd be, well, a perfect team for that. We can, well, I guess we could call ourselves the, the, the bronze. shields that guard life. So us specifically, not the bronze all-stars. Fair. Oh, you could say. Besides, a shield can uh, stop rain from falling in your eyes, so it answers two things, doesn't it? Don't think I quite get what you mean there. Hmm. Let me see. Could uh, Glenn try and make an obsidian umbrella by uh, stretching his hand? Uh, roll tinkering. Creation magic is a thing which uh, most magic knights do have. Uh, yeah, it, you make a lump of obsidian. It does not look even vaguely like an umbrella. It just looks like a rock. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, not my, not my best shining moment. Oh, well, still. If, if you want to peg a rock at someone, uh, I can be your supplier. Hmm. Well, it could help. Especially if we run out of, if we run out of mana. Or... Run low, I suppose. <sighs> this place. I'll just look around at it. Is it always full of bandits like this? Uh, well... Yeah, more or less. There's always folks that go against the wall, but... I suppose this time it's a bit different. Hmm. Unless the, at least the captain and vice captain are here. If it's Diamond, our guys have got to be out of our league. Oh, that's why we're being sent this way. I suppose that does give us an opportunity. Uh, who has uh, what's Glenn's uh, perception and uh, Arcana? Because whichever one he has hired, Glenn does. I have Arcana okay, and Novice, no, and Perception also at Novice. What do you have? I have Perception at Journeyman. Alright, so you do the Perception check, I'll do the Arcana check. Yep, fair enough. <laughs> Damn! Nice. Oh, nice, okay. <laughs> Not looking too bad. Oh. Alright. Ela, you mind describing it? Just... What we find with the perception and arcana tricks. You remember which one uh, had the stuff? Yes, yes, I do. Cool. Okay. Um, so 
also quicker if you message it directly to me. Yes, I did message it directly to you. <laughs> it's really hard to forget the thing that's written down right in front of my eyes. That is fair enough. But not impossible. <laughs> yeah. Right anyway, on. okay. Uh, Nat twenty Arcana <laughs> and uh, nineteen on perception. Okay. Uh, right. Ashlyn. Marcel. No, no, no Marcel. Ashlyn Marcel. has already went with Tesla. Sorry. Marcel is the one that's here. Sorry. Okay. Marcel, you sense a lot. Of ma you sense a lot of magical creatures nearby, right? Uh, lots of them seem to be... They don't seem to be quite as powerful as the ones that you fought in the in the skull. But uh, Marcel was not in the skull. Marcel is, one of, is the new member. The ones you saw in the skull. Ah, right. Yeah. Uh, not as powerful as the ones you saw in the skull, but... Definitely more powerful than you'd expect from this region. Mm. It seems that there is a lot of... Uh, you can sense a... You can sense that a lot of them were pulled in through through spatial magic. However, mm. the spatial magic around them has, has dwindled to the point that they have clearly only... They've clearly been here for a little while. Mm. Giving them enough time to spread out from their original source. Careful. There's a bunch of weird creatures with powerful mana around here. Looks like they got some spatial magic on them. Okay, the same ones that we saw earlier today. Okay. And Glint's got a 19 on perception. Uh, 19 on perception? Okay. Uh, Glynn, you'll see a couple of these. Uh, you'll see a couple of these creatures. Most of them are fairly small. Stuff like. Uh, stuff like. Uh, Squirrels and bats and that, but you know, but you can tell that even though they're small, they would be quite dangerous to try and uh, to try and piss off. Sharp, very sharp fangs and various magical effects coming off of them. Interestingly, though, interestingly though, you note a greater number of you note a greater number of them in a greater concentration. Uh, 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 okay, how do I how do I properly put it? You notice that they're in greater numbers and concentration towards a certain direction. Whereas the mm. further away you go from that direction, the less of them you find. It seems like about it seems like about halfway onto the path that you're onto the path that you're going. It the uh, the direction that they start getting more and more concentrated goes off the path. Hmm. That's interesting. I guess when will point this out to Marcel. Oh, there definitely seems to be something going on here. Good job. Mm. Good job Good on you too. This back. You found a lot of them. Yeah. Hmm, indeed. Oh, after I brought this all back, we do have a lead here. Should we keep going or tell the captain? I think I'll tell the captain first, and let him know what's up, and then we can press on afterwards. Alright. It's impressive that you managed to navigate around this place so well. I suppose you did grow up here, so it makes sense. Yeah, this place um, just seems like a big wilderness to me. Yeah, I guess it helps that I treat every journey like an expedition. Fair. And again, I am, I'm, I am an adventurer at heart. I suppose that's I why I got paired with you. Yes, I am why you're... definitely not the wild person. Well, <laughs> no, that's Tesla, but a person who understands the non-city. <laughs> oh, yes. That's very good. You're also essentially my leash to make sure I don't run off. <laughs> So I do appreciate the good work that you do. How much of a concern was that? You seem to be um, pretty focused. Well, I don't know. I, I have sporadic moments where I suddenly get 
caught in the frenzy of wanting to write everything down. It's not happening yet, because important stuff. Fair enough. Well, I guess I'll keep an eye out in the future if you do get one of those moments. Yep, don't worry. Just be prepared, I might ask you a lot of questions. <laughs> it's okay. I like learning stuff. Oh, well, I think this would be quite fruitful learning. I guess so. <sighs> Though I am looking forward to sorting out this mission with the bandits. Oh. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Giovanni and Artemis. Oh boy. Hmm. Uh, I swear to god. I swear to the lord, is the captain punishing you for something? The lord evidently likes giving you wisdom. And evidently likes giving you a chance to enhance your faith, I would say. Yeah, I've been getting tested a lot recently. Listen Ooh, up. I'm sure it's... Listen up, big guy. I ain't a fan of... I ain't a fan of pompous asses like you. You wanna talk about how great... You wanna talk about how great shit you are? Do it in your own time. I've been... Well, clearly you haven't been paying attention. I haven't said anything about myself. Besides, I'm the son of a match, and I'm not a nobleman. Really? You ain't- you aren't a noble? Yeah, I'm not a noble. I'm being groomed for such, but... Why do you think I would speak in such a manner? There's more to what's on the surface, after all. Eh, uh, I guess you have a point there. Still, really? She's certainly good at playing the part. Just like all those, in fact, you're just like all those noble assholes that come to the church and spit in the sacramental wine. What would make you believe that I would do such a thing? I'm just saying you give off the same, I'm just saying you give off the same sort of deal. Yeah, that's, that is more than fair to say. Then again, this is how I'm supposed to act. Not that, it's not like I want to act this way, but why the hell do you keep why the hell do you keep acting this way then, huh? Oh, I'm being prepared for. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm being prepared for what you would call a noble marriage, or one of those. I have to play the part of a capable nobleman, and this is how my father thought best to do it. But I always speak in this manner, and I always use my dignity and really project the prestige of his line. Really? You're getting, you're getting put into an arranged marriage? That's such... That's such bullshit. That shouldn't be something that you can just arrange for another person. Yeah. Tell me about it. And then again, one has to take on duties that are given to him for the sake of family and for the sake of the future. Choice is often a thing that people don't think about. You know, where I come from, they say the Lord has a plan for us all. When it comes to, when it comes to your work, your life, your marriage, but he's supposed to be a supposed to be the big guy watching over us. No way he cares about us all. No way he's gonna he would force something like that on us. Well, you could say that the Lord works in mysterious ways. I guess Geo is just gonna grin. You better be careful lecturing me about the Lord's ways. But, no. Nah. No, nah, for real, man. For, for real, man, that's... That's awful. Hmm. Um, can't, there's one thing I, I can't stand more than a pompous asshole. It's someone trying to... It's someone trying to force things onto others. 
when it comes to kids, you have when, when it comes to kids, you have to keep you have to sometimes do it to keep them in line, but in order to make sure that they have no, actually, it's more than that. You gotta try. You gotta try and do it with some kids to, to make sure that they that they go their own way. In order for that to be a in order for that to be a rebel, you need something for them to rebel against, right? Yeah, that, that would be a most fair thing. So come on, why are you still acting this way, even though I don't know your mom, um, <laughs> dad? Huh. Why are you still acting this way? Your dad's nowhere around. I'm sure your I'm sure your bride to be isn't either. Yeah, she isn't. She looks, at, just her, looks like... at herself and just takes a couple steps back. <laughs> huh. Did you? Huh. I suppose no, no, no. you would. Mm, no, I'm not a noble. Uh, well, then again, some people do have flights of fancy. I. Oh, please, I, I wouldn't want to. But for real, why not just why not just drop it? They're not around anymore. They're not around here. You don't have to. You don't have to be like that kind of guy, do you? Mm, I suppose I do not. And I suppose also my faith in people has been restored by your actions. So I guess in that sense, I will drop. The axe for now. Good. I wasn't but, sure how long I could. I wasn't sure how long I could keep up with, keep up with that kind of guy around. Yes, I'm sure that you would find this asshole quite annoying. I do understand. Uh, yeah, maybe you're not all that bad. Still don't necessarily like you, though. Oh, I fully... I mean, I respect your opinion. Oh, God, that makes me not like you even more. <laughs> I wasn't considering that as a possibility. Uh, sorry, I mean, why would that be a possibility? You none? <laughs> did, did you just try to insult me by calling me a nun? You got a problem with nuns or something, you, you imagine boy brat? Uh, there are many things that I consider issues. Or just one of the most monumental of them. The hell's that supposed to the hell's that supposed to mean? Seriously, what the hell does monumental mean? <laughs> you really need me to explain it to you. Oh, um, here I forged. Oh look at me! I knew I knew big fancy words because I had a proper education. Oh, I do suppose some of us have to add ourselves with a, a bit more tact and elegance and refinement. Oh, I know somewhere I can tax you. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it would be quite revealing. And again, hey. these are moments where. Hold on. We're supposed to be just we're supposed to be looking around for stuff. We can't be getting in each other's throats. I'm a magic knight I'm a magic knight first before any, before anything else. Yeah, that is true. We do have to choose the bomb after all. I do uh, I do wanna wonder. I do kinda of wonder. That observation magic of yours. Doesn't look like anything I've. Doesn't look like anything I've ever come across in, in the Clover Kingdom. Sure, we've got some weird stuff around here, but just numbers floating around. Yeah, just numbers. Which I mean, oh, allows me to see things better and clearer. Allows me to calculate the most probable angle of attack that people will take. 
and also what actions I should take. Let's think of it as calculus. So it lays out the it lays out the whole act, the whole battle plan for you, huh? And you're just following it around. Um, Fitting. Yes. Fitting. Fitting. What do you mean I could possibly be thinning? Oh, um, oh no, nothing at all. Why don't you use your observation magic to figure it out if you're so damn smart? Hmm. Well, for one as blockheaded as you, that should be easy. Yeah. And you'll and she'll just stare directly at you. Then she'll just crack a grin. <laughs> yeah, I think you and I'll get on just fine. I well, suppose fine we enough, shall. Anyway. Yes, I suppose we shall. Regret, regrettably. <laughs> it ain't, it ain't, it ain't gonna be any picnic for me either, bucko. Anyway. Uh, arcana or perception? Uh, I'm assuming perception. Each of you pick one. <laughs> Alright. Artemis, just do the arcana check. You know full well. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna roll perception with advantage. 19 plus. Alright. Yep. Artemis. I have no arcana, so. You sense some level of arcana. Okay. Let's see. You sense some of the wild magic around that seems to be different from the natural mama. But that's about it. Giovanni. You see the steps appear again. They start glowing. About five sets of them, give or take a few. And they seem to be leading into a particular cave. As you go towards the cave, you start to hear voices. <sighs> Sir... You got it, boss. Hmm. With some luck. So. We moving base? After all. After everything. Hmm. Perhaps. Just give it a bit. I need to make sure that this is the genuine article. All right, then. You'll start to hear the steps coming a bit closer. It sounds like someone's coming outside. How the girl that was muted is just going to whisper out of this. I think that's valuable enough to report to the captain. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure the actual bandit hideout was pretty damn near the spot. <laughs> pretty damn near the spot. No, some, no one of us should probably stay here to make sure that they don't run off. I'm sure that he would take to that class quite well. Oh, yeah, probably. Wreckage. Probably, but I'm not the one that has I'm not the one that has magic that makes my eyes better. <laughs> Should be you. Mm. Very well then. I'm here to trust in your divine wisdom. Don't push it. <laughs> um, anyway. Anyway, you can you can keep yourself hidden, right? I should be able to do that. The magic eyes will help me out in that. Yeah, they better. Alright. Keep your eye on them. I'm heading back to the captain. Hmm. Alright, see you later. But Make Artemis sure you gonna... don't die. <laughs> Artemis will have already been hidden off. Alright. So, everyone regroups with Sanan. 
No luck from Tesla and Isend. Yeah, me and Marcel got something on our end. Yeah, well, oh, we got a rough we also, direction. We also managed to find out that they probably came from... <clears throat> they probably came from around Sussy. Probably some connecting path there. No idea of where they actually went. And Artemis, you're missing a member. First of all, where is, First of all, where is Liam? Uh, oh, he went off to grab a drink. a drink. Oh, right, fair. <sighs> yeah, yeah, we found him. Oh, oh quite a sprint. Oh, oh Lord, give me drink. Anyway, they're up this way. They're up this way. Captain Cliffs. Did I read that right? Okay, they're, they're, they're up this way, a fair way. Giovanni's keeping his Giovanni's keeping his eye on them. Hmm. We should hurry. Oh. We shouldn't have left him on his own. But I suppose there was. Hey. Guy may be guy may be a new member, but I can tell he's got grit. He can handle himself, all right. At least long enough for us to get back there. Still though. All right, we will keep an eye out for any further reinforcements. If things go down, if things go bad in there, we'll be sure to help out. However, Glenn. This is still your mission. Yes. Lead him yeah, well. I suppose. Yep, I will do it right. Don't worry. I won't lead any of you astray. Alright then. Let's go. <sighs> Alright. Um, <coughs> let's... Okay, let's do this. You are just outside the bandit camp. You'll be able to peer in a bit and see a couple of people in there. Ah, uh, I'm on the wrong layer. That would explain why I can't move these onto the correct layer. Cool looking map. They appear to be mostly standing around in a meeting. Sir, we got the goods. Should we move? We haven't gotten any further orders yet, have we? Nah. Am I playing the, am I playing uh, yeah, the you're you're playing the boss man. <laughs> I'm just playing all the bandits. Fair, fair. Just remind, just remind myself. Yes, you're boss man. Oh, boss man, what are we doing? Got what we came here for. Surely that's got to be enough. What exactly is this, what exactly is the situation anyway? Hmm. Aside from the inordinate number of plant monsters out there, can't really pick anything much else up. Actually, Giovanni, roll me a stealth check. I suppose the magic eyes don't play into that at all, or...? They don't grant you advantage. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think I hear something outside, though. Probably just another one of the... Probably just another one of the damn... The damn brambles. Hmm. This gem is certainly going to be far more trouble than it's worth. Are those brambles gonna follow us everywhere we go? Wouldn't be surprised. Mm. Wouldn't be surprised. The boss said that it's. The boss said that it's gonna cause us some grief the whole time. Hmm. Guess it'll be good when we get it back to him. Yeah. No 
know there's anything good about it, but what can you do? Just seems to teleport monsters to your location. Definitely not worth storing. <sighs> Who's even want a piece of crap like this anyway? Hello, I'm back. Hey, welcome, welcome back. back. Alright, uh, so... The lost group, uh, perhaps unsurprisingly, the guy with observation magic was able to find where the bandits were. So they found where the bandits were, Artemis went back, and the group is reconvened. And Giovanni is currently listening to the bandits talking about what they're going to do with the artifact. And uh, so far the consensus seems to be give it to the guy who asked them to get it. Uh, so, the rest of the party will arrive near where uh, Giovanni is at this stage. I'm not going to put you guys... Well, eh, screw it, I'll put you guys on the map. But initiative isn't going to start until we go in. Uh, yes, Eli. Alright, uh, so, you guys aren't in combat yet, you're just kind of outside. Well, I put my characters on the GM layer. I should get off the GM layer. Pardon? Totally sure, honestly, I can't yeah. see anything. Okay, uh, can you see four bandits and a scout? Yeah, I can yeah, see, uh, I can see water bandit, grass bandit, fire bandit, and earth bandit. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted to color code them for my own sanity. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, you can tell what they are, I don't care. You'll see the, uh, you'll see the, uh, you can see the scout? Yep, I, I can. Yes, the other one? Yeah. You'll see his, got, you'll see him, uh, wearing a very similar looking, uh, very much the same cloak as you saw last time. Um, uh, however, now that you can get a better look, well, now that you can get a better look, you can see that it's got several, you've got four different clasps on the top of it. They seem to be star-shaped. He's got also a dark belt overcoat over the top of it. Just, the hood is down, so you can see he's got, you can see his crew-cut brown hair. On one, on one of his hips, you can see a, uh, you can see a grimoire, but in the lighting it's hard to tell what, it's hard to tell what it actually looks like. The only thing you can definitely make out is that there is is that there is not is that is that there is no clover on the center of the page of the front. Does anyone want to, Does anyone want to try and get a closer look? Our observation. Um. I'll go with Geo, for obvious reasons. Yes, there's not yeah, I think I'll go with Geo. I'll roll as Marcel. <laughs> oh. What do I see? Okay. What do I see, Dungeon Master? Tesla, uh, Tesla has apparently decided he's going to take a nap in the corner. <laughs> uh, it's... Okay. Uh, so, was that Marcel? Yes, that was Marcel. Okay, Marcel. Uh, and who are you rolling for, Robbie? Uh, Geo. Okay. Marcel Just and Geo. Hmm? Oh, oh, yeah, you did! Board. And both of those were as Marcel. Huh. Well, I guess Marcel gets, uh... Oh, we level up in perception. Yeah, le extra level in perception. Hell yeah. My perception is now probably just journeyman, but still. Yep, it's journeyman. Great level. Great level. Yeah. Uh, you, can, uh, you do manage to get a you manage to get a bit closer. You can see the front you can see a very clear diamond emblem on the front cover of the of the book. However, it's a very strange looking grimoire. At first, it seems like it might just be the flickering of the light, but after you get a little closer, there's no mistaking. You can see a clear... It almost looks like... 
you can see two very distinct colors on it, separated by very clear stitching going up and down the book. It barely even looks like a single, it barely even looks like a single grimoire. It's more like two of them stuck together. Stitched grimoire. Diamond. Uh, Marcel will go note, back. Yeah? You also note that uh, this particular person doesn't have any magic stones embedded in his forehead. Mm. You would remember, you, especially you, Marcel, would remember that that is a very common thing for uh, higher ranking. Uh, for higher ranking diamond mages to have. Probably because he's a scout, not a warrior. This guy's from Diamond. Stitched Grimoire. Diamond on the cover. Looks like the bandits are from here, though. Doesn't have any magic stones. Likely not considered a warrior, but a scout. Makes sense considering where he is. So, so what's the stitch Grimoire mean? Uh, would Marcel be aware of that? Uh... Considering it is Marcel, I would say roll history. Regular? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Holy shit, you nearly gear fired. <laughs> Holy fuck. I am rolling well. God damn. <laughs> Let's hope it only stays that way with my player characters. Uh, you had heard, uh, you would have heard from some of the people who were uh, on the battlefield in the Battle of Giants <laughs> that uh, you would have thought that they were just rumors. But apparently there were some people who had stitched grimoires on that battlefield. And it was said that they were using, that they were so powerful, they were even using different types of magic. It means they can use two types of magic. It's like part of... Mix of fire and lightning? No, like two entirely different types of magic. Like if, uh... Like if Tesla's plasma magic was combined was also combined with my prism magic. That's insane. It's not that it's a hybrid of existing elements, it's entirely different magic types. As a product of their human experimentation. And, what's, and it's part of what makes them so strong. They aren't strong in their own merits, they have to cheat. Bastards. That sounds despicable. <laughs> they are despicable. They experiment on their own kind. Then send them to fight a war that's been going on for god knows how long. Probably because they barely have the resources to sustain that kind of kingdom. But then they squander them all on a war they can't even win. All it does is kill people. Good people on our side on the border. They are disgusting. Hey, uh... Hey, Marcel? It's fine. I know, my, I know what my role is. To protect you guys while we take them down. Yes, but also Tesla just tripped. Tesla. Tesla. You tri Tesla? Tesla, because of your nap one earlier, you trip over your own feet. Tesla like an RP. <clears throat> it's higher than a nat one. I will also roll for bandit boys. <laughs> bandit boys are aware of you. Hey, what's that? That one definitely. Okay, that one definitely wasn't a. That one definitely wasn't a, bra a bramble. Uh, what's that? What is that? Some weird type of cat. 
because he's Sounds like we've got dinner, folks. Tempest is gonna growl at them. Uh, hmm. what the hell was summoned in from the? What the hell did it summon in from the Storm Magic regions this time? Hey, boss man, should we kill the cat? I'm a little more worried about the rest of them. Hey! The hell are you doing here? What other reason Shoot. would we be here? Shoot, look at them. Magic Knight cloaks. Do we run? They're blocking our they're blocking our exit. <laughs> Alright then. I don't see any high ranking ones around them. Uh, damn it. It's just the bonds out stars though. This should be fairly easy. Hey. <laughs> You said you you said they call you Big Sis, right? Yeah. Does Tesla get to beat these guys up? <laughs> oh, we'll hear you. Oh, tell you what. Worst comes to worst, you'll hear it at confessional. Confess your sins later. Kick the crap out of them now. That's my personal motto. Still like that <laughs> idea. Tesla got a 13, Fumi got a 2! Oh, come on! Oh. <laughs> Rotate Artemis. Uh, Glen Geo. Oh, okay, never no, mind. Accidentally hit it. Quiet. I just hit somehow, uh, from the looks of it, Rotate got the same both times. <laughs> oh my god, Rotate and Familio are near pretty much the same initiative. Yeah, that somehow makes sense. Maybe he does not want to be involved. Shoot. Uh, I'll also roll for Scout. So, Bandit Boys are going first. Uh, no, actually, uh, I'm going first. <laughs> like, as a player oh, character, I'm first. going first. You are? Alright. Uh, yeah, and, uh... So did oh never mind. I thought I also got a fourteen. Never mind. A, a nineteen. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, scout gets a turn. Okay. Uh, bandits are all going on uh, the same initiative. I'm just gonna stick an initiative golem off in the corner. Ignore this guy. He's not real yet. Uh, Fumi's not yeah. on the initiative tracker, by the way. Familiar isn't. Where is familiar? Uh, right here. I'll just okay. Put her out here. Okay. Just throw her into the middle of danger. Alright, move her back. Uh, Everyone position your characters roughly where you think they'd be. Marcel's a bit ahead because he was moving to get closer. Ashlyn is uh, probably hiding away from people. This is likely up front because he both A tripped and B apparently was noticed by them when they thought he was a cat. Look at the amount of hair he has. Yeah, look, if he's on all fours and looking up, they'd probably just see his eyes and... The hair, which is like, yeah, that's a cat on the wall. Uh, Rotate's probably up, up on one of the ledges. Okay. All right, can you all add your own initiatives, please? Already have. Yep, already done. I certainly, I can certainly try. <laughs> oh, you're <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right and we cut Eli a minor amount of slack. Not much though. If it's okay. too much, he might actually, you know, think he doesn't have a shit computer. Okay, and Bo goes on initiative 10. Bandit's got a... 19. So, bandits are first. Uh, scout got a... What did the scout get? 10. Oh, uh, yeah. Between Artemis and Marcel, who would go first? Uh, whoever has the higher decks. Which I believe would probably be Marcel. Artemis kind of dumps that dex. Okay, fair. Yes. Yay! All right. The first fight is a squad. Yep. Okay. Instead of the first squad fight Smackdown. within, the, instead of the first fight within the squad, which happened the first time they met. Well, yeah. To be fair, PvP was kind of required there. All right. Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't mean in the exam. I meant when they showed up at the oh. church. 
Oh yeah, Val. Ah, what's a squad? Ah, what's an anime group without a little bit of friendly rivalry? And a little bit more unfriendly rivalry. <laughs> Okay. Uh, first off, Wind Bandit is going to roll to attack Marcel. He is going to miss. Fire Bandit is going to roll to hit Glyn. Uh, what's your AC? Uh, 15. Okay, 15. Uh, Wind Bandit does not hit you. Okay. Uh, Water Bandit is going to go for Artemis. Water Bandit is going to miss. Earth Bandit is going to go for Tesla. It is probably going to hit. Okay, fair enough. Oh. All right, he is going to uh, attempt to. Plus three. Damn it! So you oh. might dodge. You wouldn't be able to take it. Plus three. Okay. Uh, take twelve points of damage. No, wait. That was a four. That was meant to be a three. Eleven. I still got the brakes knocked off me. Okay. Bandit's turn is done. Ashlyn, let's see. Does anyone need teleporting out of dodge? Because if not, I'm going to try and hit one of them. I don't think I'll need it. I, mean... I, did, I did take max, max damage, but I don't think I'll need it. Alright. In that case, I am going to shoot at Scoutman. Fuck. Okay, who's nearby? Uh, oh, please, for the love of fuck, don't be me. Uh, okay, if... It would either be Giovanni, it would probably be Giovanni, realistically, or Ashlyn. Gonna roll a d2. One is Ashlyn, uh, two is Giovanni. Or can I just knock myself prone? Fuck. Eli? Okay. What do you, what's your call? Uh, normally you only knock yourself prone if it's a melee attack. That is ranged. Ashlyn does not have melee. <laughs> That is unfortunately. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be as fair as possible. <laughs> I, I, I fully understand, mate. That's all good. Okay, Geo's. You are definitely going down. Oh, that's initiative bandit. How are you still conscious? Oh wow. Giovanni, oh, I am so sorry. It's, I am. I. I think I'll be. Yeah, I'll. I'll be dropping my heel smoke. Okay, uh, Marcel, uh, is going to try and, uh, set up, let's see, one prism on his chest and another one on Giovanni. Alright. That's the anti-damage prism, for the record. Okay. Prisma Armis, shield of heart! And he will activate two prisms. Artemis. Alright. Time to have some... Alright, I should try and have some fun. Gate for Jeff Marker! Uh, and she's gonna pull out the big cross and attempt to whack the opponent with it. Uh, that'll probably hit. Okay. Uh, yes, it does hit. Roll damage. Okay. Nice. Yep. Sorry, just uh, calculating damage. Right. Four. Twenty-one points of damage. Nice. Water Bandit looks very hurt. Punch him. Okay. Roll the punch. Hits. Roll damage. Uh, it's just a regular non magical unarmed strike. Yep. Down. Damage all up. I'd be surprised. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna try and punch the dude in front of me with Solar Kay. Strike. Okay, Earth Bandit, right? 12. Miss. Fuck. Scout. Uh, I'll throw it offhand of the same Kay. thing. Okay, alright, roll. 13. Miss. I think. Let me double check, actually. Wow, these are great. Yeah, I, w I thought they'd have pretty low ACs considering... Wait, what did we give the bandits? No, we did give them 12. Never mind. Yep. Oh, so I hit them both. Yep. Well, uh, just in... Okay, so... Roll the first one. Somehow. I doubt it. Yeah. So, uh, uh, do I need to separate? Uh, no. Not on Earth, guy. So, 2d... 2d10 plus... 6... 14. Okay, he takes 14 points of damage. He yeah, looks hurt. Hand strike. 18. Okay. Alright. He is down. I assume he's down too. Yes. <laughs> Was that good? Oh. Alright. Oh my god, he summoned another version of himself. <laughs> Different guy. Don't worry about it. Okay. And this guy should have... How much damage did the previous guy take? 30. Okay. So, Water Bandit took 30. Alright. Earth Bandit took... 30. Scout's turn. Eli. What's the Scout do? Uh, hold on. Do you want me to run? Uh, yep. Yes, that is correct. Scout guy is gonna shoot. Oh, all right, let's get these guys. Let's get these guys out of here quickly and report back to and report back to home base. Plastic magic, pop their tires. Oh, uh, and the two guys that were just taken down. Rise back up to their feet, looking rejuvenated. All right. You guys got to be more careful than that. They may just be the Bronfell stars, but they're still magic knights. Don't go easy on them. Also that one. Don't go easy on them. Plastic magic. Synthetic armor. Uh, and... Water Bandit. Is... And you'll see Water Bandit start to get coated with a see-through... With some sort of see-through material. Um, Ability as written. Into separate sections like armor. This activates on all of them. Uh, one action targeting one ally. After the first time it's activated. Bo's turn. Alright. Giovanni. Giovanni. Tesla. Wait. Do you need to be moved somewhere? I can get you out of danger. Has to find where he is. Okay. Yeah. I'm fine as well. It's the scout guy that we need to get rid of. Still within range of my healing. In that case. Everyone's fine. Readying action. If someone is about to get hit, she will teleport them somewhere else. Giovanni. Oh, okay. Actually, I do have something for this. I'll move right over here. Oh, I just had an idea for something. <laughs> I 
Okay, I'm gonna use uh, scab for a while. Yep, I'm gonna use Enlightenment Zone on the three bandits that are, well, the two bandits that are in front of Tesla and the one in front of Glenn. Uh, fail, succeed, succeed. So, uh, Fire Bandit is going to take full. And, uh, yeah. right. Earth Bandit is going to take nothing. Yep, that's more than fair. Uh, 3d6 Psychic. Uh, 6 damage. Plus Novice, so that's a plus 2. And... Yep, okay, so they have disadvantage to hit. Okay, uh, any... Oh yeah, that would be my turn. Whoops. Alright, uh, could you set up a little aura? Or is that not possible? Uh, let me... You can, yeah, you can do that. Okay, so, how? So, so click on your own character, hit the... What's the range? Uh, thing. uh 20, 20 feet. It's a 20 foot sphere. Is that the right size? Yeah. Yes, yes it is. Cool. Alright, Glenn's turn. Okay. Um, yep, so with Glenn, I'm gonna have him go for Obsidian Gauntlet, so I'm gonna have him try and attack the Fire Bandit. Okay. Uh, 10 plus... If it has Novice, it hits. Oh yeah, that's not the side hits. Okay. So that's 2d8 melee. Okay. That's 9 damage plus novice, which is a 2. And make a save for me, Alex. Okay, so that's 6 damage. And what save? Yep. That column. Fails. Fails. Okay, nice. His uh, movement is reduced by 5 feet. Cool. Yep, Alright. And... That will be it for me. Yep. Rotate's turn. <clears throat> uh, okay. There's a lot of people here. I should try and use this. Come on, Bull. Come on, Duga. Let's get you all let's get you all nice and ready. And Rotate is going to spend a turn charging. Okay. Yep. Cultivation check? Yeah. Failed. Well, he's going to attempt to spend a turn charging. All right, what do you want to do? Fine. You are terrible at your gimmick. <laughs> Damn. Okay then. You want to come? I get it, Duga. You want to come out right now? I understand. Fine then. Go forth, bull Duga. Are you going to shoot it at? Uh, Green Bandit. Okay. Not as bad. Okay, do you have, uh, what proficiency? Uh, Novice. Mess. Damn. Familiar. Currently, uh, Giovanni has one hit point and Tesla has four. I'm going to upcast my healing spell. Understandable. That is my job. Yeah. yeah, so I need to check the range on this really quickly. So it says within 20 foot of me. Mm -hmm. 20 foot circle. Actually, it's 10 foot circle. Please. So this is radius. Oh, good. They're still both in it. Okay. okay. It's hard to do my job. Be magic. Rejuvenating spring. And I'm going to roll uh, my 2d8 plus 2. Heal 10. That is very useful for me. It is a ranged heal that I can upcast to make it 2d8. It's rather good. Sick. Top of round. Top of round, Scout is going to is going to see what's happening here and perform a and perform a legendary, one which we forgot to do earlier. Well, that's the wrong music. 
a legendary action at level one? What the fuck are you throwing at us? A diamond scout. Man, this diamond scout must be on steroids or something. Either that or we just got. Either that or you got shot in the back. Of you compared to five of them. Yeah, well, here's the you got shot in the back by your ally, and I got max damage rolled against me. Okay, uh, Eli, I'm thinking you should roll for the enemy. <laughs> So we don't oh, TPK. Boy. Look at how I rolled for Cultivate. Yeah, exactly. That's why you should roll for the enemy. Because you're rolling like okay. shit, and I'm rolling great. Fine then. Plastic magic synthetic armor. And you'll see that same plastic start to wrap around the other bandits as well, coating them in a thick armor. Hmm. Damn it. They're defending themselves. I'm not supposed to be able to do that. Sis? Fight back, you cowards! Tesla has an idea. Well, what's the clever idea that you have? Remember that spell I used at the, uh, exam? Bolt booster? I'm thinking I can u considering that makes me move way faster, I think if you launch me with your bat at him, I can beat the crap out of him really hard. <laughs> Really want me to be using my bat to whack you halfway across the room? Tesla can t Tesla shoot Tesla can make fists in a plasma. You really strong. Tesla really strong. Add two strongs together, make really really strong. <laughs> and make yeah, I guess I can't, I, I guess I can't argue with flawless reasoning like that. <laughs> <laughs> Is either gonna pick a fight with or adopt Tesla. <laughs> adopt, but like from the pound. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Two strongs make a really, really strong. I don't know how to rule this. How do you do it, Eli? I would say, I would say, uh, uh, Artemis, uh, Artemis readies in action, or Artemis readies in action to chuck, uh, Tesla. Tesla gets advantage on his attack and gets to, uh, and gets to rush up to the scout. Fair enough. However, it is the bandit's turn. Yep. This one, upon hearing you talk about your plans, is gonna go try and whack Artemis. And, uh... God damn it, you made me a tiger! <laughs> okay. Sorry. And eight points of damage against Artemis from Earth Bandit. Water Bandit is gonna whack Tesla. Water Bandit is gonna miss Tesla. Fire Bandit is going to... Be a cunt. Giovanni. Oh dear lord, I- Oh, Eli, can you roll and have that be the thing instead? No, no, you no. have to take your rolls, Alex. Oh, and Giovanni yeah. has to take his lumps. Oh, wait, you will not die. Wait. wait. Yeah. Giovanni gets yeah. teleported yeah. out of the way. Yeah, oh, and that's yeah. Because I set that up before. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> you ought to be more careful. Not to get yourself in harm's way. I was being careful. I don't think that was on him. <laughs> Wind Bandit is going to attempt to attack Marcel. Wind Bandit is going to miss Marcel. Ashlyn's turn. Let's see. Hmm. Once we clear out the bandits, I'll be able to do something about the scout. Hmm. But first... No one needs teleporting. Erase your bullet. And that is going to hit. Spinal column is getting sent to the non existent dimension. Okay. And. Water Bandit takes some damage and is knocked down again. Marcel's turn. Let's see. Okay. Who's low health? Tesla's low health right now. Oi, Tesla! I'm sorry. 
No, 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 actually, I only lost one health. Oh, right, that's the bandit with, uh, that's the bandit that's low health, never mind. You see, I, I got <laughs> healed by 10 points because uh, Fumi has a really fucking strong healing ability at level 1. Okay. Alright. Hey, Glenn, if you can head to the other side of that water bandit, we can create a wall so they can't escape. But for now... Yeah, good idea. Yeah, of course, no worries. But for now, let's see. Who would be a target? Hmm. I'm thinking... Yes, that is correct. I'm thinking... I am going to put a prism on... Artemis, who was just proven to be a target. No problem. Artemis's turn. All right. I'm going to, going to batter up, huh? Oh, sorry, sorry, Lloyd. Maybe next time. And she'll chuck away the uh, <laughs> she'll chuck away the um, chaff marker into another like glass window. Stained glass, stained glass magic. Confess a bat. <laughs> batter oh. up. And she'll ready her action for when Tesla's in range. Or when Tesla's ready. Yep. So you're yeah, holding the, like, batter up pose? Yep. Anyway, that's, her, that's all she can do on her turn. So. Okay. Uh, Tesla. Uh, I'm going to activate Bolt Booster using my ability. Okay. And I'm gonna jump up in the air, aiming for my feet to uh, be on the bat. Okay. All right. Ha! And she's going to like swing the bat straight into your feet. Yep. So um, would this be a roll to hit? Sure, roll to hit Tesla. Uh, since Tesla's trying to get hit. Yeah, I'd say you could do with advantage. advantage. Yeah. Oh! All right, Thank you hit Tesla. Tesla. <laughs> and I launch off that at him. <laughs> Team Magic Tesla missile. <laughs> All right, roll to hit Tesla. I believe also advantage on this. Yes, you do. Naturally. Oh, if only I crit. That would have been great. <laughs> All right, you hit the Diamond Scout. Double fisting him in the chest with a solar strike. Okay. Oh, magic. Uh -huh. so that definitely hits him. Okay, roll damage. Do I need to separate on him? Uh, yes, you need to separate. Okay, so I'll roll 1d10, so this will be fire. Okay. He takes two points of damage. This is the lightning ning ning ning. And he takes five points of damage. Okay, so he halves lightning. Uh, yeah, uh, plus six yeah. as well. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. <coughs> Wait. <laughs> Shit. Okay, this is one spell. However, you'll notice that the hits barely seem to land. As it seems like the plastic sort of absorbs it. He takes five points less damage from the main attack. Try again. Gladly. Okay. I'm gonna blindly shoot, but I don't still have uh, advantage. This one now. You're in control of his health, I can't. Yeah, I know. I know, I'm in charge of everyone's health. Roll again. You miss. Fuck off Windows Security. Okay. Now, what's Scout doing this turn? Damn it. He broke through the front broke through the front lines, huh? <laughs> Damn it. This is getting out of hand. Cloak and magic. Fox mask. And you'll see him uh, cover his eyes with his hand as he as he completely disappears from view. 
I try and see if I can figure out where he is? Or... Uh, how does that normally work? Hold on. Uh, invisibility. He has put the invisible status condition on himself. Uh, so, let me just double check what the invisible status condition does, or someone else can check. Yeah, I'm, I'm checking it. I'm checking it now. Uh, possible to see without the aid of magical special senses for purposes of hiding. Keeps his head really obscured. Location can be detected by any noise or distract the thieves. Uh, creature attack rolls have advantage. Attack rolls against have disadvantage. Uh, okay, roll perception. Come on, let my wild animal instincts take over. They kind of did. did. Not much, but they did a little bit. I guess we'll roll contesting stealth. Okay, we'll roll stealth. You'd probably have a higher oh. roll than I would. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you don't sense. Uh, you don't sense him. Okay. And you don't know where he is. All right, and then, and then, hold on. Yep. All right. All right. Geo. Oh no, it's Bo. It's Bo. Yeah. Where am I needed now? Okay. Familiar. I'll move you somewhere safer. That'd be much appreciated. <laughs> and you are teleported away from the enemies next to Giovanni. Giovanni. Okay. I guess. Giovanni's gonna look up, see that Tesla's staying on his own. I'm gonna roll Perception to see if I can find out where the scout went, or at least try to. Okay. I roll with advantage because of observation. That would require mana. I'm. Uh, no, that would be a spell. So use the first one. You were rolling with advantage out of combat. You're gonna need to actually have a spell to do that in combat. So, but it's fine. The 16 is higher. Okay. Uh, what does that come to? Uh, let's see. So that's Johnny Man, so... I would come to a 19, which won't be enough. Actually, does this guy have proficiency in stealth? We're probably assuming he does, right? Uh, it does. We did not write skill proficiencies on any of these guys' character sheets. That mean they don't have them. I mean, hold on. Let me check what uh, that does. For the purposes of hiding, the creature is heavily obscured. Um, Cannot be detected without magic or special senses. I feel like because of the fact uh, that I don't think we did give him, we didn't give him any. So <laughs> wait, does that mean Geo sees him? Giovanni, you can sense the scout. Oh, okay. I've... All right, I've got him again. So where exactly is he? You sense yep. him uh, over I... in... You sense him over rough... Oh, right. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I guess Geo's a... Stick him in on a GM layer and moving him to a different token... To a different location. Roughly over yonder. Yep, so he just, uh, roughly uh, over in this direction. Oh, ah, yeah, I see. Thing. Yep, so Geo's immediately gonna just point that out to the others. Yeah, he's right over there. All right, they will now be able to target him, but they will still have disadvantage. Uh, yep, I feel as such. At least until his, All right. at least until his next turn. Okay, well, in that case, I can't get to him. I, I could throw, uh, but that would be with disadvantage. You might want to stab okay, some gonna... bandits before they overwhelm us. Yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, I'm just going to stab Red Bandit. Okay. I'm going to try and save my mana. All right, you hit Red Bandit. Roll damage. Yep, uh, episode D8. Oh, damn it. Okay. What's your proficiency? 
It's Johnny Man. Okay, so he takes four damage. Got four damage. Okay. And that'll be it for my turn. Glenn. Okay, uh, since the rough direction of it has been pointed out to me, I'm gonna do what Glenn does best. I'm gonna do Obsidian... Yep, that'll work well. Obsidian Crimson Charge through okay. these guys. Alright. Yep. Cool. Yep, they'll have to make a Dexterity saving throw for me. Uh, Fire Bandit fails, Water Bandit succeeds. I'm just gonna check if they have Dex. It literally doesn't matter. Why was I checking if they had decks? Okay, uh, anyway. Roll damage against, uh, fire- Roll double damage against Fire Bandit. Yep. Uh, 20. Okay. Yep. So and he's down. Glint charges right through. Oh, nice. But, uh, the scout was not in that line. Yep. Rotate. Uh, that sucks. Uh, all right. Let's try this again. Okay. I won't be able to... I don't have enough mana to be able to... Do what damage type was that, out of curiosity? Of a damage type that I did? Yes. It was, uh... It's written down as earth damage. Okay. Keep going. I suppose that'd be bludgeoning. No, it's earth damage. That is its own damage type. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Uh, alrighty. And Rote is going to attempt to cultivate. Okay. Roll cultivate. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, I think that should be allowed for two charges at this point. I'm assuming that gives me two charges. Yeah. That should give you two charges. You have two charges on your cultivate. Oh, you're right. Familiar. I'm getting quite lively. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, which of the bandits that's still up looks the most injured? Uh, let's see. Earth Bandit. Wind Bandit is basically untouched. I'm gonna try and hit uh, him with a rapier steam shot. Okay. I'm not going to. Cool. Bandit's turn. Only two of them are up. One of them is going to see what's up with Marcel, and is going to try and target the person without a prism on them. And is probably going to hit. Uh, that's a 15. Yeah, Fumi has a fucking terrible AC, so that hits. Okay. Uh, well, you take minimum damage. <sighs> it's, it's, it's okay, I took maximum earlier. Okay, yep. Earth Bandit is going to notice that Rote was doing something and whack him. He's going to not whack him. Ashlyn is going to... Let's see. Anyone need teleporting out of dodge? Probably not immediately. Yeah. She can't see where the scout is. So she's going to go for one of the bandits. Earth bandit. Okay. He's down. We'll see if he's dead. Uh, yes, he is definitely down. Okay. Actually. He's not. Okay. Marcel's turn. Uh, noticing that the asshole decided to go for Fumi is going to put a prism on her. Hey, don't attack the healer! That's illegal! <laughs> Alright. Artemis. Ah, good. Okay. Looks like everyone around me is pretty much done. Alright. You guys think you can handle that other bandit? Ah, this should guy be good. Whoever this guy is, he's clearly got something that can heal. He's got something that's helping his allies. We should try him up as soon as we can. Stained glass binding magic. Dogma chains. Uh, and she's going to uh, bind up the bandit in front of her. Uh, the red fire bandit. Okay. 
Fire Bandit is out of combat. Shit. Wait. I don't think we actually put that down. Uh, give me a sec. I thought that was a thing that we were giving her for. Or is it only outside of combat that she can use that? No! Everyone can use that. We forgot to tell them that they can use that. We need to find that. Oh. That is an entire mechanic of the combat we forgot to tell the players. We're, we're dumbasses. What, what happened? It's, it's... Give me a minute. There's a gimmick to this fight that... There's a gimmick to this fight. You know how... Uh, okay. You know how people in uh, Black Clover, uh, such as higher-ranking magic knights, tend to have a, like some sort of binding magic? Yes. You guys are allowed to have that on your characters for free. Essentially, if an opponent is at zero HP, you can use a binding magic spell to tie them up and uh, to tie them up and restrain them. Uh, oh. Basically, making it so that they can't use any they can't use any spells or anything. And then when they wake up, they you know, can't use any spells or move. That would be useful to know about. <laughs> I am so sorry. I'll make one up. Okay, uh, we wrote it down somewhere, but I can't find it. Uh, only, the, only the old members have that. New members haven't learned it yet, but old members can do that. What? Yeah, I'd be yeah. surprised. Yeah, seriously, didn't forget that you guys have banding magic, right? Yeah. What's that? Tesla just shot to the haste side. Okay, fire magic is out of- fire mage is out of combat. Tesla. What's that? Of course Tesla can't do it. Uh, so... Can I see if I can smell out? Or it's still here? Uh, you know his location, it's just that you'll have disadvantage on attacks. Let me move him off the GM layer. Okay, he would be about here. There's the wall attack roughly where he is then. Yep, roll with disadvantage, he is invisible. Oh, fuck you! Uh, Tesla will miss. That's my first nat 20 I've gotten. I'll fan attack for the same thing. Okay. He will miss. Okay. Uh, that's the first nat 20 I've bloody gotten this whole campaign, and I fucking missed it. Sorry. Damn. Sorry, okay. man. I, there's not much. Immense yeah, salt. there's not much I can do. Immense salt. Salt. <laughs> anyway, Scout's turn. Alrighty. Scout is going to... Remember, Scout is still invisible. Not again. Okay. Mm. Scout is going to, I believe that's... Yeah, okay, I can see the range for that. Uh, Familio. Contesting grapple checks. Full thanks, game! <laughs> Paid me back! <laughs> Paid me back! Motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, familiar. Oh, you feel man. the you, you feel the scout trying to grab you. Can I shoot a blast of steam into his eyes? <laughs> uh, no, you don't know where his eyes are, but you do get a, you do uh, break free. I did nat twenty, dude. Yeah, so his uh, cloak is going to come down. It's probably because of just the steam that's surrounding you, showing his location. You know how invisible people always. He is no longer invisible. My dad will kill you if You're... I tell him. <laughs> you're a freak. You're a healing mage, right? You're, you're a healing mage, right? Yeah. Good. You can heal my. You can heal my allies. Get them. You can get them back up to health once we're done. Interesting. I have the magic a puppet eyes. Oh come on. Oh no. Okay, so this is stage two. Nope. Back. This is the oh. party wide heal. Uh, you already used puppet arms stage one. You're on stage two now. I know. You'll be able to actually, you'll be able to actually heal them once we're done. I should make sure that I get. I should make sure I capture you alive. Sorry. It's necessary. You get it, don't you, Miss Royal? And I think I need help now. 
All right, let's get you somewhere safe. All right, let's get you somewhere safe. And Bo is going to teleport you to... Near those two, because they look safe. <laughs> yeah, near the wild animal and the angry man. <laughs> oh, sorry, Giovanni, your turn. Giovanni, your turn. Okay. Yep, so Gia's gonna move there and there, because still in attack range. I'm gonna use after image equation. Okay. So I'm gonna roll perception. Perception. Yep, do I roll it with advantage or is it just normal? Normal. Normal? Yep, fair enough. Uh, 12 plus journeyman. Hits. You have so advantage on your next sure. attack. Yep, I'll do just that. 18 plus. You hit. Roll damage. Yep, so that is 1d8 and 1d6. Plus proficiency. Yep, which is... Not good damage, but it is something. Okay, so that's three plus three. He takes one point of damage. Oh, yeah, that, that'd be right. Oh. Okay, well, I got one stack at least. Okay. Glenn, your turn. Water Bandit is back up. Oh, great. The Water Bandit's back up. Uh, all right. Guess I gotta deal with this guy again. So Glenn's going to walk over. Let me see. I'm not looking too bad on health, so I'm just going to go for... Yep, I'm just going to go... I'm just going to go for a pickaxe attack. Okay. Uh, nine Miss. Journeyman, does that hit? Miss. Miss. Okay, that's my His turn. AC has been increased. Yep. Rotate. You have two charges. Alright. This guy's a this guy's a weak this guy's a vomit. This guy's a resistant. That's the one. Resistant to what you can do. Maybe I don't know. Blatson wouldn't be able to help you. Robbie, what are you typing? You can just say it out loud. Oh, yep, sorry. It's, uh, Geo's, uh, 20 foot spheres now. It's gone. It's cool. been used up. Two rounds have already passed. Fair. Alright. That's all I can really do. Come now. Bold Duga! And he's going to max cast this. Okay. Hits. Yes. It is an 18. It hits literally everything on this battlefield. Okay, uh, no, if I remember correctly, it's two. Uh, and, so he's aiming that at the water bandit. Water bandit? Okay. The water bandit's about to become steam bandit. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He's about to become steam bandit. Yeah. All right. The bandit hidden in the mist. The blast hits yeah. him. Bold Duga has an extra effect. Uh, the uh, green bandit. Yep. Which one that is? Uh, wind bandit. Wind. Yep. Uh, wind makes a con save. I should really stop rolling. Yeah, you should. Uh, Duke then roll. This is a wind bandit, but ends up, but ends up getting. Well, you're playing the bandit. I'm playing the scout. Sorry, guys. Uh, but ends up going. But ends up getting pulled off into the ground below. Okay. All right. Now, as it hits the water bandit, their entire body jolts, as you will just see him collapse to the ground, dead. As surrounding them, a bunch of injuries start to pop up that weren't there before. Cuts. Wounds made from plasma. All sorts of things. The injuries that seemed to get healed up before. 
Familiar's turn. Okay, if he wants me, I won't make it easy for him. It's the magic. Morning fog! So this is a... This will just check for me. I'm a, so this is a 30-foot uh, sphere. So that's just Glyn, Tesla, and Fumi. Uh, everyone inside of that gets to make a uh, stealth roll with advantage. So uh, this is Fumi. Good. This is Tesla. He's invisible. <laughs> that, uh, Tesla's disappeared. Oh god, Tesla disappeared. Des Tesla disappeared. We lost the cat. <laughs> yeah, he just like the, the steam just went over him, and I just like you know the thing in like anime when the person just disappears because of hyper speed. He just does that. Just... I was honestly thinking of like Homer Simpson just fading into the bush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's also actually I like that idea better. That he just steps into the mist and then it's like, okay, I can't even sense him in here. Where did he go? The white hair gives him an advantage in the mist. <laughs> Green Bandit, you bastard! You killed him. And is going to strike for Rote. How could you? And he will shoot what looks like a giant slice of wind over at Rote. Oh, shoot. 15 points of damage. To reduce Rote's hit, uh, mana as well. Yes, yes, you should. Morning fog. And. Um... Where was the. There. No, there. Minus fifteen. Answer. Uh, no, I already did the minus fifteen. I'm gonna add a plus fifteen. You leave your health Rote alone. Dead. Rote is not dead. Rote is fine. I just lost my wind for a second. <laughs> Earth Bandit is going to try and punch Rote. Ro Earth Bandit is going to hit Rote. How dare you! Is going to attempt, uh, is going to use his reaction. Stuff. Understandable. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, no. Tolkat! Okay. Roll your thing. I did. Yes. Oh, has it not gone through? No. No. Give it a sec. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, what are you rolling against? Uh, his two hit roll. Okay, his to hit roll is a 16. Okay, that fails. Okay. Rote is down. Oh, okay. Worth a shot. Even if it had succeeded, Rote would have been down, so. Ashlyn's turn. Ashlyn is going to teleport Rote into the uh, steam cloud. His unconscious body gets to make a spell. <laughs> <laughs> and since she can't see it, that's three mana. All right, Marcel. Hmm. Let's see who's in danger. Everyone seems to be fine, so he is going to uh, shoot at the uh, scout. He is going to miss the scout. Artemis's turn. All right. All right. Guess that other band. It's. I guess it's time to take this. I'm take this one down as well. Hey! And she's gonna just try and smack this guy over the head with the baseball bat. Okay, roll to smack. Right. You miss. Right. He right. did. Like, every time oh, you ask what? him to roll it, he has rolled it, it's just taken two and a half decades. Okay. Yeah. You still want roll one rather than roll twenty. Uh, okay. I'm going to uh, attempt to offhand this guy then. Okay, roll to offhand. Again. You hit. Roll damage. Roll one d six plus six. Okay. Oh, nice. Damn. Okay. She's pissed. Yeah, for good reason. Alright, 
He takes some damage. He looks hurt. Tesla, your turn. You are invisible. Yeah, I nat 20 on stealth, so I have to ask him to. So let me just check something. Uh, that has to cease to be. 20, 25, 40. That's within my movement speed. I'm going to try and uh, attack the scout. Again, with... Uh, I'm going to, again, try and attack the scout with my bullshit. Um, what's called again? Solar Strike, that's it. Actually, no, it's a stupid idea. Instead of doing that, I'm going to go to here, and then I'm going to try and blast him with Solar Shooter. Hey. I believe I have advantage on this. Yes, you are invisible. Oh! <laughs> not a, nice. It's only just not a Gear 4, but he is definitely getting hurt. Uh, it's an okay if I upcast this. Oh, yeah, go for it. That just... That, well, that will double the benefit of your upcast. Rolling. So, I have the lightning, correct? No. Not this time. You are dealing enough damage that you do not need to half the lightning. So, I'll just do everything. So, 68 plus 4. 36 damage! Yikes. Don't hurt the nice healer lady! Alright. And is that the end of your turn? And now I'm gonna run up and punch him. Okay, roll to punch him. I'm blooding a shield of advantage anymore. You do not. He is very aware of you. You miss him. Scout's turn. I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to. She would just have to do anything for harm. She would just cooperate. <sighs> Tesla's gonna Damn. growl at him again. That's not ever gonna happen. You know that. You're bad people. Cloaking magic. Healing cloak. Shoot. I'm gonna have to use pop it arms again. Fine. Please survive this. Okay. Bo's turn. Hmm. Let's see. Does anyone actually need teleporting? I think she's just gonna hold her action. Giovanni. Hmm. Yeah, my attacks don't really do a lot to the scout, so... I'm gonna go after the bandit on this one. I'm uh, for the reference... By, uh, do do a perception check or an insight check really quick. Okay, I'll do a perception. Okay. I'm... Okay. It looks like the thing that was absorbing the damage was the armor. However, with the amount of damage it has taken, it looks like it has melted. The armor does not look like it's going to be any reasonable amount of protection, so therefore is unlikely to actually weaken your attacks in any way. Yeah, it does look like kind of throw a critical hit ball of lava at it. Sorry, not lava, plasma. That yeah. That's actually fair. Okay, I'm gonna use the after image equation on Scout, so mm -hmm. I'll roll again. Perception. Nope. No, Fail. that's not gonna do it. Okay, in that case, since You've still got one stack of after image equation against Scout. That is true. Okay, I'll just attack then. Okay. Mess. Miss. Glenn. Fair enough. You are hidden. Uh, he rolled an eight. Oh. You are so probably not eight. hidden. Let me uh, roll for uh, guy. Uh, yeah, you are not hidden. Uh, Bandit knows exactly where you are. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna have Glynn run up and go after the Green Bandit. Okay. The Green Bandit has somehow taken no damage. Oh dear. Okay. Wind, uh, Wind Bandit has been. Just Wind Bandit is just. No one has been able to hit him. <laughs> The scout went over to him, so everyone's been trying to kill the scout. Mm. Yep, anyway, roll to hit wind guy. Please hit wind yeah, guy. I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna use obsidian knives gauntlet. That's gonna miss. Come on! Why can no one hit this one bandit? Offhand? Right, I'm gonna... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try an offhand. Oh, yeah, because technically it's for each hit, so... You hit him! Finally! Someone hits the bandit! Roll damage. Okay, uh, 2d8. Okay. Uh, 
plus novice. Okay. That's two. Okay. All right. And he takes some damage. Con save. Okay. Con save. Yep, he doesn't. I am sorry. I don't know why I'm rolling so good this session. Rotate your turn. Die next session. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rotate. You are on zero hit points. Familiar. I'm gonna use my heal on Rote because I'm a healer. It's my job. Mm. Uh, I'm not gonna give you the big heal because it's only one person. Better. So I'm not gonna upcast it. So you take. I did give you max, however. <laughs> so have ten points of healing. All right. <gasps> sorry. I think I blacked out for a second there. Yeah, he okay. did. Well, uh, Tesla got really mad and launched a giant death ball at him. So, that's good. Earth Bandit is going to try and attack Artemis. Earth Bandit is going to miss Artemis. Wind Bandit. Can Artemis try and counter attack? Oh, actually, no, no, it's fine, because it missed, yeah. Okay, Wind Bandit is going to get a 13 against Giovanni, which I imagine misses. Where did the turtle It does go? miss, yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. Sorry. Oh, yeah, it misses. Okay. Ashlyn. Hmm. All right. All right, bucko. I think it's time that you stop... That you stop moving around so much. And let me just remind myself of how the spell works. Okay. Portal Dome! Melee attacks against the scout have advantage, because they can come from any portal. Yep, scout cannot get out. Either him or his spells. Yep, yep. Marcel's turn. <laughs> Marcel is going to move closer and attempt to uh, whack the scout. I'll move myself aside just for a sec. Okay, alright. Uh, Marcel is going to... Let me check my proficiency. It is going to hit the scout. Uh, yes. Okay, that would be plus. Okay, uh, seven points of damage against the scout. Offhand attack. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. You'd have advantage because it's still a melee, right? Yes. Critical hit. Oh. I didn't think that would make a difference. Hey, sometimes it does. <laughs> okay. Artemis' turn. Alright. You wanna try that on me, punk? Uh, and she'll throw the uh, and she'll throw the bat back into the other. Uh, into the window. Artemis is gonna be such a bad influence on Tesla. <laughs> Stained glass magic. Stained glass magic. Sacramental broken bottle. Oh Jesus! Pulls out a full wine bottle. It's, oh, it's not a broken bottle yet. It will be soon. <laughs> she whacks him over the head with it. 13 AC, misses. Offhand? Uh, no, hits. Never mind, hits. Plus five. I forgot you had professional. Okay, roll damage. I dumped you? all of my training points into this exact... In, into wow. this weapon. Well, Fair into enough. her basic weapons. Okay. Uh, damage. Oh, guy. That was almost a, that was almost one D seventy eight. Whoops! <laughs> We're about to give this man a Glasgow kiss. Okay, he takes some damage. And and offhand, the great thing about the great thing about a broken bottle is I can use it in both hands. Just swaps the hands and just whacks with it again. Yeah, much worse though. There's Tesla's turn. Nah, damn. Uh. <laughs> Your melee attacks have advantage, Tesla. I'm fully aware. 
Kidding. Hit. Solar fist. I'm assuming I'm don't, I still need to reduce because I blew his armor off. You do not need to reduce against Scout. Yay! 18 damage. How do you want to do this, Tesla? I just want to find, like, have a portal underneath it and just do a full, like, solar fist uppercut straight to his jaw. Okay. <laughs> I want to follow Naruto. Naruto. Yeah, I want to follow full on, full on Naruto. Just launch myself into it. Liam, 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 this is Black Clover, so it's a full on bleach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You whack him with a sword. How exciting. Anyway, do it full on Naruto. <laughs> Yeah, just full of, straight, full on uppercut. Just and as soon as the fist hits it, his head's going up. Then the plasma blast comes out of it. Damn it! Damn it! Yeah. Uh, goes flying up into the air before slamming back down into the ground, smoking slightly. You will see that the Earth Bandit will collapse, heavily injured. Looks. Like, there's shards of glass all over his body that none of you have noticed before. And he just starts clutching his wounds. <sighs> what happened? What did I get? It with? I did not do that. I did not do that. It's glass! I lost it. <clears throat> yeah, the other guy healed you up from all of my glass wounds. The wind guy will just look around at everyone. And put his hands up. Oh yes. Next nope. To the dude, uh, yes. Next to the prison, the dude with the sword, or the dude that just punched a guy with a fucking blast of fire. Some wounds will also start to appear and on the fire guy. They look like a lot of bludgeoning wounds. <clears throat> oh. But he seems to be unconscious for now, so he doesn't have to deal with them. Hey, Familia, you want to take? You want to tie this guy up? And possibly give him a little bit of a booster? Jeez. Sure, sure, I can do both. And yeah, she'll just start having uh, steam from coat around him, which, you know, makes the wounds less bleedy, but, you know, he's <laughs> less still... Bleedy. Yeah, yeah he's, he's not dying, is what's happening. Oh. I swear to God, all of his... I swear to God, I wasn't trying to kill the bastard. I thought I was, I thought he was being healed up by that other guy. Well, that's the thing, he was. He was helping them out with, uh... Your know. magic knights. Why did you kill him? Oh. No, Bolt Duga would never kill somebody. Look at his body. Look at the scorch marks. He killed him. Timmy's smart, so I'm pretty sure she would have worked out what happened. Okay. I'm making uh, insight. I think. That's correct. Insight or medicine. Oh, yeah, I have one of those things. Uh, I got journeyman on my healing, so that's a uh, 12. Okay. You what? Do you want to describe? Uh... I mean, I guess so. Okay. Can I have a try uh, at maybe... Uh, no, yeah, have a try at figuring it out. Sure. Yeah, that, oh, might, yeah, uh, that says, like, hey, I'm rolling the thing. Can I maybe... Yeah. Uh, I think that was actually... He was using a move called Puppet Arms, correct? I think he was... Instead of him healing the wounds, he was just making them not appear. So once a damage breach passed a certain threshold, they all came back all at once. And since Rotate's damage is unfortunately all at once, it overwhelmed it so completely that he was killed with an attack rate he thought would only knock him out. Can... Uh... <clears throat> actually... No. Uh, who else here would be good with the magic? Hi! Oh, I... Uh... <laughs> oh, I, uh... Ashlyn. Yes. Uh, okay. I'm actually not sure if I've got the highest uh, skill proficiency. Uh, Journeyman and Arcana. Does anyone have higher than that? I'll no, look for my one not. other character. Let's 
save it does. Nope. Okay. Rolling? Yep, I'm rolling. Uh, that is a 12. 12? <laughs> 12? Yes. Uh, alright. Same, same as the last one. So, uh, you remember the, uh, you remember the scout was using two different types of magic. Uh, cloaking. Cloaking magic and puppet, uh, and plastic magic. It's likely the plastic was some kind of rudimentary bandage, maybe? But none of us could see the wounds. None of us were even aware of them. Is it possible he just concealed them? What? What are you saying? Hid the wounds even from the people that had them? That would seem to be the case. Well, what if we like. Cloaking magic is about hiding things from what I could gather. It also allowed him to be invisible. Fumi's also gonna go and bind up the scout right now. Fair. What kind of. Scout is up... bound. What kind of fucked up shit is that? Kind of shit that Diamond likes to get up to on the regular. They're expendable. At least according to him. That, that puppet arm spell. <coughs> he kept saying that he didn't want to use it again. Every time he used it, they got a little bit stronger. Which would suggest that the cost would get steep on. Threats. What? They're faint, but there's some magic threads here. Between him, the wind mage, the fire mage, the water mage, and the earth mage. The spell was called Puppet Arms, wasn't it? I mean, yes. He used it again and they would have become puppets. It looks like it could have been used in that way. I still really, really, really don't like this guy. Yeah, that's plenty of reason to dislike him. That's fucked as hell. Effective as a battle strategy, but sounds like it hey, feels uh, almost yeah, like the Where's the stone that she had? The the boss had it in his pocket. Left one down the front in his cloak. Do you guys even know? Do you guys even know about the shit that your boss here was pulling? Of course not. Else don't you think we would have been more careful? We thought we were getting healed the whole time. Jerry now wouldn't have... That's why he wanted Familia. <laughs> yeah. So I actually, because I have a real... Yeah, because I actually have a real healing spell. I did think it was suspicious that he tried to grab me and, asked, and said that. If he was using Especially healing spell... Already sued you. It didn't make sense. If he was just trying to grab me because I was a vermilion, then I could understand it, but he specified it's because I, could, I was a healing mage before I was a vermilion. Hell, I don't even know if he realizes you are. He said it outright, or at least he called me a royal. Well, anyone can tell you a royal. An ooze mana. <laughs> ah. I think I'm the only one here that does use mana. You? Two of your nobles, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't... Yeah, but unless I'm 
fully, unless my charge magic is like full. Unless I've allowed my baby's time to grow, you don't really, you know. Anyway, what else let's can we find out? We should bring the bad person back with us. Yeah. Let's show, let's show the captain and the vice captain this. I'm glad we didn't have to get them involved. Yeah, that's true, but I guess more or less the mission has been a success. Well we got the well we got the diamond scout, captured it, and we've retrieved the stone. Yeah. You did retrieve the stone, right? Mm. I, I Tesla went through his pockets. Did he get it? Uh, I, probably. Okay, who was given the stone? Uh, who was looking through the scout's pockets? Tesla, because he was on top of him. No, oh, right. <laughs> Literally sitting on top of him. Okay, I think we can do... Giovanni. Could you take a look at the thing? You might be able to find out more about it than I could. Sure. Have a look. Tesla just hand it over to him. Thank you. Let's do this Thank while we're heading. Let's do this. Let's do this part while we're heading back to the back to the captain and vice captain. Sounds good. Big sis. I don't want to, don't want to wait around for them to wake up again. Big sis, could you help me pick up the evil guy? I'll carry one of them. <laughs> Only if you sure. But make sure you hang his head real low. I am shorter than you, so it will be low regardless. Oh, you mean to hit on rocks? Oh, you mean to hit? Oh, you mean to hit on rocks? Then yes, Tesla will do that. <laughs> you catch on quick. You catch on quick, wild. You catch on quick, wild dog. And he just and uh, uh, Artemis will just scruff Tesla's hair. <laughs> just, quick, wild man. <laughs> just gonna pick up fucking. This, they're just gonna pick up the diamond scout. Just start just lifting him in the way so that he will definitely get more injured on the walk back, but not enough to kill him. Just enough that it hurts. <laughs> Nice. Marcel will carry, I guess, the conscious guy. What about? I mean, there's a, we have one. Uh, we have one <laughs> unconscious. Um. We have two <laughs> unconscious, one conscious. Just... Who wants the conscious guy? Yeah. He can walk on his own. Good point. It's like, it's like we bound his yeah. legs. We bound his arms. True. All right. Marcel will take one of the unconscious guys. I guess one of the other strong people yeah. will take the other one. Well, it ain't gonna be yeah, Grote. Yeah. It's probably gonna be I Glenn, if we're being Glenn honest. Take care of the other let's, let's be real, if we're gonna be more honest, we would have had one of those scout- sorry, one of the bandits carry Rote before we had Rote <laughs> carry a bandit. <laughs> and, that, and that's one of the unconscious bandits. Wow. Rote throughout the rest- <laughs> Rote throughout the walk back will be standing- Will be standing relatively close to Familio, not because he's doing anything, and not because he's doing anything pervy or weird, just because he's trying to breathe in the uh, excess steam. <laughs> yeah. Of his fucking <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fumi is sitting is sitting with uh, Ashlyn because you know, hey, that guy tried to kidnap me. I'm feeling a little nervous. I'm going to sit next to Portal. Don't worry. Back. If anything happens, I'll make sure that whoever tries to get close will get teleported to the other side of the kingdom. I had a distinct feeling that you would have put a narration bullet through the back of his head if he tried it again. Also that. My baby, my babies won't let you get te won't let you get kidnapped. Don't worry. Don't worry. Luxon knows how to knows how to take a guy down. Those diamond assholes will need will learn the true meaning of personal space, <laughs> especially once the space is shoved through their brain. I will make the hemispheres of your brain social distance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will teach them the meaning of distance. The distance between the halves of their head. Yeah, that's nice. I, uh, I like to make it the feeling I need to work on my attack spells. I really only have the one. Ashlyn will just pat Fumi on her shoulder. It's okay. Oh, wow, yeah. Ashton's really concerned. Actual physical contact mm. that she chose to do. Mm. Oh, um, by the way, uh, uh, Miss Billaboge, are you doing okay? 
I'm fine. I wasn't hit. I'm just glad that you're all okay. Well, thank you for the help. <laughs> the help was most gracious. To save some of us. I didn't realize, weak as my magic was, that it would be able to help. Trust me, portal magic and spatial magic is very useful. Even if it's only to move someone a little bit, that little bit can be enough to get them out of the way of, oh, I don't know, getting stabbed. <laughs> you can also, also get them into the range of, just get them into the range of a healing spell, or <clears throat> get enemies into the range of your attack. <laughs> we can, yeah. Or sure. theoretically, we could do the thing. Or theoretically, we could just launch the, well, wild child at them to do it. <laughs> hey, wild child! How's that sound? How's that? How you like that new nickname, eh? Tesla think it cool. <laughs> Wild Child Tesla and Big Sis Capulone. Wild Child sounds a heck of a lot better than Sweet Gorilla. <laughs> Tesla still claims title of Sweet Gorilla. Oh, purr, purr, purr. We're on our way to forming our own little merry band. The merry band, Wild Child. What's the problem, Burr Carol? Are you are you mad that Tesla got final hit by breaking man jaw with fist? Oh please, it took you ages. And you were running away the entire fight, you little coward. I meant this guy. As Tesla says as uh, he lowers the scan a little bit to get knocked on a rock that both him and I'm not uh, mad about Tesla that. We were on the sword. same side that time. <laughs> <laughs> Tesla lowers the head a little bit, and uh, Artemis, as she's walking, just kicks her off back into him. Cassie, <laughs> <laughs> <Kessie>, motherfuckers. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> we were on the same side that time. Yeah, so that was freaking awesome. Break. That's what Tesla meant to break Ned's jaw. Because Tesla very sure he broke his jaw. Yeah, oh, well. Hey, Foster nice deserved it. After everything, you put the people. Yeah, Giovanni. What is that? We're about to get up. We're about to get up to Sanan. You find anything within that? Within that little dude, picky? Roll investigation with advantage. Yeah, let me see. I believe yeah, that was roll investigation. investigation before Alex was sent to the portal dimension. Roll investigation with advantage. Well, oh well, uh, advantage is unnecessary, but roll anyway. Do it again. Do it again. Uh, Aww. Yeah, because it's. Oh, you know, no, do it again just to see if you. Okay. Yeah, if you we would have gotten like actual benefit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you would. All right. I just love that. It's like, oh, come on, roll again. Uh, you notice a piece. Okay, I never mind. You notice something in there that looks like a page. A page with the same kind of writing as in a grimoire. I have found something. Uninteresting, in fact. Page with writing similar to a grimoire. How the hell do they get something like this? Page. Hmm. Uh, like a yeah. A page of a grimoire, you said? Yeah, writing very similar to one. Wait. Uh, if we could just get it out or magnify it somehow. Hmm. I don't suppose this substance looks familiar to any of you. Look familiar to anybody? Looks like a crisp. Looks like a crystal, doesn't it? <coughs> I mean, I've seen crystals before, but I'm sure we're trying to break anything with our hammer. Tesla, you get a sense that you might know what this is. Roll an arcana check with advantage. Assume professional proficiency. Oh damn. Oh damn! Tesla Kay. really knows what this is! Tesla knows. Some kind of inherent instinct mm. indicates to you a sort of key point to touch and pour some mana into. At which point, the crystal is destroyed and the paper comes out looking full size. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. How did you do that? 
Must have been the magic or something like that. Oh, come on, Wild. Hmm. Come on, Wild Child. I was expecting you to be a bruise, the bruiser of the team. I just want you to get me the brains. Tesla don't know how Tesla did it. Tesla just knows he can do it. Uh, just a sec. Uh, Tesla does know. Tesla knows? <laughs> uh, Tesla does know it's a question of whether Tesla says. Ah, yes. <laughs> Reminds me of something Gramps told me, actually. Hmm. Gramps knew how to break open magical stones? Also, who's Gramps would be some of the other bit there. <laughs> <laughs> And you really have to tell us who the significant is. Significant other is, though. I swear to God, if it turns out this kid's the son of the Blizzard King or some shit. He's the son of the Wizard King. The Wizard King is his actual grandmother, not grandfather. That's the twist. <laughs> Since he's constantly disguised as an old lady. The Wizard King is secretly his grandmother! I'm lying. <laughs> ah yes, Tesla is in fact related to Julius. Alright. Hmm. Grimoire text. This looks similar to what we found in some other parts of the Demon Skull. Looking at it. Maya, have a look. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. This... This, was, this, was this one says... Wow. Evening. Or... Late day. Possibly afternoon. No, evening. This one... Vile or unholy. Hmm. And... Something... Negative, but with the religious connotations. And then... Travel between lands or... Migration. In the order they are. Traveling... Hmm, no. Not traveling to somewhere. Traveling from somewhere. In this order, traveling from something unholy at a late time of day. The Great Migration. We finally found evidence for it. What? What? I'm sorry. Oh, the Great Migration. Oh, right. Do you remember? Uh, what? What Tesla do? What? I, I don't remember. You just. Okay, we're missing. You just unlocked. Here. You just unlocked a massive piece of research. This is what we've been searching for for years. The Great Migration What's Theory. Research? <clears throat> so. Oh. There's a theory. That many years ago, some people with a specialized magic type from the Diamond Kingdom migrated over to Clover for some reason. It's believed they come from one specific area, but it's unclear where. The research would be fairly limited without incursion into the Diamond Kingdom, and since that's impossible, all we really have is these areas on the border of Clover. But... This is evidence. This is solid evidence. Yay? You know what that means, Glenn. Your mother may finally explain oh. some things. May finally explain her yeah. full theory. That is brilliant. Man, after all this time, we can... Oh, this will put everything back on the map. Big sis, they're using big words that I don't get. But don't worry, they're using big words big sis don't get either. <laughs> <laughs> we need to show your mother. We need to show your mother. Oh, I, this is incredible. Yes, I mean the ramifications of this are truly marvelous. Uh, Burger House, we still need to deliver people to Cap'n. Yeah, we do. Guys, hurry up! Stop. You can nerd out. You can nerd out once we've got these uh once we've got these bandit dipshits in jail. All right, come on, hurry it up! I gotta say, I'm I'm a very ha I'm having a lot of fun with Tesla's fucking up of names. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with Artemis connecting with Tesla. Oh no, that that makes so good. <laughs> All right, 
the party finds themselves on the... Let's just put you back on the Clover Kingdom map. No, let's put you back on the Hodge Village map. Whatever. Welcome back to Hodge. <laughs> Alright, so you guys end up meeting up with the captain and vice captain. Uh, carry, uh, carrying two bandits and the diamond scout and uh, having the wind scout kind of just walking along with you guys. The diamond scout probably looks a lot worse than when we picked him up. Uh, yeah. The other, you... two, the other ones have regained consciousness. The diamond scout has not. The hell? What are we doing? You got captured, dipshits. You say that, but you're still conscious. Yeah, I stopped fighting once I saw you got covered in cuts. The fuck? Anything you can say or do. Don't do it. Tesla want to eat more. Tesla want to eat more rock potatoes. Rock, I suppose you do. It's pot potatoes, but eh, good enough. Rock potatoes? Any description? I don't think I've ever had one of those. Are they? Are they good? Should no. I try some sometime? Really dry, but really dry, but high in fiber. Tesla used them to become big and strong. I'm well, pretty strong. sure with your constitution, eating one of those might kill you. Um, with Tesla's constitution, however, it's probably just a normal day. <laughs> I have no Tesla's idea where he's from. He like 80 of them and he's completely fine. Ro Rotate constitution, he nibbles one and just drops. He just de he sh like he dehydrates so quickly he inverts into a black hole. <laughs> he eats it. He eats it and then just gets turned off. <laughs> just wait. He's quite accurate. <laughs> I'll be back in a sec. Just need to head to the bathroom. Fair enough. I bet we could just do chatting shit then. Tesla punch, oh, so. Tesla punch guy that threatened a nice healy lady really, really, really hard in the mouth. Broke his jaw. Yeah, nice, Tesla feels nice no healy issue. lady. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, Emilio, you okay? I'm fine. And I, I I'm managed to... Run up to her. I'm, I'm fine. They tried to grab me, but I got out of it pretty quick. Turns out that the fact that I kind of had a lot of steam floating around me made it a little easy to get out of the way. Tesla got mad at it, though, because I healed him earlier, and... Proceeded to shoot a giant death ball of fucking lava, basically, it felt like. And then um, kicked him hard in the face. That's not good. I'm glad that you're, glad that you're okay. Yeah, I, I got a quick, I, I have a quick thing I have to ask you. What's up? Who exactly taught a wild animal monkey thing how to use the strongest magic type I've seen in a while? Like, well, his fire felt about as good as my dad or cousin Huey Goliath's. And if you didn't have the mana to back it up. From what I understand, he was... It was difficult to try to communicate with the kid, but from what I understand, he was... born with the magic type, and... he learnt how to use it out in the wild, along with some... Uh, along with either someone named Queen Lion, or an actual Queen huh. Lion. So what I'm understanding is that you haven't been able to translate what he's saying yet. Yeah, not quite. Yeah, though, based, though, based off who came to come over to me when you tried to run away, I can make some guesses. Fair enough. Uh, was it out of, curio was it out of curiosity the Wizard King? Uh, surprisingly, no. Right, it was someone because... I, someone I wasn't expecting to see. Right, because, um, he also opened the magic artifact we were looking for on first sight. Oh. What? Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm glad you're safe, Emilio. Squad! Mission, de yeah. mission debriefing? Yo! Tesla taking your pants. <laughs> Not that- No, 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 no! <coughs> okay. Tesla, you ain't- Tesla, you don't take your pants off for anybody. You don't take your pants off for anybody unless they're very special. You understand, Tesla? But he said debriefing. That's what Queen Line said had to do before bathing. Different. It's a different type of debriefing. We tell him what happened in our. Um. In our hunt. We tell him what happened in our hunt, Tesla. Oh, right. That makes sense. Why are you talking different? 
Why? I always talk like this. No, you, you talk more like Tesla. I am a very refined and respectable woman. I do not talk like I do not talk like that very often. I don't know what either of those words mean. <laughs> uh, I heard them I mean... once in I heard them once in the award ceremony. Uh okay. Um okay. Because I'm just gonna sit down. Anyway. How'd the mission go? What happened? Well, I can say that it was a success. Like, Boone's just gonna march forward. Well, we captured the diamond douchebag over there, the scow, and these three bandits. So he did turn out to be a diamond mage after all? Yeah, scow. Yeah, Damn. look at his grimoire. Stitch. Diamond on the cover. Damn it. I was kinda hoping it wouldn't- it wouldn't cause- wouldn't come to that. Okay. Well, what else did you find out? Oh, we found the... Oh. Actually, yeah. Uh, we found Any the ideas? magical stone. Oh. Right. So the magical stone, it turned out to have a piece of a grimoire in it. Or a piece with the same writing as a grimoire, I should say. It doesn't appear to have any magic on it, just a historical artifact. But it has details on a major historical event. Kaladra is going to be very pleased. A major historical event? I have only been able to translate about three phrases so far. But they seem to point towards a great migration away from the Diamond Kingdom a long time ago. Hey, Harakon, you thinking what I'm thinking? What are you thinking? That we might have a brand new- that we might soon have something brand new to add to our history curriculum. <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> I would love to tell you all about it. I would love to tell you more about it once- once I've translated the entire thing. This could quite possibly be the biggest moment in the history of this investigation. Yay! Oh, come on, more excitement than that. This is big. Yay! Like, it's big. That's better, thank you. Yay! <laughs> thank okay, you, uh, thank you for your applause. This is actually extreme. This is actually extremely exciting. The possibilities you would open up is endless. <laughs> I can't wait to read all about it. <laughs> I might finally be able to be back in the journal again. <laughs> Tesla did uh, this good. This is a big milestone. Yeah, Tesla did. <laughs> Bo will just go up to him and go. Tesla did great. Yay! Oh, I guess we're writing the name on the paper. Uh, do you read well, fella? I guess we're just gonna look over at Tesla. <laughs> Uh, I mean, if not, I can read it to you, if you like. Read his scribbles on paper, right? We... Yeah, I'll read it to you, mate. Right? I know how... I know the alphabet. That's surprising more than I thought. And how to write Tesla's own name in some words, not many words. Oh, that's all good. Wasn't I can much definitely work writing that. stuff in Forest. Hey, that's fair. I mean, we can exchange notes, and the forest is very interesting. Tesla learned how to kill snake bites, that? though. Well, that is very useful. I, I know how to read and write, so I can help you with that. If you're <laughs> wanting to trade uh, snake bites, or how to cure snake bites. It involves cutting the head off a different snake and then drinking venom. Hmm. Oh, very direct. I like it. Oh, All right. Man. Did this anything else happen? Best mission ever. Did anything else happen on the mission? Were there any complications? We didn't see anyone get away. Grete killed one of them. Did what? Kill any... <laughs> Grete? What happened? Listen, listen, I... 
He didn't try no, to. It just no, happened. My little one. Yeah. The diamond mage, he had some ability that hid people's wounds from them and us. And I hit the I hit the guy I thought who had been who I thought had been healed and he ended up getting <laughs> and the bold Duga ended up doing more damage than we thought because his wounds were healed and and you'll see Rote starting to spiral a little. Listen, he's telling the truth. Every one of us okay. thought that he had the healing abilities, but he didn't. He had no Rotate ability didn't. to heal anything. Rote didn't know he w it happened. You got any? Yeah. It was something any of us could have done. Rote just happened to be the one that did it. Hest nearly did to Diamond. Speaking of Diamond, did so he has some sort of ability that makes people think they're healed? Oh god, that's... He called it up and up. Kind of messed up. Very messed actually, up. I, actually, I think, pa I think Papa Dom's was different. Papa Dom's, I think, was the one that was slowly turning them into his puppets. It was one of his cloaking magic abilities. I think. When he tried to capture me, he said something about how I, he can use, I'll, I should use my magic to heal them after we're done. It gave me an idea that he wasn't actually healing them. Of course, by that point, it was already too late for the other guy. I see. Uh, actually, yes, that uh, should probably be something. Sir. Speaking of. Rotate. Bookie. And Harakong will just look down at him. That isn't something a magic knight would normally do, but it seems like it was unavoidable in this case. You shouldn't feel guilty for what you did. It's a result of evil tactics on the other side. I'm... I'm... Still... I can't help but feel that I, I, I worry for my, I worry for Duga, and I worry for me. I still caused that man to die. No. That diamond mage did. If he hadn't been concealing those wounds, you would have seen how badly injured he was. If Tesla chases Pig into Wolf, is the Wolf the thing that killed Pig, or is it because Tesla chased the Pig to the Wolf? <clears throat> I mean, morality lessons from Tesla, of all people. Well, not to believe, but I suppose his yeah. straightforwardness was a refinement. Yeah. yeah. I should He's... work hard. Still, I should try to work harder in the future. To make sure. To make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen again. You should know. That's right. But most people from this kingdom know people from this kingdom, actually. People don't have abilities like that here in Clover. I don't know about Diamond. I don't know about Spade, but Diamond is well known for it. Unfortunately, that's a reality. As those of us who keep an eye on the border, we're more likely to run into those kind of mages than others. I'm sorry that you had to deal with that today. That's not something a new recruit should have to deal with. Wait a second. A guy that's... Wait a second. A healing mage that seems to disappear on sight? Hey, did anyone... I don't suppose you guys managed to get any sort of like you guys managed to find any sort of ID or anything on this guy? Uh do we check? Tesla went to pockets mm. to find gem. Tesla didn't go through pockets to find anything else. I did had that early a, conversation. Did you find a small like rectangular card thing, Tesla? Maybe. 
Okay. Uh, okay, I'll have a look. And Sinan's gonna start rummaging through the guy's pockets. Thank you, Harakan. And I hope that I can still be of help to this version of the Magic Knights. Of course you can. After all, you're a teacher, and this is the next generation. Don't think for a second you don't have what it takes. I really don't think I should be called a teacher, but thanks. <laughs> what do you call the cookie thing? Or all the lessons you do, huh? You're saying that doesn't sound like something Hargon. a teacher would do? Hargon. That was right, I told you. I didn't give any cookies. Oh, sorry, I thought you were speaking in Sanan's voice. <laughs> So How long were you speaking as Rorte? Uh, ever since he said thank you and I'll try and be better for this version of the Magic Knights. <laughs> Don't worry. I think you're well on your way already. <laughs> Don't worry. I think you're well on your way already. But if you have any doubts, that's what the captain and I are here to help with. You shouldn't have had to go through that today. But we'll make sure to prepare you for if it ever does again. I just need you to understand. That man's death is not your fault. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Aha! Here we are. And you'll see Sanam pull out a, uh, and you'll see Sanam pull out what looks like a wallet and start rummaging through it. Uh, should be somewhere in here. Yep, just as I thought. We know this. We know this guy. Well, not personally. We've. He's been active before. We've never been able to. We've never been able to catch him. But there's always there's been a few reports of a of some sort of healing mage with a healing mage popping in and out of random places. Causing all sorts of messes. Well, winds up, doesn't it? Yep. Hurricane. Uh, yeah. Hurricane. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, my voice didn't come through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my voice just turned off randomly. Right <laughs> it's Colodi. Colodi Libida. Colodi. Oh, that... That rat bastard, we've been trying to catch him for years. He was always too slippery. Always running away. Makes me question why he didn't this time. Wait. Thing is... Yeah. Huh. Thing is, we always thought he was a petty thief. B... B rank... A B-list criminal at best. He might not have been that strong, but his abilities were pretty conducive to running away. Thing is, I think we had the perfect counter. And one of our new recruits, too. Giovanni. You said you saw him, right? Even when he was invisible? Yeah, yeah I did. Heh. <laughs> well, shit couldn't run away. I think we should give, yeah. I think we should give credit to... We should give credit to Gio, of course. You did an excellent job with that. Well, thank you for the prize. I definitely do appreciate it, I suppose. I also think I also think that this guy I also think that this guy probably did a, probably helped out a lot with the plastic side. And he just uh, rubs Tesla on the head. <laughs> Tesla wanted to make him burn. So Tesla did. <laughs> yeah. Two magics. Two magics. Two new recruits. Yeah, it good. it turned out pretty well. We picked damn good this year. Hell, yeah. it was in my authority. I'd probably rank you up right now. <laughs> you all did an excellent job today. Now, we're going to drop these guys off in the rural capital, and then we're going to head back to base. All right? 
Hopefully by then Ashlyn will have restored her mana so we don't have to go the long way. Eh, yeah, I should probably have enough by the time we get there. We really need to get you in the habit of not using all of your mana before we can leave. Well, I figured the... I figured the dome that made him easier to hit and unable to run away was rather yeah. useful. I, I don't mean that, Ashlyn. I mean like that one time we went on holidays and we ended up having an extra two days because you, you know. Uh, technically my mana restores daily. I don't know why you guys thought it took two days. I was with you. <laughs> Ashlyn will just start whistling. Roll history. Who? Uh, old party. Okay. Fumi was a 16, so I imagine Ashlyn's not rolling history on herself. But oh. she should probably have something for that. <laughs> Man, that's funny, so No, I feel like tells you she remembers that event very distinctly. That's why she's whistling! <laughs> uh, so that could be Lynn and Artemis that also would have to roll. Alright, oh, well... Yeah, Glenn doesn't know, remember I anything. Know, Which they, they, that doesn't there's a chance that it probably happened before he joined, so That is true. Or it could be that Glenn's distracted by research and <laughs> that's what it is. And let's find out Artemis. I guess he's chatting with Bo about all the implications of what they found. Artemis is yeah, paying attention. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what? Uh, yes, you guys remember you guys remember that field trip. You, you guys remember that uh, vacation very fondly. Uh, you ended up having to stay back an extra two days. Because Ashlyn didn't manage to charge up, uh, charge up her uh, uh, her mana back in time. Uh, conveniently, those two days happened to, happened to coincide with the uh, arrival of a with the arrival of a really big festival that happened in that town a lot. And you also distinctly remember that any you also distinctly remember that while you were questioning it a little bit, it seems that there was <laughs> it seems that uh, Ashlyn and it seems that both Ashlyn and Artemis were very very keen to. Uh, not have you guys questioning it. <laughs> More whistling. <laughs> it's just like I was there. Just <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mana sometimes is a little uh, unpredictable with how long it takes to come back. And then she'll just wink over it for me. <laughs> I'll try and get us back to face as soon as I can. Yeah, that'd be nice. Alright, Sanan's gonna, uh, like, pick up the guy, uh, pick up the, the guy's head, the diamond scout's head, and just be like, Alright. Alright, Cole. I finally got you. You're gonna be going away for a long time for all the shit that you've pulled in the Forsaken Realm. I should teach you to mess with the- I should teach you to mess with those less fortunate. Hmm. You want to do the honors of, take, of taking these guys to the? Uh, want to do the honors of taking these guys to Mars? Will do. I take it I'll see you all back at base. Probably. Say so. All right then. Research is done. And he'll just start grabbing a bunch of them. Just. Sticking them all in one area. All right. Wind magic. Wind plate. And okay, people. And then he'll just start flying off. See you at home, kids. And he will be gone very quickly. Get a stop that. Very well. Very well. Might this could be what gets us over double. Up into the double digits. <laughs> Are you saying that on some of these guys' first mission, they may have gotten stars? Are you uh, saying that we have technically gotten more than you in the time that this has been established? No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. We we'll probably only end up getting one star for it. Stars are awarded. The stars are sometimes awarded per person, but not typically per mission. Hmm, I feel like you're thinking too modestly, aren't you, young girl? Uh, just just. I'm the cap. Uh, that, was the cap <laughs> that was Sanan. That was Sanan. Oh, sorry. The crap did I do? <laughs> 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 
Sorry. Wait. Wait. I, I sincerely you. thought Wait. that was him. Back at the church. And, and Arthur's is going to frantically look around to make sure Nash isn't nearby. <laughs> Nash just uh, tugs on her cape. And smiles. I do apologize for the offense, Captain. I didn't mean that for you. I meant that for. <laughs> but you get what I mean. I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> Take your beer. Take your beer. Take your beer. <laughs> Don't listen to Giamani. He says mean things. I said you were going to be praying a lot longer, aren't you? You want to go See? on the fast anytime soon? Everything he says is mean. <laughs> Marcel will just be laughing a bit too, obviously. Oh, you've been... <laughs> oh no! Oh no, I'm not letting that slide! Yeah, crap! Present magic! <laughs> Run the fuck away! <laughs> oh no. Present magic. Huh. Nope! Hey, Ashlyn? Yeah? You wanted this... You wanted this trip to be over really quickly, right? I'm just waiting for the captain's order. I am the captain. <laughs> why do they sound so similar? Why, why do I get it? I, I'm the only one that seems to get it. You're clearly differentiating. The other two are just I, I don't feel like I'm different, different. You are. Like, I guess I gotta, I gotta exaggerate it more. <laughs> Sorry, like. I am the captain. <laughs> Also, he wasn't there. The captain wasn't there when she was saying that she wanted the mission to be over. I love the idea that... Uh, oh, this what? is Ashlyn. This is Ashlyn. She's always, always saying that. that. Uh, what? You're, you're I... Wanted, you wanted this mission to be over quickly, right? Probably. Uh, no. Not when you were anywhere nearby. You were talking now. Fine. Everyone ready to go? Get in the get in the portal huddle. No, I've I've got research to do and pawn stuff. I'm I'm good. I can get him on foot. Okay. I'll pick up, I'll pick up okay. Well, my job was to keep you on track. Come on, Glenn. I'll, and he's just gonna try and grapple Glenn. I'll get his legs. Okay. <laughs> walk around and pick him up by his legs. <laughs> grapple check. Okay. Oh, that's Lord, please Andrew. help me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and roll anyway. Um, yeah, that's not uh, happening. Roll a d100. I know, I rolled a d20 afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One last bit of help, and Bo will just teleport Glyn over to the portal huddle. Oh. <laughs> really, Bo? You were meant to help me, not them. Uh, Push. Okay, fair <laughs> well, you're free now, aren't you? And she'll just wink. Uh, fair play, I can't deny that. Alright, Marcel, okay, Tesla, I, I surrender, eh. I'm going through. Traitor. Thanks so much for your... Oh, thank you so much for your help, uh, Bellaboge. It was great to be able to assist you. I can't wait to dissect this thing. I mean, just look at all the things I can translate. Yeah, composure. Yes, yeah. it was lovely to have worked with you all. Thank you. Yeah, maybe you should think oh, of becoming least... a magic knight. I know at least one captain that would really love someone like you. Huh? Anyway, Ashlyn, you ready? Yeah, ready as I'll ever be. All right, get in the portal huddle, all. Yay. You realize that includes you, realize that includes you as well, Ashlyn. Uh, yeah, I know. All right. Let's go. Zorb. Oh, um, see you later, bar. We're just gonna wave. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, you're all heading off. Uh, thank you for everything. Who is this? Ah, uh, Sister Lily. Yep. All right. Just imagine just poking her head through one of the windows. See you again sometime soon. I hope the donation gets you some good stuff. Also, enjoy the cheese. We we very much will be. We're looking forward to the good news. 
That's okay. At this point, the good news would have returned back home. Yes, it would have. Oh. <laughs> we're so planning on celebrating. We're planning on celebrating tonight. Oh, yeah? Lil Yuno. Know. Oh, yeah. Lil Yuno managed to make it through, huh? Yeah. And so did. And so did Asta. Asta got in? <laughs> Knew it. No way that kid would be waking me up at 4 a.m. To, to tell me he's going to be the wizard king and then stumble at the <laughs> gates. He actually did it. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. So, Robbie said he has to pop off for a bit. Okay. I'm also going to pop off for a second to get lunch, uh, get, get dinner. Okay, uh, my I meant, to go, I meant to go pee. I don't know why I kept on doing food things. Yeah, so my, uh, apparently my dad's coming to food soon, so I'll be ducking off in a bit for that as well, whatever that comes about. Alright, we've got a end section to do, and then the session's over, so do come back for the session, but we are done for now. Oh, I am 100% ready for more stuff. I enjoy Well, yeah, this. we get to hang out over dinner. <laughs> anyway, we'll pause the recording, come back in maybe half an hour. Yeah, I can't pause recording on mine. I'll pause my recording. Yes. And we are back after having had dinner. Uh, the bron the people are back at the Bronze Isle Stars, except for um, Harkon, who is currently off uh, delivering, uh, delivering people. Everyone, feel free to drag yourselves back onto the map. Uh, yeah. Ashlyn and Artemis. Ashlyn is not going to be standing next to Artemis. Ashlyn is going to be standing in a random corner. Yep. And that's why Glenn went to the opposite side of the room. Hmm. Alright, is there anyone we're missing? Uh, Everyone got both of the characters? Yep, okay. Yep. Yep. I tried to start the music and it didn't work. Let's try that again. Oh, yeah. Alright. We, we are, are back, back in, in the Bronze All Star space. Okay, and. Ah, uh, pardon? Where's the music? It's playing. It's playing. Restart, Restart your roll 20, 20, dude. I can't. Yeah. Restart, Restart your roll 20. 20. Crash. Done. Restart. You get a refresh and be in a different campaign, I'm willing to bet. Probably. I'm gonna refresh in the fucking fate campaign. <laughs> Some shit. Yeah, yeah probably. probably. Uh... And we're back. Oh, I'm, I'm just gonna sit down for a minute. Well, everyone did a wonderful job today. I'm very proud of you guys on your first new mission. Yay. Uh, well, I guess we have to do what is necessary. Do you guys, do you guys normally fight stuff that dangerous? Or is that just a today thing? Uh, just a today thing, honestly. We normally deal with well, less, less severe issues. things. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm cool. Talking. Yeah, do we, I, I'm not, we don't normally use to that. Like, the thing I'm usually most worried about when I go to the Forsaken Realm is the food. I think one of the last big, I, I think one of the last big missions we ever had was to help a, help one of the villages build an orphanage or something. Yeah, yeah, that that right. we lost a lot of stars that mission. The kids have a place to sleep now! It doesn't have windows. But... Right? What? How, how could it not have windows? windows? Doesn't one of you basically have window magic? Yeah, she's the reason why they don't have windows in that town. What? What happened? Well, we saw from the top, and Gwen's just gonna take out a book, she starts throwing things through windows. Repeatedly. So... They kept trying to delay the building of the. They kept trying to delay the building of the of orphanage. It was clear that they were just trying to. That they were just trying to not build it. I mean, if you and throw stuff through windows, look, I would have agreed with you them? if you hadn't made it worse by breaking literally every single window in the entire town. Ah, sometimes, there's, sometimes you need drastic measures to get through to those kinds of people. They still don't have windows in that entire town. Well, that's on them, isn't it? Uh, no, that is very much on you. I'm pretty sure there have been several bandits that have come from that town. I broke the windows. They're the ones that kept them broken. 
no, they didn't keep them broken. They boarded them up because they were worried about the windows being destroyed. Emilio and I have had to go there in disguise. There's been a bunch of bandits that have come from that town specifically because they now hate the Magic Knights. Yeah. Because... Because of your phobia against windows. Or at least that town was reset for Dick Tate. This sounds like the broken window principle. Like, literally. The fuck is the broken window principle? As the did, you just insult, did you just give me some sort of fancy intelligence insult? A fancy smart boy insult? It's a sociological principle that refers to when a window is broken, it indicates that crime is rife in the area. If it remains unfixed, then it tends to cause people to act in criminal ways more often. So effectively, you can use big fake words too. They're not fake words. They're real words. It's called a convention. It's it's called a proper education. Yes, proper schmopper. This whole squad is based off a proper education. Okay. Tad, I learned how to skin a deer at the age of nine. That is not going to be very helpful for you in the magic nights. Okay. I. Surely you received it. Never mind, I guess you didn't. Hmm. I will try not to use so many big words. No, it's meant to highlight our obvious intelligence. Surely if we reject them, we wouldn't be viewed as such. I guess you is just gonna stay. Uh, mm. <laughs> you'll see sure. start coming out of Artemis' ears. Um, Giovanni? That doesn't make yes. you sound smart, it just makes you sound pretentious. Trust me, I know about that. I'm a freaking royal. Mm. I know lots of pretentious people. You kind of sound like my brother. He's awesome. Oh, dear lord. You kind of sound like his brother, and trust you me, he's not. Oh, dear lord, you sound like Salim. No. Yeah, yeah, see? So, try not to do that, then. Yeah, it's a course of habit. I mean, I was groomed for this role, after all, by my own father, so... I was, I was just trying to talk about a cool thing I learned. Mm. Oh. And we're all very grateful for- we're all very grateful for the new information, aren't we, squad mates? Tesla doesn't understand it still. Ah. Uh. Okay, no, okay, noting down so- okay, noting down social psychology as a future curriculum. <laughs> just noting uh, down the entire curriculum at this point. Actual, uh, yes. Ashlyn, you wanna- Ashlyn, you wanna help me with that? Sure. I'll try my best. Wait, no, was it- wait, was it Ashlyn or Marcel that called- It was Marcel. I can try my best, but I don't really know anything about that. Uh. Good, because I was meaning to say Marcel. <laughs> ah. Ah. Fair enough. Well. <laughs> you- you okay? Yeah, uh, should be right. Alright. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be, be happy, happy to. to. Uh, that stuff's really interesting. Very good. I'd love to talk about it with more people if they know about it, but I don't want to just. I don't want to use it to sound pretentious. I just. I find it interesting. Don't worry. In this squad, we reward new info. We reward finding out new information and being curious. Though that doesn't mean that you're going to find. That doesn't mean that you're going to get rewarded for tearing up the carpets, Tesla. <laughs> I haven't torn up the carpets. It's called- it's preempted. <laughs> I was just doing what the cats do and pruning my fangs. Oh lord, you're gonna learn from the cats more than you can learn from me. <laughs> Snuffles, you better not teach him any of your bad manners. <laughs> I feel like the cat's gonna flip you off and walk away. <laughs> Snuffles? <laughs> and uh, Ashlyn is just gonna teleport the cat towards her. Snuffles is a little very confused. Snuffles, we taught you better than that. Meow. Good, good. Is that? Meow. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh she's so cute. cute. Snuffles will waddle back over towards where they were originally going. <laughs> <laughs> Portals are 
awesome. Psycho is quite a fat cat. <laughs> Maybe Snuffle should learn from Tesla. Actually be able to hunt something. You lazy barns. Now then. Tesla hunted three birds today. Please teach Snuffle better. Tesla, hand them over. When did you hunt them? They were together the whole time. Do you want him to pull out dead birds? Oh, uh, oh yeah, no. That was when we were taking. That was when we were taking the. Uh, that was when we were taking uh, that uh, coal guy down the mountain. Oh, right. Yeah, I figured he didn't need. I figured he didn't need his head carried the entire way, so I let him off. So I let him run off. Uh, tasty. Mm. You, you ate them. Yes. Well, I suppose it's better than. I suppose it's better than bringing them in here. <laughs> My god, he has the most powerful magic attack on the spot. It's not about the power of the magic type itself, but it's more about how you use them. Yes, exactly! And, uh, and Captain, uh, and Sanan's going to, uh, and Sanan's going to flick his wrist, and you'll see a bunch of the uh, plates and stuff start flying around the air as dinner starts getting prepped. Plates? Let's see. Don't chew on plates. Yeah, good. See? You're learning, Tesla. Here, have a cookie. Link magic. Cookie reward. <laughs> just eats the entire thing whole. Without swallowing. <laughs> Sorry, without chewing. He just swallows it whole. Eats it whole without swallowing. Yes, he eats the entire thing and it teleports into his stomach. I didn't teleport anything. I, I didn't. didn't. Why? Okay, I can only teleport to places I've either seen or been. And I can assure you that I've neither seen nor been in Tesla's stomach. That is a very distinct limit of spatial magic. Provided it operates by conventional model rules, that cannot work. Uh, though then again, my then, then again my link magic does make the spatial magic act a little bit crazy sometimes. So, well, did you, well, did you use my spatial magic then? If so, you were the one that put it in his stomach, Captain. If not, then there was no portals. Uh. Actually, you were taking this way too seriously. I was just making a joke about how he ate it so fast. It looked like he teleported it. Right. Yeah, that would make more sense. Sorry. <sighs> I feel like you and I feel like you and the new guys are gonna get along. <laughs> uh, swimmingly, I suppose. You and the new, you and the old guys are. Well, try not to start too many fires. This is a what? This is a cabin made of wood, after all. Oh, don't worry. It wouldn't be a wouldn't be a beneficial thing to turn this into a battleground. Not with all the precious metals over there. This one's gonna flick his head to the left. Or where the oh, library is. You mean the? Oh, you mean the library? Yeah, you can feel free to browse at it. You can feel free to browse at any time. Though, if you're wanting to take books out, though, if you're wanting to take books out, please do let me know. Yeah, I suppose that's fair. Very well. Are there many on social psychology? Yeah, we've got a couple. We've got a couple back in the very back, but it's not a very well known, well looked at area. What mm. about wild plants? What about plants from the big forest? Front row, front row, third to the left, second down. Yay. Do you have books about? Do you have books about, like, things? <laughs> and you see Rote is just looking very, like, you, you can practically see him sparking with how much he's, like, vibrating with energy. Uh, yes. Yes. I'll find them, don't worry. <laughs> he just dashes. If you want to start a book club, just... Let some of us know what you like to read. Oh, and it's gone. I think he's, 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> I just don't realize that his body would let him run like that. I guess where there's, there's a heart, there's a way. Are you using magic to speed himself up? Well, well he, he did, did have lightning magic. magic. That, that is something it can typically do. I think I, I saw, saw his brother attempting it in his fight. I just yeah. don't think it matters. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, his brother Tim does a lot of stuff. Like Faith. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He got karma. I'm gonna just blindly assume that nobody picked up Salim Hapshas. <laughs> oh, God, who is... God, did anyone pick him up? Nope! <laughs> they did, it certainly wasn't because they liked him. <laughs> nope. nope. Wait, Wait, did he? I'm pretty sure the rest... No, I, I left, left afterwards. afterwards. No, no one, one picked, picked him up quickly, quickly that's for sure. Well, I'm pretty sure most of the guys that you ended up fighting got taken in by one of the other Magic Knight Spuds. Hmm. <laughs> eh. Did, did that, that, uh, did that Magicless kid get in anywhere? Uh, what was his name? Uh, wait, wait, no. He did, did, right? Yeah, they even said so back at the church. I remember it. <laughs> I remember Yami was really loving the kid. Huh. Man, I wanted to stick my... Man, I wanted to stick my hand up too, but Yummy got but Yummy came up to me earlier and told me that if I did he'd fucking kill me. Guess he was a guess he really wanted to make a freaking big show of it all. Because the well went somewhere. Hmm. Wasn't your wasn't your cousin like I don't think your cousin attended the ceremony, did she? Look, I'm a look, I'm a freaking vermilion and my mom's a silver. At least one of my cousins attended one of them. Oh yeah, well, there was Tiberius. Little golden brat. Thankfully he's not a cousin I'm closely related to. Did you know that the king's his uncle? <laughs> oh, shut <laughs> up, we heard enough of that. Yeah, that we heard so much of that at the ceremony. He would not shut up about it. <laughs> Thank you guys for rescuing me from that. <laughs> I want everyone oh, just dogpiled on the Sanan just then. <laughs> oh, please, God. Yeah, it no! Was, it was probably you met him at parties. No, he sucks. I'm so glad I didn't end up on the same squad as him. He's the worst. There's quite, quite literally no word that would have been worse than the same squad as that puppish brat. Well, oh, so you so wouldn't believe well, how bad he is. You think he was you think he's oh. bad then? He got better from what he used to be. He, he got, got better? Yeah, Man, worse. I am so glad that I'm not a royal. Wow. My sympathies. Oh, don't worry, Mine it's miserable well. sometimes. So Trust me, the... the magic with the man is cool, but a lot of the social stuff is not. <laughs> hey. he's, got type, he's got a great type of magic, he's not a great anything else. Personality. Anything. Oh, boy. I'm glad that Giovanni managed to hand it to him. Trust me, his brother. He thought he was God's gift to everybody, and he made that so clear any time he talked to any female member of the Royals. Oh no. No, he's one of those guys too. I see. Yeah, uh, there's a reason I mastered that uh, morning fog spell as quick as I did. Something tells me this. Something tells me this guy's. Something tells me this guy's one of every guy. Oh boy. Yeah, I get. I am so thankful that the guys we ended up with are a ill nerd. Ill nerd. It's an ill nerd. A stupid, if nice, wild child, and well, you two. <laughs> You too. Well, you're in the room. You're in the room. I feel like if I send you up, it might be rude. You know, I just don't want to do that. Mm. It's fine. You can call me whatever you like. I'll call you Giovanni then, because that is your name. <laughs> Wait, so I can call you whatever the hell I like? I can call you whatever the hell I like, Merchant Boy? Not her. <laughs> I can't. Okay, let me clarify one thing. That courtesy was not extended to you. Ah, whatever. <laughs> whatever, fuckwit. How can I? How? Wait, aren't you a nun? Oh, I'll, oh, I'll go into a confession confession booth later. What would Nash think of you saying that to tell you? <laughs> <laughs> As 
spectral <laughs> figure of Nash disappears. <laughs> Fumi just makes a fucking Steve illusion. <laughs> illusion is something her magic can do. Yeah, in theory. It's probably gonna work out how to do a location spell at some point. <laughs> spectral figure of Nash just looks up at her judgmentally. <laughs> Okay, who the hell? Okay, who the hell did this and who was? Okay, who the hell did this and uh, unrelated? No, who wants their teeth carved in? It's okay, Fumi. And Ashley wants to teleport Fumi away. Fumi doesn't even say it; she just disappears. <laughs> Ashley also conspicuously disappears, <laughs> knowing full well that Artemis will try and trace her magic. <laughs> Figured that might have ended up in an attempted murder. Yeah, I figured. Oh, oh. Uh, speaking of, uh, okay, Artemis, try not to try not to uh, carve anyone's teeth in before dinner. Now I gotta go get. Now I gotta go collect those too. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. Well, I guess it Captain, they were messing with me. Captain Hurricane, none of the books have pictures. Hmm. Harakon isn't here. Harakon isn't here, and he's a vice captain. <laughs> knock, knock. Hey. Oh. And Harakon will just walk in through the door. Oh, Harakon, you're back. Yep. Harakon, none of the books have pictures. Huh. Do you know how to read? A little bit. Hmm. Reading wasn't easy. I could only really read my grimoire and. Grimoire was the Oh, that's all good, pal. I can help you out with that. We're just gonna... Uh, for reference, people can't normally read grimoires. That is not something people can do. They are aware of what their spells are instinctually in their own grimoire, but people cannot generally read other people's grimoires. Might be why he's having such an issue reading. <laughs> uh, so just for reference, that is extremely unusual. Why he's having such an issue reading every other book because he learned a different language. Wait, can you read grimoires? That's. Hmm. Uh, Harkon's just gonna pull out his grimoire and uh, open to a random page. What does this one say? Uh. uh I'm gonna, I'm, I'll just roll a straight wisdom check, I guess, for him to see if he understands it. Yeah, okay. he doesn't. Alright, fair. Uh, something, something wind. Hmm. That was a lightning spell. Hmm. So sometimes you can read it. Tesla read Tesla only knows Tesla's grimoire. Most people can read their own grimoire, but it's rare to be able to read another grimoire. I figured out words because of the pictures. Just opens up his thing and just points to the pictures in his grimoire. Hmm. Well, you joined, joined the right squad, so now I can teach you how to read. What we call that is an achievement in ignorance. <laughs> you learn how to read the wrong language. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll teach you how to read. And hey, yeah. this is a nice squad. I'm sure that some of you guys will be able to help as well. Oh, or at least attempt. Yeah, Excellent. Excellent. I have the patience. I mean, I write stuff down all the time, so... We'll just need to make sure that everyone can learn how to speak the same way Tesla does. I'm sure we'll all be able to communicate well. This could actually be a really fun exercise for us. Trying to teach a, trying to teach a new language to someone would help us understand our language even better. Yeah. That's true. I like the way you think, Rote. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I Plus, my little ones in. I wonder if I can get my little ones in on this. They'd love this sort of thing. As long as they don't set the books on fire, that's fine. You see him start charging up. Do not set the books on fire. Oh please, well, oh please, well, Watson can be a little bit of a little be a little bit of a pest, but he's not likely to do something like that. Tesla disagree. Okay. <laughs> Harkon is just going to go up, grab Rote on the shoulders, and say, Rote, lightning sets things on fire. 
Even if it isn't charged up, it will set things on fire. Oh, wait, who, uh, who is that? Is that Harakon. Harakon. Okay. Books are made of paper, which burns when it catches on fire. Harakon, my magic is charged magic. As in static charge. As in thing that transfers over to people when they touch me. I also... <laughs> and he will just look down. You forget. I'm a storm mage. I also use lightning. And you'll just see that a couple of sparks will hit him, but he'll just not react and then let go. Oh, okay, good. I'm sorry to forget that I don't think you've ever said it. You are educated as a noble. How did you not learn this? I was talking about the fact that lightning can set things on fire. Oh, I was talking about the fact that you're a storm mage. That is understandable for you not to know. Lightning setting things on fire, however, is not. Even Tesla knows that. Even Tesla knows that. I know lightning sets things on fire. My little ones are careful. Your little ones are lightning. I no know, little ones near the books. But his little ones also killed a man today, so... <laughs> Harakon is just going to death stare at the person that said that. And considering that was me out of character... Harakon is going to death stare into the fourth wall! That's why I, dro that's why I dropped out of my Tesla slash Boomy voices. Fair. That's not fair. Listen. So, uh... No, no little ones near the books. They could set this entire cabin on fire. Can I ask a different question then? You may. Can I take out these books? And Rotate is just going to pick up one. <laughs> it's just going to gesture to one of the shelves. There's a limit to how many you can pick out at once. How many do you, how many do you expect you can read in one evening? This amount of well, considering that this is the considering that this is the section on the his on the history of the um probably about forty in one evening. evening. Oh yes. You, you can, can come back, back here tomorrow. tomorrow. You you don't need to stockpile the books. Oh, that's new. Yes. Just take them out for an evening, or several, and then once you finish with them, bring them back, and you can get more. You live here. Um, how many am I allowed to take out at once? Oh, how, how many can you read at once? Like simultaneously, or within, a, or within one sitting? I'll just put it at 20. Oh, so simultaneously then. Um. <laughs> and listen, provided you don't bother your roommate, you are fine to grab more in the middle of the night if you somehow manage to finish all 20. Roommate? Oh, right. Everyone gather up. We're assigning roommates. Um, oh, this will be fun. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose oh. this would have to happen eventually. I wonder who I'm, I wonder who I'm going to end up. I wonder who I'm going to end up bunking with. It's nice to not. It's nice to have someone else. It would be nice to have someone else sleeping in the same room as me. My room used to be. My room used to be all by itself at the very end of the house. <laughs> it really, have, really, never, never had a room. Really far away from where my parents and Salim were. I don't think any of us like Rotate's family. I like my family. Any of us except Rotate. <laughs> I like my little ones. Do you like my little ones? Yeah, lightning. Uh, they're fine. Your brother, on the other hand, 
is of work. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. was. Oh, he's great. Let's see no. if we can put up Are... that four leaf guy. Are, Are we, we talking, talking about, about the same person? person? Yeah. I don't. Well, I only have one brother that I know of. <sighs> I was. I don't believe that there was any other brothers in my house. All right. They never came down to visit me. <laughs> All right. Now. Well, before that gets any more depressing, everybody. <laughs> roll call. Oh. Emilio. Yeah. Uh, All right. Did you say familiar as familiar? Out of curiosity. Yeah, as roll. He said. He said roll call. Ashlyn. Yeah, so Marcel. Uh, Giovanni. Sweet gorilla. <laughs> You're, You're not sweet gorilla. gorilla. <laughs> Why is I love that Marcel is so against the term sweet gorilla. <laughs> Exists. No, I mean. Uh, yeah, whatever. And when? There you go. Uh, rotate half shells. You really only need your first name. Hold on. I think that's everybody. Wait. Ashlyn? I I said my name like the second. Hi, I'm here. She, she did, oh. yes. Oh, sorry. I'm not I'm, I'm not, not in the heart, heart kingdom. kingdom. I know that's I know that's a valid concern after that one time, but no, I am here. You mean those two times? Yeah. Uh, well, okay. The second time the yeah, the second time was for a valid reason. And the first time, well, that was just a cool festival. <laughs> for a social phobe, you really like festivals. I'm... Okay. I am not social phobic. I... I don't... Well, let's just say I spent a lot of money that day at the festival. Uh, <laughs> oh, damn. I didn't realize you were getting freaky at the festival. To create a barrier around myself to just teleport people out of my general vicinity. Like I said, freaky. Wait, that's why we had so many calls from the Heart Kingdom requesting our assistance in freaking people out of the ocean? I didn't teleport them to the ocean, I just teleported them within the festival. But I'm sure it was very confusing. If you fell in the ocean. How? You remember that bridge? Wait. Oh, oh, oh. Did you so that's why we lost so many, many stars. stars. Yeah, the, I, do we use the star for each one? Each person everybody, in the water? Every yeah. single person here Seven except for me has lost this every single person here except me has lost this place's star. When did Glenn do it? That one time when he uh, left. Well, that one time when he ditched for four weeks on an expedition that he told uh, us about, and we thought he was dead. Uh, uh, sure. It's entirely a legitimate reason. I we thought you were dead. Reason. You didn't rise. You, you just, just ditched. Well, look, some of us have these sessions. They're not always healthy, but they're, you know, sometimes you have to follow them. No, no, you didn't. Or if you did, just leave a letter, man. Come on. Oh, but that's a waste of paper. You? Shut up. I now, dragon. as you saw, four rooms, eight people. Some of you are going to need to move your stuff. But for now... Don't worry, we worry. Don't worry. Your roommates have already been signed by me. Okay. All right, well, let's hear it then. Let's get this up. All right. Archon? <laughs> you want me to say? You want to help? Sure. Well, you can take two, I'll take the other two. All right. First up, Artemis and Tesla. You two seem to hit it off on the last mission. Ha! <laughs> oh, gang's all in the... Gang's all in order, wild child. Yay. Also, it seems like also it seems like Artemis can actually keep you somewhat in line, so I'll be trusting you with that. Just don't start any gang wars while you're in there. 
Also, you two will be getting the. Also, you two will be getting the innermost be innermost bedroom. You know, the one without any windows for windows for Tesla to crawl out of. Oh, what? Come on! That's the worst of the bedrooms. Yeah, you're the and you're the most senior member here. You can take it. Bullshit. Second, Second up, Ashlyn and Familiar. Mostly because I'd be worried about you two disappearing if you didn't end up in the same room. Fair. Sweet. Yeah, that one was a pretty obvious one. Yeah, fair enough. You two will be taking top left corner. Top left? Ooh, nice. Top left. I'll you'll, be getting good, you'll be getting a good view of the outside, but you should still... Getting a good view of the outside, but you still should be close enough to the. Actually, no. Bottom left. You're the only group that doesn't that it doesn't matter if you're close to the door. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. That's fair. Anyway, anyway, that leaves only two groups left. First off, Marcel, Giovanni, yep. and we will be bunked up, bunked up together. Nice. nice. Mostly because I really didn't want to put Giovanni with uh, with Artemis and Marcel. Yeah, you two seem to have a similar personality type. <laughs> that is nice. Which room? Oh. Ah. You two. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying top. I'm saying you two should get top left. Good view of the outside. Easy way to keep track of everyone else. Very well. Thank you. And that just leaves and that just leaves two members in one room. Lynn and Rote. But I'm not just putting you but unlike with the last pairings, I'm not just putting you two together because you didn't uh, because you're the last ones left. You seem to really hit it off and well I have a feeling that Glynn's gonna I have a feeling that uh, I have a feeling that Glynn will help you out with a lot of things, Rote. Uh, um <laughs> Yeah, pleasure, pleasure to bunk with you. Just oh, try not to push him too far. Just try not to push him too hard. Look, Worry it's about. It's fine. Look, you can say it. I already know it. I know I'm intense. I know. No, intensity is good. It means that we get a lot done when we're super concentrated. Uh, <laughs> aren't we usually super distracted, though? It also, yeah, it also does mean that you tend to just, you tend to be really hard to capture when you're not super concentrated. But I was meaning more the, I was meaning more, like, physically. Be careful. Four days straight of chasing you. I could teleport. How did it take four days to capture you? Favors from, I have to call in favors from Cousin Nozel to find you. Why did it take a captain of the second best Magic Knight squad? How'd you even get that far into the dungeon without setting off any traps? Uh, well, my, my pops is a very talented dungeoneer. He does it for a living, so effectively I, I just look after him. I prefer a more active approach with my research, as you all very well know. Which means I go into those darkest dungeons. Alone! That, in the middle of the, that dungeon was in the middle of the strong magic region separating us from Spade. Wait, how, how did, did you get halfway to Spade? We don't know! Why do you think we needed to call in the favor from Nozel? You that that lost so us. Like, that even he was more impressed than angry. Didn't we lose like ten stars because we had to waste the time of a magic knight captain other than our own? Uh, we also, well, it also had to do with the avalanche that came, the, with the avalanche that almost hit, that almost hit Saucy. How did it hit Saucy from Offley to Spade? Almost did. Almost. 
Awesome. Nice to stop it in time. I figured my crops were kind of tricky. I didn't know that did all that. Yeah, the avalanche kind of ended up on the roof. I I kind of I had to teleport it somewhere, so at least it wasn't saucy. <laughs> Sorry. They were shoveling they were shoveling snow out of this place for weeks. You know how hard it is to shovel snow out of a tropical area? Not that hard. It mostly melted. Yeah. The water damage was hell. The water damage was bad. Sometimes you have to make necessary sacrifices for the good of the future. At least this explain how any of that was necessary. <laughs> None of that would have been necessary if you didn't randomly go wandering off to a dark dungeon halfway to spade. More than that, that we weren't assigned to go to. Did you find anything oh. cool while you were out there, though, Lin? Oh, oh yes, absolutely. Like, I, I have so much here. Like, and Glenn just find all the books and notes that he's written? Mm. Like he's, he's <laughs> You're gonna be terrible in on each other. other. I guess, uh, you, you, I guess Rota and Glenn will go into the, uh, room together. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And, and, like, continue talking about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I... None of them seem to be unhappy about it. Well, aside from Artemis with the room choice, choice but... Oh, where else could we put Tesla? Pretty, I'm pretty sure they're not going to stay in that room for very long. As soon as Tesla proves that he can cope with Windows, I'm pretty sure Artemis is going to start threatening one of the other groups into relinquishing their room. Honestly, my money is on. Honestly, my money is on Giovanni making a dumb bet. Hmm. Seems fair. I'm going to prepare a combat arena just in case. <laughs> Roll perception. For who? So with advantage, just to hear that. Just to see if uh, Giovanni yeah. hears Simone say that. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Probably uh, that's enough. Johnny Man. So, 17. Yep, 17. Uh, I imagine they'll be high enough to hear it. I can hear you, you know. But you really don't use modded voices at all. Well, am I wrong? <laughs> Come on. I'm entirely wrong. I wouldn't make that kind of stupid bet. Who do you think right. I am, a fool? Come on, we've got, got one of the best rooms. rooms. We, we can't, can't afford, afford to lose it to the worst room. Yeah, of oh. oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, the grand things are, the grand things are addressing to my eyes of me. And now I'm, and now I'm lost within a temple. <laughs> she just starts reciting a hymn. God, we gotta keep this room no matter what. <laughs> Marcel's just gonna set up two prisons at the door. Now, if anything goes wrong, that stick goes on there. That way, if Artemis tries to come after us, we'll be fine. Yes, and I can always use the side of numbers to delay or even further. We're looking pretty good, honestly. Shouldn't, wouldn't damage anything in the house, and it means that she won't be able to get in here. I feel like I'm gonna need to set up another room, uh, another rune array in each of their rooms. <laughs> Marcel will just set up another two prisms on the window. Well, and then he'll activate them. Good thing is, these guys don't take damage. They stay up for a long time. You always do have a sharp mind, Marcel. <laughs> no, you're as sharp as yours. After all, look at all the stuff you figured out today. That was awesome. Uh, observation magic tends to help. Sure. But your magic is quite useful as well. <laughs> Shielding people from damage is quite the illustrious task. Yeah. Yeah. It would be nice to be able to do a bit more with it, but still. Maybe one day I'll be able to train it up to be as good as my sisters. I'm sure you'll give her a run for her money. <laughs> May take a while. She's in the Golden Dawn, and she's damn good at her job. Yeah, and I suppose that's why we're here in the Bronze Owl Stars. Yeah. 
It got better. True that. Five pounds, we should probably. Five pounds, we should probably let them know that dinner's nearly ready. Guys, did you forget to eat or something? Tesla was oh, chewing God. furniture. Tesla, do not chew the furniture. For oh, the blessed be righteous and the righteous be holy and the holy be. <laughs> okay, look, Tesla. Tomorrow I will get you some furniture that is okay to chew. Don't chew anymore until then. Oh, I think I, I I think I heard of this place. It's yeah, we should you know with this discovery maybe if we cross reference that with some of this. Dinner. Oh yes, All you're right. definitely wrong, my good my good fellow. Feel free to get back to the research after you've eaten. I'm not having you kids go to bed hungry. Okay. Uh, okay. Not letting you starve yourself for three days like last time, bud. Act. It was not necessary. You should have eaten. We uh, nearly had to take you to the hospital. Uh, so Nan is just going to uh, 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 Ashlyn. You'll hear uh, Ashlyn. You'll hear. Uh, hey Ashlyn, mind if I steal your magic for a second? Go for it. Okay, good. <sighs> Link magic. Link magic. Swap magic. And spatial magic. Everyone, get here now. That. Oh. Well, Why are you here, Ashlyn? Oh. oh, I figured that'd be. I figured that'd be easier, at least for day one. <laughs> everyone, here needs, everyone here is a human, <laughs> and that means that you're all going to need to eat. <laughs> everyone here is a human, and whatever the hell Tesla is. <laughs> everyone here is a human, except for Tesla, who's probably some weird cat. Even He's some sort of cat wolf human hybrid that was made in a lab. Even cat oh. even cat wolf human hybrids need to eat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Besides, put Besides, put a lot of hard work into this. Making the plates making the plates float around like that. And you'll see the and you'll see a bunch of the plates start floating over towards the table. This will be our first. This will be our first dinner together as a as a group. Should be a really good bonding experience. Yeah, I suppose it will. I mean, after this, we'll get back to the research, okay? Right, eh? And who knows? Maybe we'll go on an expedition, eh? And this time, I'll let you know. Oh, I mean, I don't think I could actually do an expedition. I mean, I'd have to go outside for a really long period of time and. I have to climb big mountains and ride up scary oh. bugs and... <laughs> oh, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. I, I, I know good spots. I mean, I, I traveled halfway... Well, I traveled most of the way... Oh, I went to space, so I know what I'm doing. Oh, shit, you're getting, uh, named to them all. Yep. Making, Making sure, sure that we don't forget who's room is who's. Which is fair. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize you could do that. They have this a text typing option. Yep, I only just, just found it. it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> now everyone, dig in! And the the, uh, the, the lids on the, on the dishes and stuff will lift to just a massive array of different foods. This will be a this will be a celebration of the of the successful mission as well as the welcoming party for the new members. <laughs> well, thank you for this most fine honor. Delicious food, delicious food, delicious food. Thank you for the thank you very much for the food. Thank you for the food. Now we're all, all now we're all really now we're all going to say grace, aren't we? Oh. Looks or looks directly over at Ash. Well, it looks directly over at Ashley with a death stare. Uh, As you do that, Tesla immediately. I didn't say anything. Uh, yes. Uh, thank our Lord for our food. Thank you, Lord, for our food. <laughs> Please. I just realized like Ashley is seated next to Tesla in the on the menu thing. Oh God. Please. 
the Lord, oh, please, the Lord knows that he gave, the Lord knows he gave us plenty of bounty, a plentiful bounty. You don't need to say that stuff to him. Then, what were you getting annoyed at me not doing? I thought that was what oh, St. Grace was. was. <laughs> oh, I wasn't. I was just messing with you. Let's eat! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, oh. unlike the rest of them, though, Tesla eats straight through the bones. Whoa, 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 Hey, I thought it tastes. I didn't think it tastes like poop. I made it. It, it looked like poop. Uh, the fun is beyond them, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> I feel like we split this. I feel like you pretty equally split this table amongst regular sane eaters in the feral group. And then poor Ashland stuck there. Uh, <laughs> uh, and next to the guy who was biting through bones. <laughs> Ashlyn has activated the portal. The portal surrounding her. Think Bungeon Infinity, except it doesn't delete stuff or make it stop. It just kind of teleports it somewhere else. Right, uh... This is all going on the roof. Right, uh... Hey, Glenn, you want to chow down? Yeah, I'll chow down. Let's go sweet, for it. Uh, sweet, Link Magic, swap. <laughs> He'll swap Glenn and Ashlyn's places. <laughs> Thank you. Link magic, spotsies. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. You should fit you should fit in better over on that side of the table, right, Glenn? Yeah, I can make this work. Alright. <laughs> Alright, guys and girls, let's get this done. <laughs> should we should we try to eat quickly so that there's enough left for us? Yes. Ah, oh. uh, well. Uh, don't worry. If we run out, I still have plenty more. Rosie, I'm worried that if you try to eat quickly, it will be the end of you. Okay, uh, thank you. And JK will politely grab a plate and start politely eating it. <laughs> Marcel will be eating properly, but very quickly. <laughs> maybe, we'll eat, uh, maybe we'll eat at a normal speed. Cause like she, considering to have body size, she probably doesn't eat that much, let's be real here. Ashlyn will also eat probably not that much. Yep, Theo will be eating as elegantly as possible. It's like a, it's like a lion eating a man. He even eats the bones. Well, I guess Adams is right about the whole wild child thing. Eating like she just found some, like she just found something, some caviar in a dumpster or something. Caviar is disgusting. I had that stuff once. Why? I always thought it was. I always thought it was quite nice. You pair it with you pair it with seaweed sauce, and it's. Hmm. Hmm. Sarah Cook. Or uh, no, I, no, I just no, just a bit of a foodie. Ah, when? Well, whenever I could be. I didn't get to go to very many restaurants. The ones I did get to go to were fairly expensive, though. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of wrong on this one. Eh, maybe we should go at some point. After all, I've been to most of them. That sounds quite nice. I'll be sure to bring my own table as usual. What? <clears throat> uh, bring your own table? Yeah, so I'm not sitting at the table, so I'm not having to sit at the table with the, uh, sit at the table with you guys in public. Uh, what are you talking about? Why would we not want to... Rotate. Rotate! I was in... Let's... I would get less weird looks sitting at the same table with you than I would sitting with my best friend Ashlyn. People would be giving more weird looks to me than they would to you. I'm a commoner, for goodness sake. Yeah, and I'm the, and I'm the only daughter of a familiar. Oh. 
I thought it was just a well, perhaps that was just a funny little tradition in my household. Hate them. You know, eldest child, you know, eldest child sits away from the table. I think what kind of tradition is that? You recognize how screwed up that is, right? Well, every well, all, all all families have their little traditions and quirks, right? Okay. Right. Rotate. <laughs> we like you. We want to spend time with you. We do not want to have you be at a different table because that defeats the point of going with you. Look, if we were going to exclude somebody, it would be them, and they're just pointing over at the two wild animals. And that's because they probably get kicked out of a restaurant. Yeah. The hell are you? What the hell are you trying to kick me out of now? I was talking, talking about, about Tesla. Tesla. Let's look bit through the plane again. Uh, there's magic with Han. And <laughs> so I'm thinking you, me, Giovanni, Marcel, Rote, and uh, then just leave the other guys. Did he just say again? He bit through three plates yesterday. It was ridiculous. We don't oh, have yeah. ceramics. We don't have a ceramic maze in the entire kingdom. I would have been what, what, probably useful. His, what is his jewel strength? Amanda so hard. He ate my prism like it was Pop Rocks. Oh, it wasn't candy? No! It was a defensive spell! Was weird that you put candy on your walls. Wait, wait, Tesla, do you know what candy is? Yeah, sweet stuff. Green light gave it to me. This green lion, this green lion sounds like a strangely decent mother. Tesla didn't have one of those. But do you have a grandfather? Yeah. Do you have a father or just a grandfather? Tesla and a new grandpa. What's he like? Uh, reclusive, smart, doesn't like talking to other people that aren't Tesla. Actually, you never talk to other people that aren't Tesla. Hmm. You know, this is actually a really good idea. Since we're all sitting down at the table, why don't we go around and say something about us? Go around, say something about ourselves, where we came from. Get to know each other a bit better, you know? Fair enough. All right. Let's see. see. I mean, all we, I mean, all we could not. I feel like it might be a good idea. All right. <laughs> Who do we start with? <laughs> well, Tesla just. Well, Tesla just had. Tesla just had his turn, so clockwise? Uh, which way that? That would be Glenn next. Oh, Glenn. I was trying to find him in all the names. I'm <laughs> yeah, sorry. right. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> part of that was Tesla don't know where the clock is. The other part was I genuinely did not know which direction. Oh, yes. That's me. Punk, I grew up in Hard Village in the Forsaken Realm. That's where all the research was Punk and Bubble. And, uh, yeah, if you ever want to stop research, find your name. It's also everyone else that's also very intelligent. Yeah. And yeah. also, yeah. my expeditions take me to a lot of places. Sorry, I didn't mean to steal your thunder there. Oh, that's all good. There's plenty of thunder to share. <sighs> all right, that's it for me. Now I've got to pull a hark on sheet to make sure that I actually got something to say for him. Yeah, I, I had to get up the names for uh, Fumi's parents as well. Alright. Let's see. Well, as you know, 
I am Harkon Silva, Vice Captain of the Squad. I became a Vice Captain, well, achieved a rank equivalent to Vice Captain during an event with Sanan and myself. We were able to rescue a child from a limestone prison that looked like it had set itself up from a dungeon. That was where we gained the ability to start the squad. Well, more the authority than the ability. Hmm. True. I wonder how that kid's doing these days. I'm sure, sure he's doing great. He said he wanted to become a magic knight. Well, I suppose it's only fair that I go next. Uh, you already know. Well, you already know that I'm. You already know that I'm Sanan and I'm the captain. Harkon's already mentioned how the squad forms, so let's see. What else? What else can I really say about myself? Uh. Well, I used to be. Well, me and Harkon both used to be members of the Grey Deer before we joined. Before we joined our own squads. The Grey Deer. Yeah. Before that, well, I was. I was raised in. Well, I spent quite a bit of time in the Forsaken Realm. Wasn't exactly allowed in the in the Clover Capital for a while. I I saw what had happened there and what became of them after the Battle of Giants. So many of them were so many of them were hurt and so few people came to help. Even the even the best of them. Even the even the children couldn't rely on the magic knights. Not really. Sure, if you're in a sure if you're in a place that had a good that had a good trade district or something. But not too many could rely on that. So I decided that when I became a magic knight, I'd do everything I could to help those out, out there, in the places that no one else can, that none of the other magic knights can get to. I'd be, a, I'd be someone that could, be a voice and, be of aid to the forsaken, and the commoners while the best of the best Magic Knight squads were holed up at the capital. Whatever... Of course, that would mean that most of my... Of course, that would mean that most of my efforts would go unnoticed or unappreciated by the people who actually dole out the stars, but... I'm okay with that. Yeah. Anyway. That's why, that's why we, I formed the Browns of Our Stars the way I did. I'm just glad that Harakon here was willing to stick with me through it. <laughs> of course I was. After everything. Oh, um, does that mean that I'm next? Oh, um, <clears throat> well, as you, I... As you know, I have this condition. Though it only really start, though it only really got bad once I turned eight. It was mild. It was it was mild at first. When I got my grimoire, it worsened. I was. My family's always been challenging. They've always tried. They've always wanted me to succeed. So much so that any time that they, any time that I asked for something, they wouldn't just grant it to me like they like they would for Celine. They would give me a challenge, something to overcome before I did. Just little things, you know, painting the house, 
raising the tr raising a dead tree branch, that sort of stuff. As and, I grew up eating dead things, and Tesla had a less bad time. Oh, it was a great time. Uh, is, is there anything? Are, are you ever going to say anything about your childhood that is not immensely depressing? What? Well, because of my well, because of my illness, I I did have to spend more time indoors. I guess that's why I merely liked reading reading about the world. I found out so many wonderful things about all the different nobles and royals and even a few common families. The first ever commoner was a member of the Purple Orchids. First ever commoner Magic Knight, that is. Ah oh, yes, the first commoner! <laughs> the first commoner to ever common is a member of the Magic Knights. Roll history if you want to talk more about them. There was no in between. I... The first commoner member of the Magic Knights was the Purple Orca. The Silver and Vermilion lines used to be a sing used to be a single household, the Silver Millions, which used to be which even used to be connected with the Clover House, with the Kira household, all the way back with the first Wizard King. There's so many incredible, there's so many incredible things about, about this kingdom that, well, I guess I just wanted, uh, I guess I just wanted to see them for myself. <laughs> see, that wasn't very depressing, was it? That wasn't. <laughs> Your ambitions are great. I just, I just hope, hope you're okay, okay man. Well, I mean, apart from my debilitating illness, I'm generally pretty fine. <laughs> apparently, my, apparently has just, something... I, I don't think I've ever met somebody who's not glass half full, but it's that glass is completely full. What do you want about? Well, it's, I guess it's not all good. Apparently, the illness has something to do with my lungs. We, man, My parents managed to get the... managed to get the best doctor in the kingdom on to check them out, and... All that he could figure out is that, is that it seems like my lungs are hardening. They're meant to be more elastic. Explains why my steam magic made you a lot better. Yeah, it helps. Thank you. Though, it's not like we haven't tried steam bathing before. I don't think it's going to be a permanent cure. At the very I'm okay least, with it. My mana saturation should help you out at least a little bit. I'm okay. I am okay with it, though. Really, <laughs> if it wasn't for if it wasn't for this, I wouldn't have become the person I am today. I wouldn't have ever. I wouldn't have ever read about all those incredible things. And I wouldn't be able to. And I wouldn't have come to know. And I would never have found out that my charge magic was the way it is, and not just really, really weak lightning magic. What a, what a great story. Wow. <laughs> oh, it, wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't all that. I could, I could tell you about a thousand stories about, written by other people that are way better than that one, Felix. <laughs> that one's <laughs> real. It's your story. That was yours, not anyone else's. Well, other than throwing five stars, but that's besides the point. Anyway, uh, next up is... Hi, I'm Marcel. You've you've probably all heard about my parents, or at least what they were like. I hasn't. Okay. Well, my parents were Valerie and Valerie the Carol. They. My mother died in the in the battle of giants, and my father was the one that raised me, along with my older sister, Ledelay. She's actually the reason I joined the Magic Knights. Well, partially. She's what inspired me to become what I am today. Because she ended up being so incredible. And 
I guess I want to do her proud. Both of them, you could say. I've only had one spell for a pretty long time. It took me until probably about last year to get my second one. But I've been practicing with the spell for a long time. And I hope that it'll still be of help, even if it can't really do much. Tesla hates the spell, so it's really good. <laughs> Just don't try to eat it again. We're all on the same team. Okay, let me try to eat it sometime soon. Okay, don't eat it when we're fighting something else, okay? That seem fair? Fine. It tastes good, though. How did it taste good? It's just, it's just mana. Yeah, I've tasted broken. I've tasted broken glass before. The metallic tang of the blood really adds a sense, really adds a nice flavor to it. Tesla meant the mana. Oh. I have. Let's, mm. be, let's be here, all of you. I have never, never tried, tried to eat mana before, but uh, I'm glad it tastes good. I guess. <laughs> Like candy. And this does, Marcel will just summon a prism. Yeah. Okay. Fine. And uh, Marcel will just uh, scooch it across the table. We'll just eat it. We're supposed to be trying to teach him not to. Okay. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's me done. done. <laughs> the human garbage can. <laughs> Human question mark. Garbage can, however, is not questioned. That's all you really. That's all you want to say, Marcel. Hmm. Well, this is more about where we're from, right? My my family was a noble family. I received a fairly normal education. I grew up with my sister. Well, guess I just thought there was a little more. But if you don't want to say it, that's fine. Oh. If that is all it is, that's also fine. I'm just, I'm just shut up now. Do you? Yes. No, I just suppose it's my turn. I'm Giovanni Speculo. Hmm. I'm the son I'm of the... Uh, I'm calling you Spectacles from now on. Spectacles? How am I for that be? <laughs> because of the observation magic. No, because your last name is Speculo and you're... And you don't deserve a cool name like Wild Child. So that's the name you're giving me. Well, I can tell you now, I don't accept it. Anyway, where was I? Ah, oh, yes. I'm to me, specifically. Yeah, so, my family, my mum, my dad, and my little brother, who were born here, they're all a merchant family. That's where my other folks are from. I have no idea, really. They keep things under wraps. Common tactics, of course. And, oh yes, my life. I, uh, yeah, I, I guess the manner in which I speak is similar to a noble, and that's for a reason that I'll explain now. One of the noble households is struggling, particularly house priests, and I am to be marrying you off to their daughter. So I had to be groomed for such a role. To fit the requirements of the court and all the other dignities that it carries with it. Bearing financial power, to put it gently. And I mainly joined the Bronzeau Stars because it was a decision I could actively make for myself. Is there anything else you guys want to know? That sounds sweet. I haven't heard about them in a while. Your parents sound. Your, your parents don't sound like nice people. <coughs> sounds like you had a pretty hard time of it growing up. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, well, some of us are 
Given Cactals. Those... Well, I suppose if you're annoyed by my manner of speaking, I can fully understand the reasoning why. I find it quite. I find it quite comforting, actually. It's very similar to the people that. It's very similar to most of the people that I knew growing up. Hmm. I'm glad that puts you at ease, then. Well, right, that's just about it. All right. Well, <laughs> Marcel sitting in between. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> just just the fucking just don't. It was just fucking uh, Fumi to Ashley. <laughs> oh, that was Marcel saying it. Ashley just wasn't even bothering. Yeah, no, that was Fumi was just. just I, I'm not gonna bother. Okay. Well, I come from a common family, but as my family's, uh, well, has a spatial magic attribute, my parents were often helping out noble households. Until the day that, well, until the day that the first commoner ended up becoming a magic knight. At which point, they were allowed to help out some various magic knights. But... Because of that, we ended up investigating the border a lot. In case there were any dangers, we needed to be able to warp major magic knight captains to the border. So I ended up growing up mostly in the common or sometimes in the forsaken realm. Uh, I spent most of my time reading. My parents were away a lot, and so I ended up reading a lot of magic theory. I quite like it. And, yeah, it was just mostly myself, my cat, and this, well, nah, mostly just myself and my cat. And it was very nice when I managed to join here. It was the first time I got to interact with people a bit more. <laughs> Probably rambling. Still, it's nice to meet all of you. I'm sure we'll get on well. You don't need to worry about rambling. I went into a little too much detail myself. <laughs> it's okay. You were very... It's very nice to meet you too, Miss Finlay. Ah, uh, please, just call me Ashley. No need for formalities here. Alright, I guess it's me next. Um... I, my mother is a Gale Silver, former Magic Knight. She was a fairly major member of the Silver Eagles back in the day, right? Uh, yeah. Would Rote know the name? Almost certainly. Uh, oh, a Gale Silver? You mean the a Gale Silver? Yeah. Wow. Wait. Gail was married to... My father's Kaigolion Vermilion. He... Oh, you're a bigger dude than I thought you were. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, because in backstory stuff for you, Robbie, which you'll probably hear about it now because I wanted someone else to explain it. Uh, so, Gail worked alongside Asia pretty frequently. Oh, yeah. As in, they were like a duo. And Kygolion is the former leader of the Crimson Lion Kings. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. They were pretty major figures in the war. Yeah, that, that's fair enough. <laughs> yeah, little Fumi is that kid. Wait, Wait it's said that they stopped some kind of terror plot going on at the same time as... Well, they say it's a terror plot. Going on at the same time as the Battle of Giants. most of the magic night captains were. Yeah. The Crimson Lion Kings, the Silver Eagles, and the Grey Deer. Hey, didn't my mother was fairly protective of me when I was younger? Probably because she had lost Asia and was here until I was born.
was bad that the patch came out, but well, after a while I didn't really get to see them too often. But it's good for him. He decided he'd go and become an envoy for the Hive Kingdom to try and improve our relations with them. It's... yeah, I... The only... well, one of the only loyals here, so... At least it's like that. I've got some other people like it, but... I, until I got here, I hadn't really interacted with anyone from the common realm. It still... I have issues with it still somewhat, because, um... I wasn't taught great things by people who weren't my parents. I'm actually not a fan of most of the royal household houses or families. They're quite mean. But it's nice to have you guys here. Even if some of you, glancing over at Artemis, are a little intense at me sometimes. Mm. Ah. Yeah, I've been told I get I've been told I get pretty intense. Not sure why though, I think I lie. Oh. Sure. Well clearly that wouldn't be the case considering there's no windows in your room, but hey, what do you do you? Oh god, so now you didn't do that you, you didn't put me in the room with no windows because of the inter it was considered. <laughs> I, I guess, guess they're a great pair for each other. Huh. I suppose it's true. That just leaves Artemis because Sphinx's done. Mm. Artemis and Tesla. Tesla. Uh, oh, no, Tesla, Tesla went first. Tesla. Never mind. Yeah. Well then. I guess that leaves me. I guess that just leaves me, huh? Uh, all right. Let's see. Let's see, I was born and raised in Nern Village. Joined the nunnery at a very joined the nunnery at a very young age. Just been been raised in nun most of my life. And well I met someone. And that's all you're gonna hear about it, you got it? <laughs> well fair enough. I hear more? I met you won't. Uh, you wouldn't understand, Tessa. <laughs> you maybe. <laughs> Everyone else, no. <laughs> you maybe, but I doubt you'd understand about it anyway. <laughs> you might consider telling, but also no reason to. Look, it's uh, look. I doubt that you understand what happens between a man and a woman. Hmm. Never hearing another word. They have intercourse to produce children? <laughs> wow. He actually knew. Huh. Oh, Gramps told well, me about it. Oh, well, that sounds, sounds like one uh, awkward conversation. You'll see Artem you'll see for the first time probably ever, Artemis begins to blush. <laughs> Yes, Tesla is aware of the birds and the bees. Rolling insight. He's at least aware of the. I want to see. I want to see if I can tell, tell if she's done it, and this is uh, embarrassed because of that. <laughs> Mine's not great. Okay, uh, uh, this, this was, was actually meant to be as Ashlyn, not uh, as uh, Marcel. Marcel does not care. Uh, Marcel does not give a shit. Okay, uh, sixteen. Uh, eighteen. 18 sorry. You can tell that she's embarrassed because she didn't, or she hasn't. It's the thought of doing it with whomever hmm. must, that's probably embarrassing her. She's got the air of a virgin. Hmm. Fair enough. People shouldn't be teaching you. People shouldn't be teaching you things, Tesla. <laughs> but why? That's how the species propagates. <laughs> Yeah, that's how you get rid of ignorance. Anyway, try to explain it to me in detail, you see? <laughs> what no, is your grandpa? grandpa? Nope, no, okay. 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 
stained glass binding magic. <laughs> Time will bind up Tesla with the fucking. Uh, For reference, that stops his arm from moving. That does not do anything to stop his mouth from moving. <laughs> Artemis will shove some of the chain into his mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a bite on it, see if I can break the chain. It is glass. So what? He eats ceramic! That is true! Ignore me! <laughs> he ate both a plate and bones All right, today! Can... Alright. Stained... Alright, luckily stained glass is stronger than normal glass, so that should hold for a little bit. Anyway... Uh... Let's just say he... Let's just say he showed me some things, and... Then... Uh, he isn't with us anymore. Oh. Oh. Bad sympathies. Yeah. They hear that a lot. He wouldn't have wanted them, though. Anyway. He wasn't a... Anyway, he wasn't old. He wasn't old and he wasn't adventurous. I think you know what that means, right? Some bad guys, huh? Yep. Second. Mm -hmm. He was killed. By a bastard that. By a bastard just laughed at him. Yeah. I started to get a little bit aggressive after that. Got kicked out of the nunnery for delinquent behavior. What the hell that means. But still, obviously, I still want to spread the good word, but I don't want to just. I don't just don't want to spread it because of because of dogma or because it's or because of what people. In my position, do I want it to mean something? You know. I joined the joined the Magic Knights bit fairly soon after I got kicked out. I'm still pra I'm still practicing as a nun, but I'm technically not. Well, I'm technically not an official one. Yeah, well, a little while back we, a little while back, we did a transfer program. She went to work with the kid, with some of the kids at Nan. I went to work with some of the kids at Hajj. A lot of them were little shits, but you know, it was really cool how two of them seemed to have really strong dreams. And I think on some level they inspired the rest of them. Kids don't normally get to have dreams all the way out there. It's just like what it's just like what he used to say. When But Yeah. Sis yeah, Sister Lily and I got Pretty close after that. I knew the little sh I knew that little Oscar wouldn't wouldn't fail. <clears throat> he was born without any magic, but you should hear him. How he shouts how he screams out about how he's gonna be the wizard king. Because he's probably gonna spit out his uh the chain in his mouth. Is that the I saw that kid at the uh uh exam thingy. He has yeah, on the sword, sword right? The one that was getting harassed by the birds? No, I wasn't there. Uh, yeah, I think that was him. He got picked he... up by the black bulls. I don't know what it was, but I liked him. <laughs> Something about yeah. his aura. Yeah. You can't really... S yeah. And he sh the way he shouts it out. 
and it makes you genuinely believe it. <laughs> it's something you don't see a lot when, when kids come that far out in the sticks. I hope other kids, I just hope someday other kids can be like that. <laughs> they ended up joining the Green Praying Mantises first. They were the first, con they were the first group that actually accepted commoners. Though, well, exclusively commoners. I thought there'd be a lot more aligned with my interests. No, it's not like I had, I didn't have other options. Hey, uh, who did you get your, who wanted you for the thing? Let's see, it was Yami, Jack, uh, Captain Jack, obviously. Uh, Captain Sanan, what else was there? Hands. Uh, uh timing, timing doesn't, doesn't work out, Eli. Eli. She so joins the Green Pregnances before the Bronze All Stars existed. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, I, okay. Trust me, uh, I understand that. There's a reason I have a fucking, like, I think 27 Captain. section on my One Piece thing, which tells me dates. Captain Sanan wanted me, though, of course, he wasn't a captain at that point, so he froze his hand for literally no reason. <laughs> <laughs> so that does feel a like character, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I turned you off. Uh, let's see, Dorothy wanted me. I think the I think that kid Will wanted me because my magic looks pretty. I don't think that works either because isn't Will nineteen? Uh, real yeah, yeah that, that one also doesn't, doesn't work out time wise. wise. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. I'm trying to remember. Uh, uh, not who was it? Who was it before Will? Eh, I don't even remember. That's what was important. So, uh, and, obvi and obviously, you know, I'm a woman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got that <laughs> offer too. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 yeah. You, you notice how I didn't even mention it, and I mentioned the ones that my family run? Rill was not even a member of the... Rill was not even a uh, magic knight uh, six years ago. Oh, yeah. He well, it, it, well, six years ago Artemis joined the Green Praying Mantises. Five years ago the Bronze Owl Star formed. Four years ago yeah. Rill joins the Grey Deer, not even becoming a captain. Yeah, it's look, it, it's yeah, 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 yeah. sometimes people get dates wrong. It can be very yeah. confusing. So the Aqua Deer slash uh, Grey Deer was a thing back then. The Grey Deer. Exactly. They were the Grey Deer back then. Yeah, it, it was that. I had, yeah. I'm just, because I had Jack for me, I had Yami oh, for Jack me, joined, yeah. I had Yami, uh... I'm guessing this is Tesla. I had, yeah, <laughs> Tesla, because he's, because he's messing up names and not fully sure. Um, uh... <laughs> I do like that idea. <laughs> captain Sinan raised his hand, but he wasn't a captain at that point, so there's no yeah. point in it. Yeah, I had, uh, t uh t Tetra. <laughs> Uh, uh t it's pronounced Turfia. I had um I had uh fwa f fwa 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 Yeah. And uh uh I someone else I don't remember. I wasn't I stopped paying I I got distracted, I saw a bird, I wanted it. <laughs> William Vengeance of the Golden Dawn. Yeah, that one. Oh, well. Anyway. Unbelievable. Anyway. I can't believe there's two people in our squad that passed off the Golden Dawn. Well, one of them passed it up, the other one got bored and left. <laughs> anyway. When I joined the Magic Knights, I vowed to make the... I vowed to make the people that would take his life and laugh at him suffer. But... But, uh... But ever since I joined this, ever since I joined this squad, I realized there's more to it, more to being a magic knight than that. I still hate the fucking bastards, but I'm here to help. I'm here to help make sure that the crap like that never gets pulled again, eh? Hmm. Well, it's a very noble thing to stand on, that's for sure. Like with douchey diamonds. <sighs> yeah. Crap. I don't give a crap about its nobility. No offense to all the nobles here. No, I'm taken. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, it's, it's absolutely fine. 
just love the three nobles. Where reaction Swore is just, oh, it's fine. None taken. We don't care. Just flat out, we do not give There's a four shit. Nobles. Well, my, three nobles. Yeah. my family's cool because of the stuff they've done, not because they're nobles. Yeah. <laughs> Your family, yeah, the cows are, the cows are freaking awesome. <laughs> even the kid that, even some of the kids that, some of the kids that Nern was looking up to, were looking up to Mallory. Yeah. Well, I'm sure he was. These days, not so much. He clearly blames something for his injuries, and, well, oftentimes, I think it's the Forsaken Realm. Trust me, the Forsaken Realm didn't. Trust me, the Forsaken Realm wouldn't. Couldn't do something like that to a man like him. Well, he's never said anything about about what he thinks about what happened. Mom died. Yet he always looks mad the second that the place is mentioned. Not even the battleground, just the entire realm. I think he hates the fact. I think he hates the fact that. Well. She died there. Obviously, but... Well, I think he hates the place for it. It's not the damn... It's not the damn forsaken realm's fault. Keeps getting caught in the middle of the... Keeps getting caught in the middle of the war between the bigger nations. It's stupid. How... How all the people with weaker mana end up being on the edges, the most dangerous parts of the kingdom. People, if the people at the border were stronger, then this place would be a lot safer. We wouldn't have to worry about those in the Forsaken Realm, those with less mana, having to get hurt. So many people died there for no damn reason. Because half the Magic Knight squads were missing. And the Magic Knights that were there were faced with all these experiments and cheating. Listen. Listen. This didn't happen on their shores, though. They didn't have to worry about their civilians dying. We did. Listen, everyone. Marcel, I get why you're angry. But that's what I made this. That's what I made this squad to be. Someone that can, someone that can stand at those borders, help those weaker ones on the outskirts and hey maybe someday we can start bringing them in mm. far extreme as it is <laughs> but if you really it seems like almost everyone here has some reason to hate the to hate the damn cost structures actually I think that I'm pretty fine with it you don't count, Rote. Tesla doesn't know what that is still. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to explain, honestly. Well, it people... Also I guess it also wouldn't make sense for some... It also wouldn't make sense for someone who wasn't born in it. People are treated differently and worse because of how much mana they have. Or who their family is. Stupid. Yes! Tesla, it's kind yes. of like, uh, Tes like... You know how in the wild, the strong play on the weak? Except out here, it's not necessarily the strong and the weak. It's more just about the location you were born at. It's more stupid. <laughs> it's not that. That uh, doesn't work. Plus, the strong only prey on the weak to survive. Strong don't prey on weak for fun. Strong uh, prey on weak for fun in this kingdom. And it's less about where yeah. you're born. It's more about whether or not your parents were strong. You have strong parents, it doesn't matter if you're strong, you get the privilege. It's Tesla stupid. Don't like this Tesla don't like this class structure thing. <laughs> it's Why stupid. It more it was if your parents are strong, everyone expects you to be strong. If your parents are weak, everyone expects you to be weak. Yeah, trust you me. never get to do anything on your own merits. Yeah, 
I understand that pretty well, Marcel. <laughs> Sucks. You're never allowed to. You're never allowed to have. You're never allowed to have dreams if you're not strong enough. You're Always expected to... to be some kind of servant. I expect oh, it to wow. not. No wonder. Is age. No wonder how many kids want to rebel against it. I also get the feeling stuff changed very quickly without him noticing. Hmm. Those at the well, top it does feel like... Those at the top feel like they don't have to... Feel like they can put in no effort. Hmm. Those at the bottom struggle to get up there. It's... <coughs> it's heartbreaking to see so many people on both ends just giving up, never trying to grow for themselves. It doesn't I'm... just hurt the, it doesn't just hurt those at the bottom, it hurts those at the top too. At least that's what I think. Well, yeah, you'd be right about that. That's bizarrely enough the opinion of my father. Uh, he is a weirdo amongst royalty. Well, to be fair, so was I. Wait. Yeah. Royalty? Oh. Right. Forgot to actually mention that part. Yeah, I don't really like to, I don't really like to talk about it all that often because I would prefer to think of myself as a member of the Tertia uh, of the Tertians after all that they did for me, but I was kicked out of the... I was not a, allowed to go into the capital because I was banished from my place among the Kira household. My full name is actually Sanan Kira Tertia. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Though I doubt you'd remember, I doubt you'd remember anything about me, familiar. I was banished when you were very young. My dad talked about you. <laughs> nothing good, I. Nothing good, I assume. Mm. I mean, I was always the. I mean, I was always the. I was always the weirdo, weirdo that was trying to get other royals to get better, or stronger, improve. This is my father. He. At my birthday parties, he was still doing push-ups. <laughs> Sounds like Kurt Gold, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, there are image magic pictures of me on his back doing push-ups. <laughs> didn't peg you, you as a physically strong cut. I'm not. He is. Wait, you mean you were sitting on his back while he was doing push-ups? Yes. Oh, I thought you meant you were doing push-ups on his back. No. No. That does make a little more sense. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was never the strong type. I was more the dexterous type. That's why I wanted to fight with a rapier. But yeah, the ter yeah, the tertiers in the Forsaken Realm took me in. I owe them far more than I ever owed the they ever owed the Kira household, so I prefer to go by Tertia at all possible. Tesla already forgot the other name you told him. Good. Yeah, I fully understand. Though you are going to Good. Though we are probably going to have an entire day set uh, though we're probably going to have an entire class dedicated to the Kira household at some point. They are important to the history of the family. So don't forget it for too long. Understood, Mr. Bossman. Yeah. I have to say, we're all a bunch of weirdos, but I think this is, I think as delicate as this school seems on the surface, I think this is going to be, I think we're going to get along quite well. Oh my god, we just... We just turned it to another Black Bulls. <laughs> Guess we did. <laughs> we've got the, spa we've got the Spatial no, Mage, no, no, we've got no, no, Weird, 
We've got the spaceship major with the weird neuroses. No, 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 we don't have- No, 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 we're not another one of the black bulls. See, no. we have a classroom here. We're no, smart. I'm, I'm saying we turn into something like the black bulls. Well, we are the second worst Magic Knight squad. Wait. Wait, 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 hold on. Royal- hold on. Member of the royal household with- A member of the royal household with a, uh, with a water-adjacent magic type. Cousin that Noah could that could describe two of us. Wait, cousin Noah went to the Black Bulls. Oh, you had her? No, I was on a mission. Oh. Wait, she yeah. got in. Ha! Huh. She she's more like she was uh, specially assigned. Well, I'm just glad she got somewhere. She always wanted to be a magic knight. Yeah, although last mm. time I saw, last I saw her, she wasn't too happy about it. Yeah, that's Cousin Noel, all right. Let me guess. <laughs> cousin Nozel? Was that directed at me, or...? Yes. Probably. Yes, yes it was. Huh. Well, I don't know the inner workings of the Silver household, but... Yeah, probably. Cousin... Yeah, Cousin Nozel. That's the wrong household, guys. Wrong, yeah, yeah, yeah. just... <laughs> They are, I just like that, just the two servers. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Cousin Nozel, all right. Okay, we've got the... Uh, okay, we've got Spatial Mage with Weird Neurotics. Uh, you said that already. From, oh, God. Uh, delinquent from the Common Realm. That He's so bad. Was, um, uh, okay, uh... Okay, te Tesla's unique. Tesla's unique. Um, uh, yeah, they had that ask the child, right? White hair, second realm, bit stupid, chats a lot. Okay, shoot. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, uh, um, they don't have anyone like Lynn, right? Uh, Jami, the short person with an obsession. Fuck. <laughs> okay, no, okay. Okay, surely, that's an obsession okay, with surely, food. Uh, surely Roadcase is really fine. Actually, they obsessive have a member light, of Wait, obsessive Wait. lightning magician. Lightning mage with Obs obsessive, obsessive lightning mage. magician or the or the weird poison guy who's just constantly whispering. Oh god. Ah, uh, okay, there is no one in the Black Bulls like me, surely. Otherwise the Black Bulls might have put their hand up. Uh annoy uh annoying person who uses a glass derivative magic that's typically done with everyone's bullshit and constantly talking about how great his sister is. Oh, oh god, I hate my life. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dear lord, please change me. Oh, no. <laughs> Why am I the ghost? Why did I make the ghost? No! I made the ghost! I made the ghost and I made the fin roll. Why? Oh god! Okay, surely there's no one in the Black Bulls like him, right? Right? I think so. Are you safe? I don't think there's any hyper analyticals that have an issue with nobles. Cough, cough, Zora, who they don't know as part of the Black Bulls yet. <laughs> We're safe! We're safe. There's. Wait, wait, what about. What? Wait, Sonata, you're nothing like him, right? Uh, sorry. Captain Tertio, you're nothing like him, right? <laughs> like, Yami? Like who? Oh, yeah, no, me and him are night and day. Though he did actually, though I did actually beat him in a duel once because I bested him with swordsmanship. Also, I tend to pick people that I like over uh, that I like or find interesting over people who actually are powerful Cousin, and Cousin Hurricane, please tell me you're not like a black bull. Uh, I actually have some inside knowledge about the vice captain of the black bull. Oh god! And, Come on! Uh, incredibly, incredibly powerful user of multiple magic types who harnesses them by pulling them out of his... Oh god. No, no. I am I am nothing like knocked Faust. Um 
yeah. the cousin. At least I'm cousin Noel. Actually, considering your personality and the fact that you personally split into skin, you're more like Gray. Wow, the so giant? The big guy, yeah. I guess that's true, but wait, what do you mean, his personality? Uh, I don't know, he seems like a shy loner type. I thought he just couldn't talk. Uh, he can talk when he transforms. That's true. Hmm. So, is Giovanni really the only unique person here? He's not, he's Zora. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, but Zora isn't a member of the Black Bulls yet. Not at this stage of the story. Hey, at the very yeah. least, they don't have a, hey, at least we don't have a member with a debilitating illness, with a debilitating illness that forces him to stay locked up inside all the time. Well, god, the Black Bulls every... don't. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> <laughs> oh crap, we just made the Black Bulls! <laughs> At least they made Arthur and Noel slash Grey. I'm happy with mine. Why did I make Ghosh? How did I not see that I made Ghosh? I got Luck and Magna, except Magna is from the village that Ghosh came from, so... Yeah. 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 yeah I, mean, I literally yeah. just got Charming. Like, yeah, I you got you have charm you have Charmy and Zora. That is true, but I, I don't know. I think Gwen has uh, a more interesting interest. At least yeah. from my perspective. Uh, no, 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 no dissing on that. It's just that it's really oh, yeah, funny. No, funny. Especially yeah, the ones yeah, that yeah, were I unintentional. Think, <laughs> I think the I think the one with oh, the fuck my life. I, I think the one with the vice captain that's all about uh, it was the vice captain that utilizes multiple different types of magic. Yeah, just like, oh, it's I am all, nothing like fucking not Faust. He sounded so angry at it. <laughs> you know what? I've suddenly decided I'm done with this and I'm gonna go to sleep. Yeah. Um, let's go to our rooms, Ashlyn. That sounds like a plan. I also want to sleep. Yay, I could. Oh, God, you're the funeral. <laughs> oh, God, you're the funeral. Oh, God, I'm the grey. <sighs> Look, it's okay. I'm not obsessively flirting with everyone. Uh, yeah, that's good at least. And I'm never going to do that, because... Yeah, that involves physical contact, and that tells me you're really not going to do that anytime soon. Oh god, you should... Oh god, never never interact with Fenrir. Actually. No, we, we've had that before. We That's where we first learned the portal... That's... Map. That's where we first learned the spatial magic for steam... Uh, magic morning fog combo. <laughs> Yeah, that's also where I uh, first saw in action what happens when spatial magic hits other spatial magic. Uh, yeah, I lost. I got my first demerit star that day, though it really should have gone to the Black Bulls. It did. They got five. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess it's fine. But still, we got to one for fair, that. To be fair, that was mostly because their that, that was mostly because their tech, their uh, spatial mage ended up flying through a flying through a freaking stand. A uh, stall on the side of the street and destroying the man's apples. I regret nothing. He shouldn't have tried to touch me unsolicited. That was creepy. I regret the fact that we had. To, I regret the fact that I had to pay for the damn apples as the scene as the most senior member. Why did you and not? Oh wait, yeah, because Yami Sik here and never has money. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that that's always right. gambles it all away. Come payday. And then he starts begging the rest of us for money. Anyway. The, anyway, Familia and Ashlyn had the right idea. We should all be getting ready to head to bed soon as well. Okay, there's a little nap on carpet like usual. Alright. Just as long as you do it just as long as you do it inside the same room Artemis is in. <laughs> just curls up on the carpet and falls asleep immediately. Uh, Alright. Night everyone. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night, Gwyn. Night, Rote. You made the, you made the fucking gosh. Uh, you literally made the gosh. I didn't realize. Last wizard, the last wizard, last wizard of magic user, who, uh, last wizard of mage who's done with everyone's shit constantly and always talks about how awesome his sister is. <laughs> oh my. Is okay. Is. Let alone his younger or older sister. Older, older sister. by like several years. Like, 
Okay. The sim Quite different. The, the fact is, these sim most of these similarities being unintentional is what's funnier. He looks up to his sister because she is a member of the Golden Dawn, and she is, you know, really good at what she does. She is accomplished, and also helped him deal with his horrible father. We get it, Alex. Just love the, oh, where we, we cover literally every single member of the Black Bulls except for Vanessa. But yeah, because they're like a drug absorbed sexual. Actually, no, if anything, Artemis is kind of like Vanessa. Oh god, you're right. We cover every member we of the We cover Bulls. all of them. How did we cover all of them? We don't even have that many characters. <laughs> uh, Actually, funny. Giovanni doesn't do any of them yet, except Zora. <laughs> he still does Zora. All right. Uh, he is. We still have one more thing. Uh, to Robbie to left. Oh. He went to go grab dinner. I, that probably translates to a he'll grab dinner, but be back to listen to the section. Should we just call it and do it at the start of next session? I mean, I kind of feel out of place. Okay, well, all right, then we wait for Robbie to come back then, because, uh, yeah, cutaway is too important for him to not be here. Yeah, it probably sets up for the next story, but uh, I've got a question. Do we level up after that? Uh, yes, yes, we do. Sweet. Might as well start doing that then. Uh, so uh, yeah, that was the toughest all fight. D10 for Tez and a D8. D10 for Tez. It's a D10 for Tez and a D8 for uh, Fumi, right? Yes. Okay, I'll do that then, so... Okay, so four skill yeah. points and four combat <laughs> points. I think I'm getting a reroll. Yeah. How do we determine the... the yes, reroll. Uh, ...dice level? Yeah. Uh, I think that we had it that, um, frontline was D10, backline... No, wait. Wait, how did he get a D10? Wasn't everyone a D8? Uh, let me uh, just double check the rules. Yeah, Everyone's at a D8, but we get it up at 16 and 20 on Constitution. Uh, Tez has a 16 Constitution. Okay, uh, HP. Let's double check that. Um, Black Clover. Okay. Everyone starts at a D8. At a plus 3 to the Constitution modifier, it changes to a D10. At a plus 5, it changes to a D12. Right. Cool. Yeah, I I've got a 16 uh, con, so yeah, that's correct. Okay, let's see. Uh, and I've got a 15 con on Ashlyn. Uh, so that I'll is for Fumi. That is a four plus one, so that's five. Man, I had, I think I had like I rolled probably awful on health for Tesla because he only had he had the same as Fumi, who was a lower one in a way worse con score. All right, what are we doing? Level oh, up. Uh, level Robbie's up. back. Okay, uh, let's not do the level up now. Uh, let's finish that later. Now that Robbie is back, uh, let's do it after. Let's do it after the, the thing. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go. Uh, we've, got we've got one more We've got one more. Look, man, we've went to 8.30. We can just leave it till the start of next session. It is going to be out of place, but we have run a fairly long session. I shouldn't take too long. I'm just going to sit there and eat, and then I'll be off. Yep, that is completely yeah, fair. You can leave on Twitter. You can leave on Twitter. All right. Uh, you can just, right. just make sure to do the level up. Just make sure you've got a note down that you have to do a level up, actually. I'll be trying to get onto Robbie at some point during the week. I'll have him, I'll do it with him then. That's fair enough. Oh yeah, they're doing more of the supporty stuff at the end. Uh, Geo, I mean. Yeah, fair enough. No worries. Well, that and well, that and also uh, Joy. Oh yeah, that too. Ah no, wrong stuff. Sorry, I'm trying to get onto the right map because I don't get transferred over with the players because I'm a DM. Okay. And. I forgot to put a soundtrack in, so I guess this is going to be dead silent. Sorry, guys. Oh, gee. I'm the part. I'm the one that's running this bit, right? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> now we'll have a cutaway back over to back over to Harlech Village, inside the skull of the demon, sitting on sitting on a ledge which would be seen as the eye. 
of the socket, the eye socket. Uh, Bo looks out over Hajj, holding the page in her hand as she reads through it. She's surrounded on all sides by the corpses of several other plant monsters. Are you, uh, yeah, I, I was, I didn't want to interrupt you. Are you done? Yeah, yeah, I'm, <sighs> report. I'm breaking it down. Well, these should taste interesting. The mana always does add to them. Now that the page is back, it'll finally be time. It'll be good to see you again. Just about then, behind, just behind Bo, a bright light starts to fill the area. A man hovers down from seemingly nowhere with, a, with white hair split into many braids, yellow eyes and red tattoos covering his face. Long flowing white robes over his, over his body. On the front, a golden symbol of three eyes stacked on top of each other, turning into a T at the bottom. Uh, can you handle getting the token out? Uh, yes, I will move it off the GM layer, since I'm pretty sure you can all figure out who this is. I fucking knew there was something up! I fucking knew it! I said it wasn't a murder plot. Jeremy's instincts are so strong! <laughs> hmm. Hmm. It is nearly... Your light is blinding is even time. from here. It's nearly time for their judgment. We... have been waiting for... We have been waiting for her for a long time. After all this searching, I was finally able to uncover it, and she'll pull out the page. We sent our own mem we sent one of our own members to retrieve that for you. What? A man who used to be from the Diamond Kingdom, but has since joined our side, under the promise that we aid him with we aid him with his troubles once we're done with ours. So he wasn't a diamond scout. He was at one. He was once. But he has suffered. But he has suffered greatly because of the because of the sins of the humans in Diamond. Just as we have suffered for the sins of humans here. You need not tell me of the sins of Diamond. After all. Cherna is the only one who helped me to escape from there. And now we need, and now we need Cherna as well, to mm. assist us in the in the destruction of the of the Clover Capital. <laughs> Several of our members have been have been taken there, <sighs> and we need to get them back. This man from Diamond, what do you think of him? Oh. He's suffered. Hmm. His pain is nothing of, is nothing compared to our own, though. <laughs> I see. The scum that we choose to accept, then. For now. You are not, you are not scum, Jonah. Or perhaps this is still Bo? For now. You're much like the you're much like he is. 
one of the only humans that can truly understand our plight. After all, the worst. I've seen it all. How could I turn back? After seeing the world the humans sent her to. Thank you for everything, Bella Boge. Once this is all over, perhaps we will even honor your name alongside his. <laughs> all right. Well then, I have to ask, this plan you're asking for, why would Cherna or I be the best to aid with it? We need a member. <clears throat> we plan to attack the royal capital in order to obtain a, in order to obtain one of the magic stones, the one well, the one worn around the neck of Sir Fregolion Vermilion, a royal, scum like the rest of them. We need power, power of the third eye. However, with the others, Veto and Fana, I fear would not be able to get the job done. It's too unstable, it's too angry. And try getting Raya to get to even go to the royal capital, let alone get out of bed. Hmm. We need the we need her. The fourth member of the third eye. In that case, I believe I've finished examining the page. Give me a moment. And she will open her grimoire and stick the page in, instantly stitching itself into the grimoire. Finally returned to you. Thank you, Charna, for everything. Now it's my turn to pay you back. Mm. <laughs> The air feels nice on this body, though I doubt I deserve the feeling. It's good to see you again, Licht. Within the, within the leaves of the clover exists hope, integrity, And love. Sorry, I forgot the third one. <laughs> okay. Existing hope, integrity, and love. The fourth leaf is given over to good luck. In, a, in response to that, the third eye was made. Veto the despair for hope. For integrity, Raya the disloyal. For love, Fana the Hateful. I welcome you to this world again. And I ask for your assistance. Cherna, the Misfortune. Hm. I don't deserve to aid such a noble cause. However, I am sure I can be of use. Consider it done. I am glad to be back, Licht. I am certain you can. After all, and Licht will step forward and grab her grimoire, holding it up to her, showing the front cover as the third leaf starts to split. The four leaf chose you for a reason, Cherna. 
this was a choice made. <laughs> and that's where we're ending it. Right, I was fucking right. I knew there were stats with those two. I was so fucking right. I knew you guys were bullshitting. Diego was fucking innocent as shit. <laughs> Diego was an unfortunate coincidence. Charna was sus as hell.